whatever. Like you feeling bad about the Crimean annexation wow. does not change the reality of the Crimean annexation being a completely justifiable fucking act by the Russian government. Okay. So that's it. That's fine. And Hitler invaded countries based on Germanic ties at first. Yeah, dude. Talk to me when he's fucking throwing Ukrainians in a, in a, in a fucking... What are you talking about? Talk to me when he's throwing Ukrainians at a concentration camp, okay? Hitler wasn't fucking bad because he decided to invade Austria. He was bad because he was fucking killing Jews, okay? That was the problem. He wasn't like... He wasn't like, oh yeah, we're going to fucking annex territory with like Germanic people in it. That wasn't the main problem with Hitler, I think. That was like maybe eighth down the line. Let's fucking go! It's Friday! It's fucking Friday! It's RFC time! Tweet out that link, hit the like button! Get us to 300 likes before the show starts, alright? 300, I think we can do that! Hit the like button, come on now! Let's fucking go! Please allow me 
to introduce myself I'm a man of wealth and taste I'm a king of rock, there is none higher So the MCs should call me sire To burn my kingdom, you must use fire I won't stop rock until I retire Now we rock up
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the After Hours episode number 323. It is September 23rd, Friday, and it is 8 p.m., the earliest we've done we've done the show in a while. Holy shit, everybody. Gather on in the chat. Tweet out the link. Let everybody know we're here for the number one, the number one premiere YouTube live stream. What's going on, everybody? How we all doing in the chat? Let's take a look there. Shout out to Boohoo Big Oops Cockpit, 8030, Alex Gekmo, Gaijin Dagoomba, Mike Lopez, Luna Lizzie, Chad King. I've got my eye on you, Chad King. All right. And Sandwich Man, welcome aboard, everybody. Oh my God. We've got the fucking smoking gun right here. This audio, it's it's literally everything you could have ever wanted from a fucking drama, all right? I listened to this thing last night while it was happening live, and holy shit. Can I just first say, Ms. Kiff is a total cocksucker. I mean, it's gone from just, oh, this guy's a little bit of an idiot, or he's childish, or he doesn't know how to handle himself in, in serious situations. It's gone well beyond that. Now it's just gotten to the point where this guy is just f actually definitively horrible. Okay, you're gonna see train wrecks just completely fucking whip him around, make him submit and cower in fear, begging at his mercy. I mean, it, it's just so bad, but also you're gonna see Ms. Kiff's like true deception come through. I mean, this guy will lie and gaslight to your fucking face. Uh, I don't even know if he's aware of it. I, I'm gonna assume so because I have a very negative opinion of the guy now. But uh, regardless, whether he's doing it intentionally or not, I mean, this guy just fucking sucks, dude. Uh, a total liar, total, uh, manipulative person. And honestly, yeah, he probably does deserve to get canceled at this point. I mean, look, if he just mishandled the situation on its own, right. But then took responsibility for it. It's like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like shit happens. Okay. What really matters is how you respond to it. You know, just because you do something horrible doesn't make you a fucking horrible person. A lot of it has to do with how you respond and how you conduct yourself in this situation. And Miss has just fucking failed on all counts. I mean, this guy he lied in his statement, um, lied in this fucking call. I mean, we're going to see from the start. The call that took place, by the way, if you're confused on the timeline. So this call took place immediately after Trainwreck's tweet blowing up the whole situation where he accused Ms. Kiff of covering up sexual assault. So this is like right after the first initial impact. So you can see like everyone's kind of emotions and their logical thought process in the moment, right? That's why this call is so fucking good because it exposes their deepest like sort of how they navigate the situation, how they think about these types of things. It exposes them at their most vulnerable states, right? Uh, so you kind of get to see a, a more realistic picture of what these streamers are like behind the scenes. And Jesus, man, this thing fucking sucks. I will say this though. One thing that's positive about, uh, about the call I'm pretty much on Trainwreck's side now. At this point, I think the guy's demonstrated that he, uh, out of all of them, has at least acted in the least bad faith. But I honestly, I don't know. I'm still suspicious at the timing of them bringing up Adriana's allegation. I still think that that's kind of shady. I'll never be able to, like, you know, not think that that's shady. Um, but how he's conducted himself, I mean, he's brought out receipts and demonstrated that he's acted, you know, in good faith or whatever. Um, that he also has, like, whatever the intentions of the victim. I don't really care about that bullshit or whatever, but he has demonstrated he does uh, care about that as well. Uh, the girl corroborates his story or whatever. So I don't know. At this point, you know, I'm pretty much on train wrecks aside at this point. Like I, I can't really hide my biases anymore. I mean, I really feel like at this point, uh, it's pretty clear. Uh, either he's like the good guy in the situation or he just sucks the less, the least out of all of them by far though. I don't know. Although Asmund Gold is pretty good, but he wasn't really involved. He was just kind of there as like a mediary figure. Um, when Miz first heard about what happened between the girl and Crazy Slick, he was downplaying it hard and said something along the lines of, it's not sexual assault. She wasn't raped, so who cares? Yeah, I mean, and, and, and quotes like that, I could look at a quote like that and be like, oh, this guy's just a fucking retard. Doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad guy, even though that's, you know, kind of bad to say. Whatever, maybe he just has no fucking idea what he's talking about. You know what I mean? But after this call, nah, this dude's 100% bad. I mean, there's just, I don't see any fucking saving for him. Um, I mean, I kind of didn't really see much saving for him after his shitty statement he put out. Uh, but after this call, I mean, it, it's just its just so obvious this guy's like a really bad dude. Uh, luckily, he might be too stupid to really do anything dangerous in the future or whatever. But 
He definitely is capable of danger, that's for sure. I mean, harboring this fucking crime, silencing it, coming out with like a strategy of how to, you know, avoid this blowing up for his best friend. And that's the other thing too about this call, and you're going to see it a lot, but his excuse that Crazy Slick is his best friend, so, you know, his uh, miscommunication, mishandling of it can be excused because it's his best friend. Horrible fucking excuse. Actually horrible excuse. He basically... By making that excuse, he came out and he admitted, yeah, if it's my friend, I'll do whatever the fuck to protect him. Can't you guys see how I would do such a thing? And it's like, yeah, I could see how you could do something like that if the crime we were talking about was like minuscule, right? If he stole money from somebody, I could see you maybe, you know, sitting there and being like, all right, I don't want your career to be ruined or whatever. I'm going to back you up, even though what you did was wrong. I can see that. We're talking about, like, sexual assault, okay? At that point, even if you're just career-minded and optics-minded or whatever, still an easy reason to disavow this person and, you know, get rid of them. They're obviously, you know, a liability to your fucking career, but they're also crazy. That's the bigger thing, obviously. But I'm just saying, like, even if we remove morals from the equation or whatever and just look at it purely from a, you know, uh, logistics viewpoint, I mean, it doesn't make sense to keep this guy around, you know? And he uses that to sort of paint this idea that, no, 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 I'm a good guy. Even if I did mishandle, it was for my best friend, bro. It was for my friend. It's like, so what? That doesn't say anything. And he said this a billion fucking times. You know what else he did a billion times that pissed me off too? Begging Train to delete the tweet. All right? Which I checked earlier today. I can check right now while we're on the air. But Train didn't delete the tweet. Train's also the guy that recorded and leaked the call. That's the other thing. That's the other reason why I'm starting to respect Train a lot. This guy, do not fuck with Train, all right? He is just on a fucking warpath, but he's on a warpath against bad dudes. Maybe you should have done it, you know, years ago instead of now, but, you know, at this point, so be it. If, if now is the opportune time to expose all these scumbags, fuck it, dude. Why not? Why not? Um, obviously it's gonna take me a while. Oh no, here it is. This is the tweet he wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can see Miss Gift deleted his tweet. We're gonna see why, but when we listen to the call, uh, but Train did not delete the tweet. The tweet is still up there, and you had Miss Gift groveling, begging for peace from Train Rex just so he could remove this tweet because everybody was hitting him up saying that he raped a girl, basically, right? And apparently Keemstar tweeted out that, you know, Trainwreck accused Ms. Kiff of sexual assault and he brought up the Keemstar tweet a billion times. He was super ass pain about Keemstar and stuff like that. But I mean, you can see the tweet here for yourself. It quite clearly, the accusation made in the tweet is clear. All right. Are you going to send Maya and Mitch to railroad and blackmail me like you did those girls to cover up all those sexual assaults, you fucking scumbag piece of shit? You want me, uh, you want to come at me and make shit up? then you better sure as fuck don't live in a glass house, you insecure pussy. It's very clear what Maya and Mitch um, are being accused of here. Well, Maya and uh, Ms. Kiff, as well as Mitch Jones, too. By the way, Mitch Jones, total fucking idiot. Holy shit, but I don't know. I, I pretty much plan to skip anything Mitch Jones-related tonight because there is just literally nothing of value here. Mitch, for those of you guys that don't know, he's another Twitch streamer. Um, but he was also relevant to this story because Mitch was one of the people that, um, was talking to, uh, Ms. Kiff and Maya, as well as this other guy, I think Barry is his name, who's one of their roommates or whatever. So Mitch and Barry were basically like the eyewitnesses to Ms. Kiff and Maya's manipulation. But despite Mitch playing such an important role in this story, he really has fucking nothing interesting to say. And it's probably because he's covering up um, for his buddy Mizkif, honestly, because they are close and Mitch outright admitted last night that he didn't like how, you know, Mizkif was getting demonized throughout the whole thing and that the demonization served as a distraction from the sexual assault that we should all be putting more attention to. It's so funny how every single fucking person, all right, um, is just obsessed with like, you know, using the the sexual assault that took place as their moral, you know, ammunition to make themselves look as look like the better people, basically, right? I don't know. It's just a, it's just a nightmare. It's a total shit show. I want to remind you guys where I stand morally in this situation. I mean, obviously, sexual assault is bad or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not, you know, morally devoted to this story because I'm not fucking evolved, and I can't lie to you guys, right? 
a lot of people that are coming to the store, you're talking about how much they care. And maybe they do legitimately care, whatever. Obviously for me, it's like difficult or almost impossible for me to get like emotionally invested into a situation where the characters are people I don't fucking know. Like, I don't have any fucking involvement or attachment with any of these people, right? So, for me, like, there's a lot less of a reason for me to care. I just want to be fucking transparent about that and just be honest because, you know, everybody that comes out and talks about these stories, you know, it's like they have to they have to prove to you guys that they care. It's like, okay, sure, maybe you do. Who knows? But I don't really see that as, like, the primary, you know, concern here. Um... I mean, obviously, bad things are bad. That's kind of, you know, that's as far as we can really... That's as far as I can say without getting all fucking preachy, because that's the last thing I want to do. Anyway, let me read some of these donations, and then we're going to get right into the juice. I got a few things I want to talk about before we get into the call, though, that are still related to the shit show, but, you know, we got we to gotta do some uh, catching up first, just some minor uh, cleanup before we get really into the heart of the program tonight, which is going to be going over the call. Uh, like I said, tweet out the stream. Let everybody know uh, we're here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, hit that like button. Get us get us to, like, what, 500 likes before the end of the show? I don't know. I don't know what's a good number. All right, Doc in the radio with the 13 months. It's been a year. Mike the Bike with the five says, Base Def Leopard. Smoothie Reviews with the four months says, This keeps getting worse. Sandwich Man with the 15 months says, CX and chat. Mike the Bike with the two says, I actually wrote this song. Fantasia, th- uh, excuse me, Fantasia through five says, Let's go. Mike the Bike with the 10 gifted RFC memberships. Doc with the one gift. Cats of Flock with the 10 gifts. By the way, we are well over 500 gifted members, so I want to give a big thank you guys. Um, we'll be doing a big show for you guys over the weekend because there's actually been a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about, but this story has taken precedence, so that's just more to cover on the member shows. So um, probably going to be doing that one on Sunday. Yeah, probably Sunday. All right, uh, Mike the Bike with the 10 says, I've been monetized and got my pay raise at work, so have a little extra love for me, homie. I'll be watching and I'll be live around 10.30 Eastern until maybe 2 a.m. Eastern. Everybody make sure you're subbed to Mike the Bike, all right? Uh, Lemons with the 21 months says, finally able to catch a show. Uh, Boohoo Big Oops with the 22 months says, Salem Twitch Trials, Ashes to Ashes with the membership. MJ with the 10 bucks says, all Miz seemed to care about was his friend not getting in trouble and I feel like he only cares because he doesn't want to look bad by proxy. Yeah, I don't know. He, he sounded like a fucking nutcase in the call. Higmig with the 10 bucks says, why did you run from Alabama Edwin? Too much estrogen. What? No, he ran from me. I was on Doc in the radio stream. He didn't call in. So Alabama Edwin fucking ran. All right. Nice with the 13 months. The switch is burning and I think it's funny. Mike the bike with the two says, Mitch is one of the dumbest people I've ever heard. Mark's man with the two months says, Pokemon is a ruthless businesswoman. Um, Pale Derp with the four months says, yay, three months. Tito Matthews with the membership says, one year in RFC. It's been amazing so far and I hope it continues to be as amazing as long as possible. You're retarded with the eight, eight months says, Mitch is a spineless fence sitter acting like a victim in all of this when he started this all. And Vestro Stepsis with the tier one. Thank you very much. And Brandon with the 20 months. Uh, Twitchtism is real. All right, let's get into this fucking... Uh, let's get into some of this first. Now, <laughs> of course, in the midst of all of this, right? Pokimane has decided that she's going to distance herself from the Twitch scene. Uh, shocker, I know. From the ruthless businesswoman herself. Let's take a listen. I don't really know how to answer people that are mm, I don't know that are asking me about my thoughts on anyone or like if I'm homies with certain people or whatever oh no to be honest with you at this point I'm appalled by so many things I just don't want to be involved in anything wow great take really amazing really I want to be like homies with my OTV friends and stream sometimes and vlog and post shit. But the Twitch scene, it's a lot. Wow. Amazing stuff Jesus here. Christ. I mean, her take literally is just like, I just want things to be nice again. What are you talking about? 
There was a fucking cover up of a sexual assault and you're talking about how toxic things are. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, I can imagine why she want to disavow from the Twitch scene. All right. This is her apparently allegedly cackling. This is a train talking about what she thought when she first heard about the story. This is all an act. The same way Pokemon all right. Hold on. Let me boost this audio here. Came in, came on. This is all an act. The same way Pokemon came to that call with excuse and son and started using that soft voice. Whereas the day yeah. before she was cackling about the fucking uh, thing being old news. Oh, no. In, yeah. Old news. Again, why does any of this stuff matter? Old news? He's my best friend? None of these are arguments. I'm so sorry. Like, oh, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Like, oh, yeah, well, because she was put in a corner. Like, she can't say shit about sexual assault. She knows it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Mitch Jones just being useless here. Right? Oh, well, she kind of has to do that. What? What are you talking about? I don't know, man. It's just insane. Of course, <laughs> in the midst of all of this, all of the Twitch drama, right? Uh, the controversy of them uh, refusing to pay their creators the 70-30 cut. You know, all the Twitch streamers, you know, uh, scamming uh, their fans and getting addicted to gambling. Um, and, and then, you know, this whole drama with the covering up of the sexual assault. Matt Gates has decided to join the platform, right? And so Hassan obviously jumping in there. This is certainly what we need on the platform. Matt Gates says, I agree. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. We're already on to you, though. Child predators use Twitch to systematically track kids. Oh, my God. Yeah, Matt Gates, the congressman, by the way, who was caught, like, um, like flying out, like, a 17-year-old girl or whatever last year, joins Twitch. <laughs> just It's just amazing shit right here. It's just awesome. Um, so what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, and this was Ice Poseidon's contribution last night. So Ice has just gone the full fucking fuck it all mode, burn everything to the ground mode, burning it all. Just just take a listen to this. He apparently got into the call with Barry, who's the roommate uh, of Miz and all of the OTK people. This is what he had to say about Miz Kiff's relationship. Okay, so him and Maya's real breakup reason was, uh, while he was with her, he didn't love her or anything. He was just keeping her around for content. And every girl he flew into that house, he was just fucking them while he was still with Maya. Every single, like, OF girl or whatever he was having on the stream, he was just having sex with them. Well, he was dating her for a while. It was just at the end, he started just every girl he would have over, he would just fuck when their relationship was going bad. Which, which by the way, it's so funny that this is being released now. Because again, right? Ms. Gift's getting accused for covering up a sexual assault um, both in 2021 and now currently, right? He's being exposed for having a fucking freak, to put it lightly, in his house. Um, and in the middle of all of this, right, Ice Poseidon just decides to leak all this shit about him fucking cheating on his girl <laughs> and being racist, right? It's like, no, you are going down, motherfucker. Not only did you assist in horrible fucking crimes, but you're racist uh, and you're homophobic and you cheated. Fuck you. Just, just all of that on top of it. The whole time he was just begging him to delete the tweet because uh, it was bad for his org and he really wanted to keep crazy slick around. He couldn't lose his best friend. I said his best friend. The girl. Cause I was there, dude, when um I brought Mitch and Maya over, and I was there when Maya like was trying to get her to downplay the story, and because of Mizkif, this dude was able to just be a creep to even more girls. Because of Mizkif, this dude was able to be a creep around other girls. Fucking brutal, and that's from the roommate or ex roommate. I would assume ex now. That'd be kind of awkward if they were still living in the same house, but Jesus, man. And I said he can do this all day. So what more does he fucking know, dude? At this point, what more does he fucking know? And uh, again, like I said, while all this is happening, all the streamers are mad because they're not getting paid uh, the proper amounts. They're not getting paid the same amounts YouTube streamers are getting paid. Reality is that, I mean, YouTube is getting better every year. Asmund Golden Valkyrie are standing up against Twitch. With the purple app being in some hot water recently, these massive creators are standing up against ads on the streaming platform. Both of them feel that ads are killing Twitch and went to Twitter with the matter. Are we finally witnessing Twitch fumble the bag and YouTube finally taking over? Why would somebody not just go over to YouTube if they can make more money there? I think the biggest reason why people are on Twitch is because they make more money on Twitch. It's just so, yeah, in the middle of all of that, all the streamers are bitching about money and shit, which is just amazing. You love to see it. 
Um, all right, provolone cheese with the five. When Bo Black's his essay, when Bo Black's essay, okay, you gotta cover it up. We will help. Yeah, that's retarded. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Leia something with a 20. All of these people are making ATX look bad. Ice Poseidon <laughs> has to save ATX. All right, all right. Should we get to the fucking call? I could go over the H3 podcast and Ethan's hypocrisy or whatever with the Elenity stuff, or we could just get into the fucking call. Because honestly, I I just want to listen to this again. The call is too fucking funny. It's too good. Literally. I'm just going to fucking play the call. We might get into Ethan like later. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, fuck Ethan. All right. So and when Destiny speaks, by the way, we're going to skip over that part. I wish he would just leak the fucking like document so that we could just like have the raw audio of the call. Uh, some guy apparently edited all of Destiny out and put it up on YouTube, but then they privated it. For some fucking reason. So thanks, asshole. Uh, but yeah, basically, whenever Destiny interjects, we'll probably skip over it. Um, let's just let's just start with it. Full, you know, good times we used to have, you know. But then, like, so again, what? this is right after Train's tweet where he uh, accused Miz and Maya and Mitch of covering up a uh, sexual assault. This is right after that tweet. Watching you on yeah, Train, same for you, dude. You Bro, know, watching I, on the second I joined this call, it's like. I I fall relief and I don't care. Yeah, it, I know. It's literally that simple. It's, well, then why do you sit there and do that shit with train, Pokey I and Hassan? You do, you do. Train, huh? Please, please send me a clip of me shitting on you relentlessly. With Bro, I don't, have, man. Have, have you ever had an argument with your girlfriend, right? And, and, then, and then you say, yo, last week you yelled at me for not cleaning my desk up. And then she goes, oh, uh, give me a date and time. I don't have your fucking clip prepared. I don't have a fucking hoard or file of clips ready to give you. Well, what do you mean? I get shit in my chat for the last fucking two years of Bro, you. Bro, you can't listen to your chat, man. Bro, I know that. So then I get clips from my mods and they, I, I don't save the clips. I watch them muted on stream because I don't want to. And by the way, this has literally been the result of uh, Miz just randomly taking shots, like pot shots at fucking train wrecks for like the last, it sounds like for a while. I know of it happening for the last week. Apparently, TikTok's been going viral way before this story blew up or whatever, uh, where Miz has been talking shit about gambling and about Train. And Train basically was just like, fuck you, motherfuckers. I've had enough of this, all right? I'm going nuclear. I know you guys are all fucking horrible people, so if you're going to go after my career, my sponsors, get my fucking entire genre banned from the fucking website that I've been using for the, like the last like half decade or whatever... Well, then fuck you guys. If y'all gonna ruin my life, I'm gonna ruin yours. Except I'm gonna do it justifiably, right? Uh, which is awesome. I don't know. Again, like the timing of it just still feels inherently scummy, but seemingly from what, again, it's all so sketchy because like the girl has explained that no, th this, this is the only time the story could have come out. But again, that doesn't really make any fucking sense. She claims she was scared of being blackballed, but th that she was already blackballed by the community anyway. So I don't know why that would matter, but... Yeah, I don't know. Drama, and then you say some just backhanded sh**, or you fucking watch a video that calls me a puppet. You hear, okay, you, let's say I do, which I don't. But if I did, don't you say same sh** too all the time? I hear you all the Only time. Only when, when you come at me. Only when you come at me. So now, it's, okay. So it's now it seems like we have to find out who said sh** first. So it's because you. it sounds like you and I are just coming. <laughs> it, let's just say, Miss, Miss, Miss. Sure. sure. No, Miss. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. You know this thing I'm about to say is a fact because you've said it to me. Who is the easiest person on Twitch to gain clout from for hating him? Hassan. Who? Yo, me. Uh, right now it's XQC, but it was you for no. like five years. No, it's not me. No, it is. Ad it is one. No, worry. it isn't even X. It is. No. Oh. It. One second, Mitch. It is what me. Do you understand? Pokey, Hassan, all of them. They came at me for Gordon right. Ramsay. They came at me for YouTube did videos. Did I though, Train? Did I? Nope. You didn't until Gordon the Gordon Ramsay? Does he mean they came at him for making React content? Do doesn't Pokey and Hassan do that? Gambling stuff. Do you understand? The, the gambling stuff, Train, every time I'd mention the gambling stuff with you, first of all, I don't make my chat hate you. My chat doesn't hate you in the slightest. Second of all, I have, whenever you're talking about with gambling, I always say that Train was a gambler before Twitch. You were. Like, Regardless of how you feel about it, you were 100% a degen gambler. I remember you gambling CSGO skins on the plane. You know, it was like you you were a gambler. This is not some new information. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's so, no, talked about. I, I a always, narrative is pushed, Miz, and you know it. You're like, you played dumb, but you're a smart guy. You I'm know not, how I'm Twitch not works. Dumb. I know, you know I'm smart. 
you know how Twitch works, bro. You know how it works. And you've been you've been at me for two years with Miz and Hassan. Like, I don't know how you're seriously. I don't say anything you about Pokey? you. First of all, can we both agree that Pokey and Hassan are way rougher with you than I am? Also, did you watch the call I said I had yesterday in front of like 80 KP? Yeah, I and spent, Devin Nash said, messaged me and literally said, Miz Kiff and Pokey. Sat Does Miz know that he was being recorded? Uh, apparently, according to XQC, they all recorded it. So Train's the one that leaked it. So apparently, they were all recording. Uh, you have to be a dumbass, I mean, not to, especially getting a call with all, all of these people, knowing what's at stake. Yeah, I don't know. Out there, destroying your character, assassinating your character. You to send me a clip of that because it's and not I pulled, true. He said that I brought up, it's not about uh, what he does. It's about the whole, he brought up the whole of a person. And that's when Pokey backpedaled and said, oh yeah, Pokey I'm not talking about. nuts on you. Yeah, I did not. So the first part of the call is just them basically arguing the fact that they've been, uh, you know, going at it and stuff. It, we, we can skip ahead to where they get to the, you know, to the tweet, which I think is more interesting. What is this link? Good one, dude. <laughs> If you're if you're listening from home, I think the big things that everybody's looking for on this call right now right. is to find. Yeah, so Barry, Barry took us there, and then or not me. I didn't go because you know why I didn't go. I knew that if I went train, it would have looked immediately like a power play because it would have. If I went there, so this is when they find out that the girl's been assaulted or whatever, and they're deciding who to talk to her first: Ms. Kiff or uh, or Mitch or Maya, basically. And I was or I guess Barry because he was involved too. There. At, you know, 30k Andy against these people, it's going to look like a power play and it's going to look bad. The reason you why I said Maya so, but, uh, is because Maya is much more liked. People respect her and I, I feel like Maya can talk to these girls because I want to know what the fuck went on with my best friend. I care. I really Miz, care. Miz. And I was willing to lose pause, like that Just day. pause real quick. Know. No, pause real quick. Okay. I need you to hear what you just said. <laughs> do, sure. do, do you understand? Sending Maya because she's liked, trusted, and a girl, you don't understand how much worse that that is? Do you know <laughs> what you're it, saying, it, though? Right. No, Train. If okay. I sent myself as a 30,000 viewer streamer, that is way... I think that should... You're sending... Okay, I'm trying real quick. So they're all arguing, right, about, like, who to send there or something, right? And right from the start, Miskiff exposes, like, his very, like, planned nature of this, right? Like, he's he's kind of basically saying, like... You know, we had to think about this optically, like who was the best person to send or something like that, right? And it's possible, and Destiny explains this a little bit, but he doesn't quite get at the point that I'm getting at. It's possible that um, Miz could have been thinking innocently, right? But I think regardless of that, whether he was thinking innocently or whether he was thinking like, you know, strategically in a very evil way, it doesn't really fucking matter at the end of the day because he's obviously in over his head completely. Like he's exposed his thought process instantly. Oh shit. How is this going? How do we, how do we, what do we do? How, like, who do we send to talk to her first? It's like, well, no, why don't you just fucking figure out what's going on first? Right. But immediately he's like, who should we send to talk to her? Good thing they didn't send Mitch though. I'll give him that. That was, a, that was probably a good move. Oh man. All right, let's get back to this. The bust. And I guess we'll see how the call turns out to see which side is supported more. Mitch Not and your here. girlfriend, it's an extension of yourself, and it's even worse because now it's under- Yo, what's up, Buzzly? Thank you for the tier one, by the way. The guys of trust. Well, it, so here's what happened. Mitch got there. Mitch was basically there, and he, uh, from what I've heard, he just played with the dog, is what yeah, I was told. Yeah, Mitch, it true? was basically, if you want to know, like, the real thing, I, like, witnessed it all, and, um... There's like three. Who the fuck is this talking right now? I'm sorry, that sounded so. This is Barry. Who the fuck is who is this I really wish Destiny fucking link like post this call or whatever, so I could just listen to it without the commentary. I swear to God, it'd be so much easier. So from what we know so far, Barry, Mitch, and Maya were the three that went over to the house. Apparently, the reason why Destiny's not releasing the full call is because Jacob wanted to make a video about it or some shit. I I, I don't know. That's just what After I heard. The incident took place between Ariana, uh, not Ariana. <laughs> Adriana and fucking um, Slick, not Slicker. These are the three that went over to talk to them. Jesus, so many. This is like the Avengers Civil War. 400 characters involved. Fuck me. Smart for Destiny because now you got to watch them. Well, yeah, I know why he's doing it, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. Also, the fucking thing's breaking. You know what? I'm just going to pull this out of my uh, YouTube player because YouTube's doing that thing again where the videos are glitching. Luckily, I downloaded it. Oh, wait, I lied. I only downloaded part two. All right, hold on. Bear with me here. It's just acting like 
stupid Mitch. His dumbass. Yeah. Well, uh, he, he wasn't like. It was basically Mila gaslighting Adriana the whole time, basically saying, "Are you sure this is what Slick did to you? You're pretty drunk. You wouldn't remember it. Are you sure that doesn't sound something like Slick would do? We know Slick." Shit okay, like that. So, so let's, and then, let's and then one said. more thing, one more thing, one more thing. And then she was like, if you tweet longer, crazy slick, this won't be good for your streaming career. You won't yes. be invited. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I need to play that again just so you guys made sure you heard that because that is fucking deadly. Anytime this Barry guy speaks, by the way, usually they're all fucked because Barry seems to be the only guy who's open to being honest about you know, just how fucked this conversation was with Maya. All right. Barry's the only one that says shit. Mitch kind of says stuff and then he kind of contradicts himself. Like for instance, he, he claims he was just outside playing with the dogs and he wasn't really involved in this conversation. But then later in the, like later on stream, he admits that he was there for 20 minutes at least, which is a considerable chunk of time. A lot could have been said in 20 minutes, right? But Barry, no, no, no. Listen to this again. Just dumbass. Time. Well, uh, he, he wasn't like, it was basically Mila gaslighting Adriana the whole time, basically saying, are you sure this is what Slick did to you? You're pretty drunk. You wouldn't remember it. Are you sure that doesn't sound something like Slick would do? We know Slick. Shit okay, like that. So, so let's and, then and notice how all these people that always defend Slick, they always use the line like, oh, I know Slick. I know what Slick's like. Slick, Slick's just a little weird, but trust me. Oh, that's just Slick. That's just him, you know? It's like that that defense doesn't make you sound good at that makes you sound worse because he's obviously a fucking scumbag, right? You can it, if people on Twitter can realize that just based on testimonies, DM drops and you know stories or whatever, then you people that actually know him IRL and actually get to see him, you know, how he is around, you know, other women or how he is at parties and stuff, um how touchy feely is or whatever, like what the fuck? What the actual fuck? But no, they knew him. He's just a good guy or whatever, except when Mitch, uh, or sorry, except whenever Miz drops his document and claims, oh, now he's realized that, you know, Slick's like a fucking weirdo or whatever. Based on all these news stories I've heard, now I realize, holy shit, this guy was lying to me. It's like, really? Again, I don't fucking believe that. One more thing. One more thing. Even in this call, dude, it's like Miz does everything he can fucking do to save his friendship with Slick. What's going on there? What's the big deal? I know, yeah, sure, it's your best fucking friend. You don't wanna disavow your best friend or whatever. You don't wanna lose a best friend. I'm sorry, dude, but how hard is it if your best friend does something like crazy like this, right? To be like, all right, enough. Like not even to the point where like you feel bad while you're doing it. No, I would feel if like my best friend did something that was like on this level, I'd be like, no, I, it's not even just a matter of, I feel like I have to disavow them. I want to disavow you. I want to be away from you. I want you out of my life. I want you nowhere near me. You're cancer. I don't know. Thing. And then she was like, if you tweet longer, crazy slick, this won't be good for your streaming career. You won't yes. be like, okay. <sighs> I am getting, all right, hold on. I swear to God, destiny. You're killing me here. But just as a heads up, just think that you are way more. Now that doesn't mean that, oh, this person is Holy not. Slick. What have to do with me? Because at, at, see like, listen, how can you go from this person that cares to this, what is it? You're willing to throw anyone under the bus and then you give me the excuse that you no, want to save no, Crazy I'm not. Slick. Bro, I did want to save Crazy Slick. That at was the my house. Objective. He wanted to save him. Yeah, sure. I'd want to save Crazy Slick too, if he was innocent, but he's not. What are you saying, dude? Sure Mitch Clay told me, was okay. and I know Mitch is going to have a hard time doing this because he's with you right now, which if you're how you are, you know, it's going to be tough to do this. But like he told me that you said, you're like, listen, Maya, you need to go there and use who you are on Twitch to get him to write something less. You no, wanted no, that. We had no idea what was going to happen. Miss we had Maya. No, look, look it's ba that. hold up, hold up, hold up. Miss, it's no, basically wait, the Mitch, same Mitch, thing Mitch. that Miz just, no, but check it out. It's the no, same geez, thing that. No, Mitch, check no, it's the same thing that you that you just said, Matt. Like where you were like, you know, like I knew Maya was like liked or whatever. You yep. said, yeah. I mean, it's just it's literally you said that exactly. Yep. Like because and, and, I knew for the fact that Adriana was not going to give me any information because she wasn't talking to Mitch. She didn't want to talk to either of us. And Maya is someone that's actually liked. And Maya, Maya also did have. So we know now that the reason why 
Train knows what he knows is because it seems like Mitch has passed on the information. And now Mitch is the most annoying person in this whole drama. Dumpy, call in and tell us stories about Mitch Jones. <laughs> you have a few, right? Train. Do you? I don't know. I'm asking. Miss Kiff are now grilling Mitch to figure out what exactly Mitch said, how he interpreted things. Because obviously the characterization that Train has of everything is way different than the characterization that Miss Kiff is saying happened. But about her own sexual assault experience in life. You think someone that has gone through it herself would go over to another victim's house and down talk them from not writing right, something? She, no, she just went live and talked about this at her own experience. So you think she went out of her own will to talk to somebody and talk them down from tweeting about something that happened to her? None of this makes sense. And what Mitch told me directly, they were sent to that house by any means possible by you. This, this, this story that you just wanted to do it innocently and you just wanted to get information, that is such that, bullshit. Train, train, train. You didn't, didn't you're, 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 you're making a narrative, you're twisting it. I said, he's my best friend and I want to make sure that he's okay. I, I did want to make sure that, that was a thing. He's my best fucking friend. Did I, did I go, tell Maya and Slick to, or, Okay, so real quick. All right. He's that's what Mitch told me on the spot there. Again, and he's my best happened. friend. As if that's, that's not an argument. Did when anybody else there. hear that? If, listen, Mitch, you told me what you told me. Dude, if, it was literally me, Slick, Maya, and fucking Mitch, Mitt, Matt. Mitch, I'm, listen. Train, let me tell you something. I was crying when they left, and I know Maya was too, and so was Mitch, because we all knew that Slick might... We, I personally thought we were going to... Why are you that. saying this stuff when you sent <laughs> someone to the house? To write the twit longer and have them come down. Like, it I makes not, no sense. I did not send anyone to write the twit longer. Adriana's her own human being and she can completely write what she wants. I did you not just send said, anyone to go write Slick the is your own, is your best friend, right? It's not Maya's right? best friend. It's not Mitch's best friend. It's your best friend. So you, you're telling me right? Maya and Mitch went out of their own will to go over there. And for your best friend, they decided to have Adriana with threats backpedal on her what twit threats? longer. You also said blackmail train. What blackmail? That's what blackmail is. It's, it won't be good for your career. <laughs> what what it won't be good for your I career. You think I said that? I never said that. You don't need to say I it. You sent said people there no, to I... say Yeah, exactly. Your girl said that, right? Your girl said that. You don't get to sit here and play like, oh, I'm separated from this. I didn't say it. No, you sent your girl over there so that she could talk Adriana down from making it a big deal so that Slick would, yeah, maybe get a little bit of shit for it. Yeah, sure, he'd put out an apology or whatever. Apology. But we can still justify having him in the house or whatever. It's like, no, the whole reason why he sent Maya over there was so she could say something that would discourage or just convince Adriana not to go as hard as she probably should have. That's the whole fucking reason. But then that, now he wants to sit here and be like, well, I didn't say it, so it's not my fault. No, your girl said it. And she said it because of circumstances you put her in because you were running this whole fucking gay op operation to silence the story. Thank for you. I never said anyone to go over there and say, Your Honor, my client uh, may have done a sexual assault, but my client is my best friend that lives in LA. Yeah, sure. He's my best friend. They live in Austin. Then why are Maya, why are Maya and Mitch doing that for your best friend? Does that make any sense to anybody or you? They're, they're best friends with him too. Don't act like Maya. Oh, they're best friends with him. And again, Mitch points out that everybody here that's fucked up in the story is a best friend of Crazy Slick. What does this Crazy Slick guy even do? Why is everybody his best friend? This guy has like no clout or whatever. He's literally just like some fucking no name attached to their fucking group. So they're not getting clout from him. Or what are they all actually genuinely friends with this weirdo? I maybe I guess it's just it, it's just weird to me like how much fucking attachment they have to Slick all of them. Why? Oh yeah, my, Slick, Mitch, okay. are you guys not very close to Slick? Slick's our I'm, best. Uh, I'm, I'm friends with Slick, yeah, for sure. He said he, he said best. best and, yeah, and he Mitch just said he's Slick. not best friends with him. No, train. We care. He just about, said like, it. Maya cares a lot about Slick. Maya lived with me and Slick. How would you know my situation with me and Slick? Me and Maya and Slick were very, very close. Here's all I know. Time. Here's all I see. I see you doing what you did to Adriana right now to Mitch. I see you doing it no, to me I in the didn't, DM. I didn't do anything. Mitch is scared to talk. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> Mitch is going to... <laughs> to be fair, Mitch sounds like he's always scared to talk, dude. Did you guys see his fucking stream last night? Holy shit. He barely what? even... He, he just muttered. <laughs> 
I, I, I no, like I'm I, I, I'm scared to talk up. because I'm scared to talk because I feel like I'm put in the middle of a situation. You know what I'm saying? And like, so, so, so maybe, Straight up. maybe. Sorry, just to be clear, Mitch put himself in this situation. We didn't <laughs> put here. Mitch was the one that communicated this. So I don't know why he's saying I don't want to be in the middle of the situation, motherfucker. You walked into it, screaming on both sides, like. Maybe I should've should have just stayed outside playing with the dogs. Train is smarter than I thought. I would um he, he was able to see right through Mrs. Bullshit distraction. Yeah, no, train's train's pretty slick in this call. Should I should ask since I'm not quite as, as biased. And yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I I don't really know exactly what's going on. So Mitch leaked the uh leaked the call. I thought wait, what? I thought Destiny said that train leaked it last night. Mitch, like from your perspective, like what happened that day? I told, uh, dude, I told everything that we've said in this call adds up completely. Like we were, yep, yeah, we saw <laughs> so all your FC. We're slick, grew up. It was normal to grow up unconscious women. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's like, what is that, like Cosmodor's excuse? Well, in Germany, it's normal to fuck kids. What? Fucking, we were in the, Let's we were in. We were in Slick's room when it when we were about to go to uh, Adriana Lee's house or whatever. Barry wasn't there yet. It was me, Matt, Slick, and Maya. And then you know, Miz was saying exactly what we just said in the call. He's like, you know, I. He grew up in Chile. I know nothing about that country or their rules. Don't they, you were even telling me I shouldn't go? You should just send Maya because she's a girl and she'll relate and shit. And then like me yeah, going yeah. there. Well, yeah, and like that was pretty much it. Like yes, Miz definitely knew like the situation and how to play it to benefit his friend and wanted that to happen. That is what Of course, yes. he's my best friend. Of course I want to make sure you we just have okay. Best okay. okay, okay, we all right, all right. Sure have- so what do we have here, all right? Miz sent Maya to confront Adriana because they would relate more. It's woman to woman, right? And they also all, he, he admits that uh, Mitch, <laughs> Maya, and Ms. Kiff are all best friends with Crazy Slick. All three of them. Just, they all love them. Everybody can't get enough of the Crazy Slick dick. It's the best way so, possible to make sure that Slick is okay and everything is okay. Do you know what? So, so, so I was ready to lose my. Slick, though. Just to think that I wasn't ready to lose Slick is you're out of your mind. If she went to, if Maya went there and said, uh, yeah, I talked to Adriana and she's like, Slick 100% did what she did. I don't even remember what he did. But if she said that, I was ready to lose Slick. I, when they- okay, so this is what Ms. should have said the first time. This is what Ms. Kiff should have said the first time. If 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 Maya uncovers from Adriana that Slick acted in an inappropriate manner, he was ready to cut out Slick. That's what should have been said the first time. But when they left the, the place, me and Slick were sitting like, there. It's over. But is there I'm more to the Drain, story? It, it really was that way, and I don't know how. What Mitch how, just how, said how and what you just said yup to it, is bad. The problem here <laughs> is. Everybody. I think we're gonna have Bo here in a second. Shout out Dame Pesos. Is he in the chat? In this fucking call, it's a fucking pussy. Okay, because right now it sounds like to me, it sounds like Mitch has the answers here to what exactly is going on. But he's saying that he agrees with both sides when both sides are painting a very different narrative of what actually happened. Where one has Mizkif as a conniving schemer sending over his lovely doty girlfriend he is. to make smooth everything over with Adriana, and then on the other hand. And you've got uh, Ms. Kiv, the responsible, you know, OTK runner and everything, trying to figure out. Oh my god, the fucking call is going to break. Well, luckily I downloaded it, so we can just... I'm just going to pull up my downloaded copy of it, because... YouTube... YouTube always breaks whenever I go live. It's always normal offline, but yeah, it's... What are we, 2032? Basically... Okay, Jesus Christ, that audio is horrible. Alright, 2032. Alright. These are two very different stories, and there's a lot of like kind of half-hearted agreements, but like people really need to focus on like what the fuck happened, um, and, and neither side is like drilling. It would have to be either it would have to either be either, either be Mitch or Barry that has to be drilled into to figure out what the fuck was actually said. Like, who, who's yeah, Mitch sent- isn't gonna say shit. That's the problem. Mitch has uh, his interests are compromised. He's more interested in running cover for Miz than actually telling the truth of what's happening because Mitch is like terrified of conflict. Like, last night, he went live. He was, like, having, like, a fucking panic attack. He was, like, quiet for, like, 30 minutes straight. He wasn't doing anything. He had to, like, call a friend on stream to, like, help calm him down in front of the audience or whatever. It's like, why are you even here? Why are you live? You haven't said a single thing. All he was saying last night, and I'll tell you, I because I watched it, I was just screaming at him. I was he, he was, he just went live last night, and he was just sitting there, like, 
man, this whole drama just makes me really sad. It's just really sad to see everybody uh, turn it into an attack. It's just sad. All this stuff just is sad what's happened. It just really makes me sad. Kill yourself, all right? Are you not going to fucking tell us anything interesting? Really? Because you actually have a very interesting fucking role in this story. We're never going to hear any of that shit. Well, actually, we did hear some of it. Uh, this was about all that was worth uh, from the call last night. By the way, that was a joke in Minecraft, of course. You, yeah. But, Listen to this. But, all right. I mean, dude, like... Someone asked the question in the chat, and I think, like, if you want to get your truth out, and I can't fucking lead you, bro. Oh, so yeah, you, you, well, like, you just need to tell me, ask me the question, and I will answer it. Okay, give... Give the chat a yes or no, like, a yes or no answer. Did Miz explicitly give direction to you and Maya and fucking whoever the fuck else was in that room to go to Adriana's house and to, quote unquote, downplay the situation or find a way to save Slick's ass? Yes or no? The answer to that is yes. Oh, it's over. It's fucking over. Lock Miz up. Send Miz Kiff to jail. Throw him in, throw him in prison. <laughs> Holy shit. So yeah, the answer is yes. So is Mitch lying? Miz Kiff? You want to you wanna drop another statement on this or address this uh, or go live or anything? Like what the fuck's going on here? the situation or find a way it's to over. save Slick's ass. It's over. Yes or no? The answer to that is yes. Okay. Uh, That's the fucking sauce right there, bro. And that, that and it's just like that. So maybe I spoke too soon about uh, our friend uh, Mitch Jones there because he did come through with that. I'll admit that's a pretty juicy drop. Hold on. Boblax is calling me. I'm in the live room. Tell Nick to come home, all right? He's missing all the good fucking drama. What's oh, up, man? Oh, I thought you were in the clip.live room. Oh. Not the fucking Oblax live room. I like. I was getting confused. I literally forgot we had a server. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what the fuck? You forgot about clip.live? <laughs> Wait, I actually th forgot we had a server. I just, I just went in your fucking room. It's so instinctual, dude. I'm not even on the show yeah. as permanent guest anymore. And now, okay. I want to well, play. Sorry for calling you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to play that clip again because I want to get your reaction. I mean, we've all seen it, but it's just so fucking good. Hop in uh, the screen share. Uh, oh, yeah, this? Yeah, this yeah. is just fucking deadly. I'll, I'll just play the last, like, 20 seconds. And fucking 50 minutes, the five fuck minutes. was in that room to go to Adriana's house and to quote unquote downplay the situation or find a way to save Slick's ass. Yes or no? The answer to that is yes. Okay. That's the fucking sauce right there, bro. And that there it is. There it is. There you go. Finally, dude. After like, Dude, he wants his cake and eat it too, like so badly. He's like, I still want to be in the house with Miss Kiff and uh, uh but you know the truth. And it's like, bro, well, you're already on stream. You already fucked Miz over by pressing start stream. Just fucking let it dump, bro. Well, here's the deal. Um, like the reality of this whole entire drama is that Miss Kiff and all the people that are involved in this, but especially Miss Kiff, he's still gonna have a career, like. In like a month from now or whatever, I guarantee there's not going to be that many people on his ass about it anymore. He's going to have a career. He's going to do just fine. Even the statement that he drops responding to this is probably going to be received overall positively by retards. Okay. Um, True. Miz is probably going to be fine. So in three months from now, you know, right now, I think Mitch wants to have the glory of, you know, setting the record straight and, you know, being the guy to tell the truth. But he also wants to be in a position where three months from now, when Miz is still relevant and is still doing ex like just fine, he wants to have the ability to still like be able to network with that guy because at that point it will be socially acceptable to associate with him again or whatever. Um, because he's probably not going to be mm. fucking canceled from this. I don't know. I think it's like with Miz. I think it's fifty fifty. With everybody else, uh, except for Slick, I think Slick's fucked. I think everybody else is fine. With Miz, it's fifty fifty because like. 
if whenever he's brought up, it's like, oh, yeah, Miz, that guy who covered up sexual assault, fucking Harvey Weinstein, you know? It just depends how he's talked about from here on out. Uh, now, obviously, a lot of the Twitch viewers are just going to be like, love Miskiff no matter what. But if, like, he might be fucked in, within the creator community, like, if we keep, like, hammering home and other creators keep hammering home, like, covering up SA, you know? I yeah. mean, Tony Carson got fucked, right? So. Yeah, but he took a big ass break. I think that's more what fucked him. He, and then his meta yeah. of content got unpopular. The whole Discord yeah. trolling videos and like the fucking Minecraft shit that he was doing. But still, when when you mention the name Colin Carson, what immediately comes to mind? The controversy, yeah. right? And I think that might also happen to Miskiff if we keep, uh, you know, the pressure on. No, I, I I stand with what I say. I don't think he's going to get hurt by this at all. Um, I see even like Tommy C disagrees. I disagree because his meta of content or whatever is still going to be popular. Whereas Carson's died out, right? Like the whole stuff that Carson was making or whatever, like that whole genre of content. He, he had like a whole community of people making stuff just like that. They all kind of dropped off the face of the earth and stopped doing that shit or whatever. Um, whereas yeah, if, if Miskiv doesn't take a massive fucking break well, and, and his meta is still relevant, I think it'll be just fine. What? I don't know exactly what content Miz makes. So does he make like content that relies on like other people and collabs? Cause what was told to me, uh, behind the scenes about call me Carson is the main reason he dropped off is a lot of his content. It's variety uh, his content. Friends, his friends were like, uh, being funny and he was just kind of like the person there. Right. Mm -hmm. So now that no one wants to associate with Carson, it's just Carson. He's not funny. Like Carson isn't funny alone. He's funny with other people. So is it the same with Miz or? Yeah. If um, it is the same with Miz, then. I don't know. I'm looking at his content. He does like variety content and stuff like this. I mean, I don't know what the genre of this applies to. Uh, it's like streamer games, well, fucking IRL. You know, Whenever I see Miz, I always see him like collaborating with people like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm hearing about Mizkif because he did something with a uh, you know, Pokemane, or he did something with uh, Moist Critical, or he did something with Ludwig, or something like that. Uh, yeah. So if it, a lot of his content is reliant on these creator connections, and they're not going to do that with him anymore, he might be fucked. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm not familiar enough with his content to say for sure. Yo, I think everyone else is going to be fine, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, I'm very not... I don't know. Let's just say there's certain situations that have kind of taught me that, like, I mean, public... like. Uh, public opinion and morale, uh, or morality or whatever, whatever the fuck, morality. All right, public opinion yeah. and morality do not fucking mix. Uh, ultimately, what matters is your fucking content. You can be a scumbag, be just fine. You can be a good person who changes your life around and get shafted for it. I don't fucking know, man. Do you really think Miskiff can pull off the like Ice Poseidon train wreck scheme star type thing? Where he's like the bad guy and he plays into it. Like I don't think Miz. I think Miz's ego. No, is too no. Big I think that. he's gonna be the good guy still, and I think there's just gonna be people that are too fucking dumb to realize it. Or well, again, this is the other thing, right? Streamers are parasocial as fuck, okay? Because they sit, they sit there and they jerk off with their chat yep. for like twelve hours a fucking day. That's twelve hours. If you hang out with anybody in real life for twelve hours or whatever, unless they're just totally obnoxious with you or you have like no fucking chemistry with them, you're probably going to at least be okay with them or like them or be like generally like, yeah, you're pretty cool or whatever. You're an all right guy in my head. Even if I knew you've done things bad in the past where it doesn't really matter because you're humanized in my eyes. A lot of these streamers that are like horrible, they're humanized uh, in a way that fucking people who do videos and stuff and even people that do other types of streams, they aren't. Because this guy interacts with his fucking chat. The people that are followers of him are diehards. You know? He's got yeah. more of a diehard crew. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like once you get exposed for something so severe, there's like a limit. Like, Slicker's probably not going to get his viewers back, the guy who scammed everyone. Uh, and there's I agree, Slicker's probably going to take been... a hit. But to be fair, his numbers weren't great to begin with when the I drama guess. first started. So I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I think Miz can get away with a lot, right? But right now, I think the pressure is so hot that maybe he can't come back. But maybe he can. Again, I say I'm 50-50. I think that the way you're saying it could easily play out. But I'm also, I also can see it going the other way. Everybody yeah. else, they're fine, though. Like, Pokey's not going to get hurt from this. Hassan's not going to get hurt from this. Uh, you know, Mitch is not going to get hurt from this. If Boblax open okay, if <laughs> you're fucking retarded, okay. Sanchez gang. All right, let me read some of these donations, uh, and then we'll get right back into the clip. 
Say goodnight with the 10 says, Mitch is such a rap, but yet he got mad for Destiny calling him that, but won't hop off the center, even though he's the one that started all of this. Cats of Flock with 10 says, I appreciate Bo Blacks. Uh, Pat C Thank with you. the 2 says, Blow Blacks. Ash with the 10 says, The way this is the same excuse slash reaction frat rapes are known for and fought against, and people on Twitch would also agree it's wrong, but as soon as it's someone they know, clown emoji. Yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. Jim the Grab with the Fod says he's probably bringing up the best friend thing, so it seems like his motivations were semi noble. Yeah, but he's too fucking dumb to realize that that makes him sound worse, actually. It's like, yeah, if your best friend is doing horrible shit, I can't really empathize with that because, again, it's not like your best friend. If my best friend gets busted, uh, I don't know, with an addiction or even like stealing money or some shit, I, I, those are things that where I can be like, you're fucking up, you're on the wrong path of life, but I'm not going to abandon you over it. You know what I mean? Um, but this is just one of those things where it's like, okay, you're like sexually assaulting somebody. It's like, man, I can't fucking just, I can't be around that. You know, like that's just too much. You're, you're at the point. Although I don't know, the more I think about it, maybe he can be friendly with them still, but it's, but it's how he handles the situation. It's like, all right, be friendly with them if you want but don't fucking send your fucking girlfriend to uh, blackmail her or whatever to silence the story so that your friend can get away with it. It's one thing. You can hold people that are really close to you accountable for their actions while at the same time not totally abandoning them if you don't want to. So I'm actually not even going to go that far as to say that he should cut him off. If he still wants to be friends with the guy, it, honestly, I don't really have much of an issue with that. But don't like let him get away with it. You know, don't cover for him. Hold him accountable. You can be like, look, you are fucked in the head and you need serious help. I'm not necessarily going to abandon you, but you need to be held accountable for this shit that you've done and you need to set yourself straight or do something. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world to say at all. I don't know. So yeah, fuck having to disavow him if you don't want to disavow him, but hold him accountable and don't play cover up for him. That's the problem here. That's really the big issue. It's either what, like... They played cover up. For, he played cover up from so hard. He's like his best friend. His best friend. He keeps saying this in the call. A day after this call, or two days after this call. Yeah, Slick sexually assaulted people. We're kicking him out of the house. I don't yeah. care about him at all. Like what? What is this like? They're lo- not even human, bro. They're not even human. No, they're not. They're really. <laughs> they really aren't, dude. <laughs> like unironically, though, these people are all freaks. Like socially, like they're not they have the brain of like a fucking 15 year old all of them do well most of them also speaking of having dumb brains you know how these all these twitch streamers when they're on streams especially talking about serious stuff they're like pausing for minutes at a time they shit themselves yeah and and they're like shitting themselves the contrast between that and how they talk in private it's like they're not even real people on public streams ever like i've even heard them talk like that uh, it's like when they go live, they not. tap into some sort of like trance where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm in yeah, exactly. streamer it's mode. Like, everything is PR speak. And this even applies to obviously lesser so, but this even applies to like their normal streams. I've clipped like pretty regular streams from Twitch streamers that aren't like about uh, these serious topics. And they're still like very slow. They're like thinking about everything they're saying. Meanwhile, in this like Discord call, they're like, rapid fire i'm like what they're actually people they're actually talking like people what is this are these the same people yeah it's no it's absolutely insane um let me see here cats of flock in their tents is nepotism a uh, big tune dog thank you for the 10 all right we're all cut up we're all cut up oh shit sean west three this is hotter than the vega call good one dude hell yeah and 20th century Boy, tipped five, says a bunch of streamers, Jerma, Critical, etc. are going to leave Twitch if they go through with the 50-50 plus forced ads plan. Let's go, YouTube stream supremacy. Hey, I curved out YouTube streaming before any of these people, all right? Before anybody. My channel was the fucking only dominant YouTube streamer. And now everyone's coming here, dude. And they're all forgetting about me. What the fuck? All right. to do what? That I sent Maya there because no, I, that you I that go. you knew how to play it to benefit you. You don't think that's bad? Well, I think that every single person is going to do something that's beneficial. Asma will not in- Oops. fucking rape or well, a, a and, sexual and, assault. And, and, and that's what I'm really <laughs> trying to. Un- that's what I'm trying to understand. Sexual assaulter. She wrote she tweeted that train. She, yeah, she I, literally I, wrote that train. That that slick she, might have done it. Might she? have done it. She yeah might have because she was downplayed and down talked and threatened by Maya. 
because she was sent there yeah. by you because she was more trusting and relatable so it could play out your way. Well, you don't now, see that as an uh, issue? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Bar Barry and, and Mitch, like, is that is that an accurate summary? or? Yeah. I don't know why Asmongold has, like, <laughs> yeah. no political experience. <laughs> I don't ever see him, like, engage in, like, any like super intellectual activity besides World of Warcraft. He's a very smart guy. Alice is asking the absolute correct questions right now. He's, he, he honed in on it. And this is actually really true. Um, Aspen Golds has some pretty brain dead fucking takes on Twitter. Uh, but in like, when he moderated like the Fuentes, Hassan, Destiny, Sargon debate, I thought that was some of the best like top class debate moderating I think I'd ever seen. And it was from Asmin Gold of all people. So I don't know. I mean, the it's guy- because he's become- He's become like super PR and intentionally stupid over the past couple of years. Remember when he had that take of like Nick Fuentes shouldn't be banned from YouTube. And then like a year later, he's like, I'm glad Leafy's banned because he like completely changed his public persona to be fake like all these guys. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I'm not I'm not really concerned of whether he's fake or not, because I don't trust any of these. Fucking, oh, I don't trust anyone on, on the Internet in general. Uh, but with Asma Gold. Whether he's fake or not, he obviously is significantly more intelligent than most of the other fucking streamers on Twitch. That's I agree. for sure. One hundred percent. And he's pretty decent at fucking. He's pretty indecent at interrogating people uh, and interviewing people, which is weird because he doesn't really do it that ever. But and the few times that I have, let me be clear to chat. I don't think um, Asmund Gold's a bad person. I just think he's putting on like, you know, a bit of a persona. For his streams, but I yeah, don't, but I don't he's good he's at dissecting shit, so I can appreciate it, yep. even if it's put on yep. or something. I, I, yeah, I do appreciate Asmund Gold, and especially in this scenario, definitely. Yeah, I don't think he really did anything wrong. Now he's asking, uh, Barry, Mitch, tell me what the fuck happened. This is these are the people that need to be interrogated right now. The back and forth between Mitch and Tyler, or I'm sorry, Jesus, the names. The back and forth between um, Ms. Kiff and Tyler, or. Um, train wrecks is irrelevant none of that matters right now these are the only two people that matter uh, it as, is. as two people oh, that were there they, they got maya gaslit her pretty fucking hard dude. see i didn't hear no. i was i was, I was outside i was outside dude oh i listened to the whole thing man it was it was like kind of shocking because i did like okay so if mitch okay so that's barry talking about how maya gaslit adriana super hard and then immediately mitch backs oh i was outside playing with the dogs okay saying that he he's so scared dog, dude he's like i don't know anything God. yeah literally like just leave the call like bitch he yeah. anything at all but now we have a crucial hole in the story well here so there's two things one right. barry is saying that maya was way too hard on adriana mitch can't contradict that testimony because he, he wasn't, wasn't there. there but if that's the case why did mitch ever say anything to train wrecks in the first place <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I don't know if Asmund Gold will hone in on that or not, but it doesn't make sense that Mitch would have communicated that something improper happened if he was outside with the dog the entire time. He didn't hear the conversation. Why would you say anything at all? Like, okay, so you're saying that Maya, Maya, so you're saying But Maya then later on, by the way, in the stream, he says he was there for like 20 minutes. Just like, whoa. Yeah, 100% downplay. So was there more to the story? That's what I yeah. always wanted to know. Because yeah, like, he just wants to protect was, Maya. Like, she he likes her. her? Yeah. Wait, and okay. it was really like Great. like I said she was like are you sure that happened you were well, I mean last night like when he went live he openly admitted he was like yeah people are twisting this way too hard against Miz and it's like yes because he's a fucking cocksucker like literally once we get to the part where they talk about alinity in this call you guys gonna lose your shit okay we're not even at the juicy stuff yet wrong you wouldn't remember it right that doesn't sound like crazy slick and then saying, like, if you tweet longer, sl uh, slick, this will not be good for your streaming career. You won't be invited anywhere, stuff like that. And she was, like, saying it, like, Are you sure Maya said that? I really can't picture Maya saying that. Yeah, uh, okay. I remember it, dude. And, and, okay. I, I just remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go to this train, train, train. So we have Barry's testimony here. It would be really interesting to hear what Maya and what Adriana have to say about these two things, obviously, as the two first parties involved. Because Barry Maya and, never yeah. went on stream last <clears throat> night, by the way. Damn. Yeah, dude, if um if Adriana comes out, I don't know if she has already because there's just so much going on, but if Adriana comes out and confirms everything that Barry's saying in this call, like I believe it 100%. Oh yeah. Adriana has been very like consistent and truthful throughout this entire thing, and I mean she was the person being talked to, right? Like we can't trust Maya's statement cuz Maya's going to just, you know, Try to look as good as possible. Well, it's so criminal, too, because I've listened to this entire call already. And 
out of everybody in the call, Barry speaks the least, but he has the most interesting shit to say. Like the few times that he speaks is like nuclear. It's like, yeah, Maya was fucking insane. She was like an evil fucking bitch, like filling up like Adriana with all this, like all these like threats or whatever and like blackmail and all. And it's like, whoa, dude, I want to hear more about that. But he barely yeah. speaks. And they even call him out <laughs> later in the call about how he's not speaking that much. And it's like, whoa, because every time he fucking speaks, Mitch Jones is like, well, I mean, I don't know if it was that bad. Uh. And then it's like, yeah, well, dude, yeah. stop cutting him off. All right, I want to hear what he yeah. has to say. Barry's like the real person who you weren't even there. The creator like saying how it is, and then Mitch like interrupts, like, "Well, we gotta sugarcoat this because this is going to crazy." I mean, like, oh, I don't um, want to kick down the house. And, it's oh. like, dude, you literally told us you were jerking the dogs off while this entire thing was happening, but then later yeah, in the so call, shut the fuck up. You say, "Actually, no, I was there for just twenty minutes." Really? What happened? He 20 wants to be minutes? involved and not involved at the same time. Like, yeah. you can't have your cake and eat it, too, in a situation like this. Like, Mitch, just fucking pick a side, bro. Like, what? It's just so retarded. Like, Jesus. I'm really, really bad now. It's like, what, what the here, let's, let's, let's train. If your best friend was possibly... I think it'd be more <laughs> useful if the dogs spoke up about what they heard than Mitch. They probably like, noticed man. more. The dogs yeah, probably paid probably more attention, <laughs> you know? Mitch is like, Like, Ooh. my owner was sad. It's like, mm. that's more info than fucking Mitch can give. My <laughs> owner was stressed by Maya. Yeah. Oh. Would no. you not try to send somebody to try to understand what happened? I'll give you an like example. I'll give you an example, okay? On a lesser level, not not involving uh, sexual assault. I'll give you a different lesson. Greek God X, okay? Right. This motherfucker is on the verge of losing everything, okay? And mm. I stayed loyal as his friend. But as a Would reason, you but no, Greek wait, means, like, man, I mean, I mean, yes, like, literally but, best buds, yes, bro, but, I, I but, hang out like every day. But as a reasonable person, I said, what he's uh, saying is fucking he's stupid and that. he's wrong, but I'll be there for him. You could be right. there for slick while he's canceled. You could be there for him and be his friend still. The problem is you don't, you don't want Are that. Are you sure I can be friends with a rape victim? A rape victim. Bro, he's, a rapist? A rapist. You, you said he raped someone. I'm, I could be friends with a rapist afterwards. What? That's up to you. That's up to you. Bro, if he, if, okay. Even well, train leaves the, the possibility, right? Because it's like, Miz's whole argument is, I don't want to lose my best friend. Okay, you don't have to. Again, what matters is how you handle the situation. And not only did you mishandle it, but you, uh, you, you were corrupt throughout the entire process. You played an active part in silencing the victim of your best friend. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you can still be friends with him afterwards. Maybe you can help him rehabilitate his fucking life, or I don't know. Do whatever the fuck you want. If he's your best friend, so if you want to fuck it, you know what I mean. Like, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because you him being your best friend just proves uh, the intent for why you were so corrupt during the entire process of this. That's up to you. But you're saying he's your best uh, friend. What, bro? Uh, look, I. I was ready to lose like that day, just like I did for Connor, like months before. And he, oh god, for Connor, I that was the guy. I think he, I think his story is just like some racist logs or whatever of him leaked. He actually was going to play one of our Among Us tournaments back in the day, um, and he was kind of going to be our in into the Twitch community, basically. But I think he ended up not showing up because he was like busy or some shit. I don't know. And then he got fucking cans like a half a year later for saying the N word or some shit. You? Maya there, and I think oh. I did nothing wrong by sending Maya and Mitch there because I wanted to know the situation and I wanted Slick to be okay. Now, do I did I tell Maya hey, Among Us curse strikes you? again? No, oh I, yeah, um, the um, I firmly believe that everybody that participated in our Among Us tournaments is going to have their lives ruined at some point, including myself. All right, so it's only a matter of fucking time. I don't believe Maya said that, but if she did, I never would say that. Hey, by the way, this can make your career weird. Train, you know I'm smart. I would never say to someone to do that. So no, I didn't. <laughs> you know what you just admitted right there? Oh my god! This what? What did I admit? You know you're smart. You never say it. Yes, yeah, so you're saying you didn't say it, so you could say you didn't say it, but you knew what okay, you're well, doing by you're sending them. Shit. I don't know what you're saying at this point. You're saying saying. Aspen, train, 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 please, listen. bro. I sent you, like the pro what? So yeah, yeah Miss did out Ms. himself. Here, <laughs> fighting against the characterization of what Maya did. Instead of trying to justify sending Maya over, because if Maya did what she did, there is no yeah. Wait, he hasn't talked about that at all. Barry just came out here and said flat out, like, no, she was a fucking, she was a psychopath. She gaslit the fuck out of her. She intimidated her, or whatever. Meanwhile, Miz is just sitting there quietly. What? Don't you want to like speak up and you know, like at least you know, it, if that's true, aren't you even at least going to try to like spin it somehow? He's not even addressing it.
no justification it's for so that. Slimy, and this dude. Trying to justify it. It makes them look really, really, really bad. They I don't know what the fact that there's so little focus from Ms. Kiff on the actual conversation itself, in my opinion, makes Ms. Kiff and Maya look really bad. Because like if somebody told me, for instance, that like, oh, Molina went and talked to this person, she was gaslighting the entire time, do you think that's okay? I wouldn't justify sending Molina over. I'd say, I don't think Molina would ever do that. We need to talk about that. What the fuck? Because if Molina did that, yeah, I'm gonna throw her under the bus. That's uh, that's unacceptable. I'm not gonna <laughs> accept there's no world where that would be an acceptable outcome. Um like that's like a not a not a good not a good thing to just kinda like skirt past, I think. Well, actually, now that I remember it, the one time he did address um Maya is by saying that he has no involvement with what she says. So she got accused of gaslighting Adriana, and then Ms. Kiff's response was, well, I mean, I didn't say that. So he's yeah, basically what? he's basically admit he basically admitted that it happened, but he's innocent of it because he wasn't there. Yeah, but we basically have testimony from Mitch in a stream where he's yeah. like, yeah, like, Miss Kiff basically was oh, no. like, yeah, it happened. Maya, you're fucking, you're Maya, you f can fucking manipulate this shit, let's fucking go, fucking ma make this all better with your womanly ways towards <laughs> Adriana. That's basically what he said. Right. There and Mitch to try to mend the situation because all I knew from Barry is that Slick's done. We had no context. Slick was sitting there depressed as shit, barely talking. Who just, cares about Slick being depressed as shit? Barely, listen, listen, there's a difference. I mean, <laughs> what, what, you can't be friends with him after he raped somebody. I didn't what? tell you you could be friends with him. I told you, I told you, I told you it's your prerogative. If you are as best friends as you say you are to be there for him, if you want to look past that, do you understand? But to sit there and feel bad and make excuses to why you sent Maya there because you felt bad for him are two different conversations. Do you understand? It's like saying you feel bad for Slick or scamming everybody. It is. He made his decision. He needs to face repercussions. Right, Slick and I was totally down for Slick. I was in under the impression He's that saying, Maya I was, was ready go to there, lose him that night again with Mitch, because that's why they went there. Because no one was talking to find us. Find out what I happens. wanted answers. <laughs> I wanted answers. Dude, Slick, we knew nothing besides what Novaru told us, and Barry can confirm that we knew nothing. I had no wait, idea. Wait, 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 Barry, is that true? But Novaru, I don't know what Novaru told him. No, the, the 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 clip from the day before when he didn't Nova went live and said Slick did something. That was where this all started. So yeah, I remember. I was I was there. I I, I watched it. I, I reacted to it and everything. Right, so yeah. like, so that's what, what I'm saying. What I'm trying to get an understanding of is like, how much did you guys even know going into it? Nothing, dude. And that's why I wanted Maya to go. I wanted her, I wanted Maya to go. Because I wanted Maya and Mitch to so find it's, out what the it's fuck's not, going it's on. It's not like you knew that he did something that you, you you didn't know directly that he did something that was bad. You just kind of assumed that it didn't happen. No, as when I assumed it did happen. I, I was assuming that Maya would Slick and Mitch were going to go there, find out what happened, well, and that Slick it was kept, going to be Slick over. Slick kept denying that anything like wrong happened. Slick was not him. talking to us, dude. He what? was. If so, something that. Oh fuck! I should have thought about this beforehand. <laughs> so obviously, I'm in contact with a lot of the people. So bad we uh, out here. We have literally female gamers suppressing other female gamers. Yeah, yeah. Chat's asking how much we're gonna listen to the call. The call gets about repetitive after 35, so we're probably gonna skip ahead to when they get to the alinity portion. But I do want to listen to some more of this part specifically because, as I remember, because I've seen the whole call already, this was kind of where it gets fucking uh, juicy. That are peripheral to this. If somebody wants to come in and clarify something that isn't on this call, should I give them the opportunity to now? Okay, so this right part we can fucking skip. This is just Destiny arguing whether or not he should add fucking Adriana or Maya to the call. Uh, eventually, I think Maya said she couldn't call in because she was too nervous or whatever, which I would criticize her for that, but given Mitch's performance last night, I guess fair enough. The only thing we need is somebody coming on stream being like, I have something important to say. Then they come on stream. They're like, uh, it's just so sad, man. Like, okay, I don't dude. think it's smart for my for Maya self interest. I don't think it's smart for her to say anything beyond what she said in her initial stream. Well, she looks just so bad. If There's it's, nothing she can it, say. If what Barry's saying is true, then correct. Yeah, she shouldn't say anything. Yeah, at all. yeah, yeah. Which I do one hundred. I one hundred percent believe Barry. Yeah. I, I guess I'm biased in that way. I should. But look the idea at it like, is, is that if Maya's innocent, she should absolutely get into the call and fucking correct it. Because if they're saying wild shit about her, she should be there and be like, "Yo, that, I, that is not what happened at all." This is what I told her, blah, blah, blah. Maybe show some DMs or whatever. But it seems to be that the truth doesn't really line up well with Maya's self-interest. So that's probably why she didn't call in last night. Because uh, it was true. 
But I don't know. I guess we'll have to yeah, wait. And so many people were watching this last night. Do you know the VOD has 2 million views? Yeah, there was like 60K last night, like 2 in the morning. Yeah, and everyone was tweeting about it. Like, even like big creators and shit. So it's like, yeah, I don't think anyone wanted to call into that. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> would have been screwing as to hell. And, um, I probably would. Destiny, but Maya has no people in this call. All right. It's still him just arguing. And, and it, Which and it was nothing all, happened. Yes, and that and that that's what we were going off of because all we had was that and whatever Noboru said on stream. And then Adriana wasn't talking to to us, and but she was talking to Barry through Kyle, and that that's what happened, right, Barry? Ice Poseidon just gave me a shout out. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All I know is you guys called me and asked. The Ice person. Poseidon is our guy here at RFC. All right. Yo, he's, you know who the last person Ice he's our, gave a shout out and blew up his career happened to? Dude, Miskiff. <laughs> wow. Dude, you're the listen, next Miskiff. Listen, I'm you're open his about next Miskiff. I'm open about my slur usage, all right? So it's different, okay? Yeah, Ice Poseidon, he's our strongest soldier. He's our guy. CX in the chat, yeah. RFC in the chat. He's, he's my best friend. Exactly. We're gonna be launching a new coin. We're gonna be wa- launching Augie coin. All right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be juicy. Augie coin, better invest. I could get you there, and I said yeah. And then I right. Yeah. So, so train. So for you to say that I did it, I I you orchestrated it. Yes. I sent Maya and Mitch to go there and see what happened, and I went there and I. So let me get this straight. I'm gonna ask the question. Okay. So the same way Asimov was asking the question, but give me the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna ask you the other. Okay. I'm, I hate that I'm doing this, but. I'm going to play like a little bit of JCS here <laughs> um, in a disgusting way. Um, when Miskiff keeps repeating that same line that like all I did was this, all I did was this, all I did was this, and he's not <laughs> willing to like venture much outside of like those like one or two lines, it makes his statement look a little bit more sus. Also, the fact that he's unwilling to Dude. engage with the fact that Mai is being accused of being sent over to gaslight somebody. He seems to not be interested to do that at all. Yeah, that's like, true. pretty weird. But... On the flip end of that, it could also just be that he's really nervous and he's really worried that he's going to fuck up if he says something stupid and something he's just going to let something slip that doesn't make sense and then it's going to like paint the rest of everything in a really bad light too. Um, could be a lot of things going on, but either way, either way okay. he's guilty. So let me straight. You wake up in the morning and Adriana is coming out or wants to come out about crazy slick. So your yep. instant reaction as innocent good guy Miskiff is, let me send Maya, a trusted and liked girl that can be trusted and related to, over to the house of Adriana. But wait, how do we get there? Mitch, can you find a way to get to Adriana's house? He goes, yeah, let me call Barry. So then they get connected. They go over there. And you want to claim to me the day that she wants to come out, you send two people to her house to quote unquote get more information. And then out of your hands, they acted on free will to go and threaten on your behalf Adriana to write a lesser version of the twit longer for no reason at all, all because <laughs> you believe Slick did do it, but he was your best friend. Holy and you shit. Wanted to play it <laughs> Train is just completely uh, kneeling train. on them. I, I'm asking shit. you. This. Yes, I was ready to lose yes? that day, and yes, that He's is doing all the true. same way. Holy never shit. Had a Undermine what she did or said, but you don't think playing it right is just like you. You, it, you, you know, train. You are smart, dude. You know that I, if I had a, a girl do that and and, and undermine her sex, so like, so what I day, think that I would like, never do that. I want her to fully express what happened and exactly what happened. Then why? Then, then wait for the tweet if you want information. Why are you going? No. Why are you going before it, the tweet comes out? Because we didn't know anything. True. We we barely even knew that there was a. Tweet that's not your business to know. That was but the business to know. If she's coming out when with the info, when your best friend then... is getting canceled, man, I'm sorry you want to act. I'm sorry you. Just oh, but he was his act. best that friend. Act is inappropriate. Friend and I care. Act? The act is inappropriate. And what do you mean, best friend? You care, Ms. I do care. You were in a situation. You know how hard it is to be Ms. with your best friend. I don't getting trust Ms. Or get info from him. Want to try to make sure he's okay. Ms. I don't care about slick. I do. Ms. I don't trust words. Without action. Then if you can't no, no. trust words, listen, then listen. I don't have to let tell me finish. You, man. Let me finish. Tell me what let me finish. Oh if you can't God, trust man. words, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Miskiff you- is like so retar- He thinks he's manipulating everyone here, but he's really not. He's just so stupid. Yeah. Holy shit. No, this is just not going over well at all. And again, oh my God. according to XQC, all of the parties in this call were recording or whatever. And probably everybody knew- was. Oh, that's a- the Twitch community, dude. Everybody has. Dude, the problem with like our juicy calls. 
uh, is that all, none of us are willing to record it. For them, it's the opposite well, issue. Well, except for me. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. But, yeah. that I, Let's be honest. Turkey Tom's probably like recording. That, uh, <clears throat> like that fucking demon flamenco scream, dude. Jesus, I don't. No get- one had. No one. None of us were recording because you know. I mean, I don't really record calls. Oh my god! Anymore. Send people. My- yeah. I think I played. You just said it's like all that. true. I have you just some don't claim you did record for twenty nineteen. You claim that what? I- Which ones? Um, the Instagram wake up one and the call with Pokemon. Oh, okay, I don't think I was in. But they're Instagram. they're like they're like twenty nineteen calls. Like, who really cares? And it's just for like. Wait, so, it's you just actually for me have? Only. Is that a? You actually have one of the Instagram wake up calls recorded? <clears throat> yeah, bro. I said that back when it happened, but Tommy was like, "I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it." <laughs> Wait, why was like, Tommy okay. like that? Would it, wouldn't that have like fucking crushed you? No, the because time? it would have vindicated me. Oh, why don't you l- release it then? Whatever. We're we're ignoring. I mean, we're it was twenty nineteen. I wasn't really. We're boring with this ancient history. Then. We'll we'll address this yeah. call later. Yeah. Maya to try to tell Maya you have a retro this, episode. Go to that, Mitch, go to this, talk to this person. You're thinking I'm like micromanaging the situation. I went to that when that happened. It's like my best fucking. I think that you can. I think that you can assume. God. You you could. I, I I do think that it is not unreasonable to assume that Maya acted on her own considering her relationship with Slick. Maya now is it, Slick, is it is some, like, is it something that you can Maya's guarantee? Best friend and my best friend too, and I, 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 I can't I, mean, I, I can't want... say whether it happened for sure or not, but I can say that there is a chance that Maya did act on her own without any sort of direction from Miz. I, I like I mean, do do you agree with that train? I mean, I I, I, I don't because Miz was <laughs> yeah, let's Miz's go. idea. Miz no, how do you know that train? How do you Mitch, know that? Dude, train is a fucking okay, so... chat in this call, dude, yeah. and the other call that I listened to as well. Brought us uh, together, so sat us down, and had a plan. To, to oh. Right now. Okay, so this, I hate it when this happening. Asmongold needs to speak up. Okay, so Train just gave a huge claim that he heard from Mitch. That's a game ender claim. Um, now, yeah. Train just said that Mitch told him that Mizkiff sat them down with a fucking game plan. I don't know why Mizkiff is talking to Train. They both need to talk to Mitch and figure out what the fuck <laughs> oh god um, good luck with that mitch or barry trying to talk to mitch wait what wait was that mitch or barry speaking i thought that was mitch speaking or no i thought he said mitch train said mitch don't no barry's me. the one that's open to being honest i mean seemingly so i don't know in chat fuck you uh, they need to just ask mitch what happened and he needs to take a side mitch needs to stand tall he's to more something. honest than fucking mitch in the middle over here you know he needs to stand to, to one story I'm not, to, well, I don't want to well, cancel well, you. I told the XQC, I don't want to cancel let's, you. I don't give a fuck. Let's, let's, let's dial things back. Let's dial okay, things so back. Okay, so trade. Then if you're going off of Mitch's idea, Mitch is claiming that's not exactly what happened. Then, Mitch told me, what, and I asked him many right times. Now, this is just pure slander. It's just it's my pure slander. slander. It's my slander. How is it not slander? Okay. There's, you have no factual data to what you're talking about. Hold up, hold up. Let's, what do you mean? Oh, let's not, let's, let's try to, di- let's so dial Mitch things back So Mitch denied everything that he told me. That's what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling well, me? Let's, 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 let's dial things back. Bro, how bit. am I denying anything? No. Everything is Miz, Yeah, sure. Miz is telling me Great. you're denying everything. I will everything. tell you exactly what happened. My best friend was getting fucking canceled. Emotions were in it the air. It doesn't matter. He committed a crime. I don't care if your best friend's getting canceled. Yeah, Why do you okay, keep bringing that up when you feel pity? You, man. You, you have a best friend. You want to know what happened. You want to know the answers. There's what? Like there's anything Asmin, wrong with that. please remove your bias and tell me hearing this isn't crazy to you. <laughs> He's justifying by saying it's his best friend. What the fuck are you saying right now? Like the 12th time best, too, by excuses, the way. Your excuse it's your best friend. Yeah. That is what I'm saying is wrong about it. You should not be involved. It is, if it's your best friend, you remove yourself. You don't I think act. that, like, so... I don't know how, but... I really don't know how, but Train is one million percent right on every single thing he's saying. <laughs> um, um, and dude, Train or Redeem, dude. Worst they all underestimate him. It sounds like he's incriminating. Dude, don't yeah. fuck with gambling. Don't fuck with gambling. Not only will he is he uh, willing to, like, just completely tear down your entire fucking life to save his gambling or whatever but he'll do he'll he'll go the entire process again this call happened right after train's tweet so this is everyone's initial reaction and train's not gonna back down and we're gonna skip ahead a little bit here in a second and you're gonna hear him like fucking begging for mercy practically at fucking train's feet to take the fucking tweet down train never takes it down yes oh my god fucking chat dude it's Squad no w in the chat that- 
It's no coincidence that out of all these Twitch streamers, the only one that follows me on Twitter is Trainwreck. So there's no coincidence. Oh, dude. yeah? Dude. He's fucking... Yeah. Well, Ice Poseidon also follows me. All the good people follow me, dude. All the bad people don't. <laughs> yes. Literally, I Ice Poseidon. And the really bad people have me blocked, like Pokemon. Ice Poseidon <clears throat> is the best streamer. Most moral. Most good faith actor. Yes. Best financial. Well, okay. <laughs> he will. He will like be a piece of shit out in the open to like people who don't know how to spend their money properly. And it's really bad. Don't get me wrong. It's really bad. But it's out in the open, and it's like financial screw over. Like fun who cares? Man. They're all fucking. No. He scammed a bunch of like fucking twelve year olds, dude. They got owned. Who no. cares? Being financially screwed over is way less immoral than being like sexually screwed over. Cause like. That that shit can haunt you for the rest of your life. If you get like you can get money back. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's still I, bad, but <laughs> I think I think he's the greatest. I think he's the best guy. And I he's our guy now. All right. I Hell team Ice Poseidon. Yeah. acted improperly. It was my Hell best yeah. friend. Of course I was trying to Dude, Ice Poseidon's my best, my best friend. friend. This kid is giving like the worst so, possible oh, answers it's okay. to this that line of questioning that you can never possibly give. This is the last thing you want yeah, to Yeah, Ice is my best friend. Give this idea that you're being biased because it's your friend. So to me, like what I'm saying is that I, I, I do think that it was a mistake to try to house, like like it, it it's unfortunate because I think a lot of people would have done what Miz did. Maybe some people wouldn't have, that's but that's, I do think that problem. it was that's a problem. It's not a mistake, it's a crime. I, 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 it's I, I it's, I, it's a crime. What do you mean a lot of people would have done that, Asmund? It's a crime. Not a lot of people would have done that. A few people oh, would have done train, that. If your best friend's getting canceled, man, and you want to make sure that he's okay, I, I, sorry, I mean, dude. I'm not saying I'm not I, saying I, it's I care okay. About Slick, I, and I want to make sure he's okay. If you want to say that I don't think what Miz did was right, I I get it. Okay. If you want to say that what you think that we we did was wrong, I get it. I I, I get it. I, I I think I, that I really it was a mistake. I really care about Slick, and I really can't. Emotions were flying in the air that day. I was crying I, like crazy. I thought I was gonna lose my best friend. It sucked. It was a, it was one of the worst days I, of my I, life. I, I get that. Wait, he was crying because he like, thought he was gonna lose yes, his best sure. friend, not because I do think that it his was best a... friend ard or essayed someone. The fuck? Mistake to go over there and try to talk to her to talk her off the cliff. And especially like right now, because we don't really know. Okay. Fuck. My, so I'm probably I'll probably in like 30 minutes I'll take it on a break of one hour and I'll have like I think Maya wants to come in and talk a little bit because I feel no, bad I that wish that happened at all here I but wish that Asmund fucking just happened casually mentioned that you sent somebody over to talk them off the cliff yeah. and Miss Kip didn't even he didn't even deny that um, that characterization of what happened I'm gonna look for the other timestamp he just like let it go so it, that kind of makes it seem like that's what happened that's now Frank, maybe that's Frank, not the part of the argument that he's focused on maybe possibly not but I would scream pushing back against that. I didn't do that. That's not what happened. I didn't. If I didn't do that, but and it's Augie, hard to be certain. What's up? Whether... Do you think Surfshark VPN is about all this? Surfshark's <laughs> like Holy shit. really happy. This yeah, literally. Happened. The fucking sponsor has <laughs> on screen. The whole time Surfshark. Dude, he better the entire time. Holy shit. And Maya the developers of this like indie game or whatever, if it is an Factorio. Indie game, uh, Ad yeah. or and and I'm I'm assuming they did. Barry's not. A, I don't think. Maybe in the chat they're saying Factorio ad. Barry's lying, and Actually, I don't I know whether Maya is doing this. Yeah. I don't understand what any of this stuff he's doing on the screen does. It all looks like neither. insanity to me. For her own gain, for helping Slick, if she's doing it because she doesn't believe the story, it's if a she's 4. doing 6 it out as of a five? proxy to Mizkit. I really don't like, I really don't like that in this call, um, Maya is not present. That makes me really uncomfortable. Like, she's got connections to all of Yo, these people. Uh, why is she not there? Her testimony is arguably the most important here. I have no idea why she's not present in this call. That seems really fucking stupid. Um, she oh, might Adriana? be the most important figure in this call, and all we're getting is secondary testimony from fucking Barry and kind of Mitch and kind of sort of Ms. Kiff about it. Um, <laughs> that is she, dumb. She might be the, 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 who, the one whose reputation is most at stake here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, we already know she lied in her response, so she's not up to a great track record so far yeah. in this drama. So, I don't know. Okay, we'll carry on. We're at 25 and a half minutes right now. If, the, the, there are a number of things that I don't... There are no. There's no way... For me to obtain that information 
The and problem so with a lot of this is exactly what Asma just said. There's Wasn't Barry literally there with Maya? Yeah, he was. But is it fair? I don't know why I'm answering a question from chat. Is it fair that we only have Barry's take on what Maya said and not Maya's take on what Maya said? Has she responded on Twitter at all? I'm going to look up. Maya said? I don't know if that was stated publicly or not either. Um, I feel like Maya should have the ability to, even if you think she's going to lie. I mean, Barry could lie. Adriana could lie. Anybody could lie. I think you have a right to like at least represent your position or explain like what you know think happened. But um, I'm going to keep going. A lot no. of holes that we don't have definitive thing besides he said she said a year and a half. Uh oh wait, I did see this one thing though. This is her like last retweet or something uh, before all the drama began. Promoting a podcast with Seer. Edwin, get on the case. Mm. <laughs> also, did you hear in the Miskif call? I don't know if you did. You listen to the Miskif stream yet? No, not Miskif. Ah, uh, fuck. They all have M names. Fucking Minx. Just a Minx stream. I did listen to it. Yeah. Honest. Yeah, that I upload on my channel. So she's she insane says too. that Slick is good because they watch Tom and Jerry together in a bed with Seer. Uh, That's a real claim that was made. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Seer's cuddling up with a SA apologist and sa -er. <laughs> Wow. SA apologist. She put out some statement or whatever talking about how she has like some manic disorder or something. I don't know. Uh, we might go over that a little bit later and her reaction stream because I'm glad you brought that up. I did see that, dude. It was nuts. It was actually like it was unhinged. Like, I don't know. It was know, crazy. Man. My jaw, my jaw was dropping the entire time I was cutting it down. Dude, Is she going to be in video, critter class like, next year? I don't know about don't that. Know. Is she gonna fight uh, Adriana Lee? Well, she looks like a mess too. Like she's so scuffed on her fucking streams, and her entire room is like just like so messy and like just destroyed. Yeah. Or something. I'm just like, what am I? Yeah. I you, don't doubt what that is she happening. Has mental issues, but for what she said, like the mental issues aren't an excuse. Yeah. Sure. It's Look, also like I don't know what, what the what the yeah. intentions are. So you're willing? I, I think so, some things don't need context to, for them to be wrong. I think. Yeah. I think some of the moves right. initially are just always wrong, regardless. I think us saying that it's a mistake or it's because it's a friend or getting excuses or cop outs is the fucking problem. I think that that's the the main, if not the only problem. But it's a big sure. problem. So we we can go with we can. I, I am totally glad just to, or down to say that me I I I will tell you why I did it. I I'll tell you why we wanted answers. We were freaking out. We were scared. We wanted to know what was happening with my best friend. My my me and Maya Mitch were and I I I, 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 don't, I will. Can I can I please interject here? Yeah. Using that line of argumentation is very bad. <laughs> my ninja asthma gold is he about to say exactly what i've been saying that he mizkiff needs to stop saying i'm worried about my friend when the question matters if your friend fucking assaulted somebody like it's just such basic shit dude yeah it's it, it, you you have I, to, if you use i feel like asthma golden trainer people are, like are easily adults. going to say it's that you are you're dude. you're helping some person and it's like effectively a uh Cover up. I wasn't, you know, I'll, I'll, like be, I'll be very blunt. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. With you, I wasn't there to help him. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't there to. You were there to remove. Let me ask. As I was there to. As let me ask this. As I'm gonna happened. ask you this. As what's up? What's up? Do you agree that inquiring about something is different than sending someone over and manipulating? Um, I, and, and so that's what I was saying. I sent someone over. No, 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 no. Where can I? Can I? Can I please? Can I please? Can I please? So. That's where, that's what I was saying, Train, with like the forks, the forks in the road. Like, I don't know where those forks are going because like, I don't know where Miz's intent ends and Maya's agency begins. True. You see kind of where I'm saying? Yep. And so like, if Miz did, if Maya said something without Miz telling her to say that, is that by an extension Miz's fault? I don't really think so. I do Thank think you. that. I, like and I, I I I don't think so. I don't know either because like I don't know what what she was doing. I don't know what the private conversation that Ms had with her was. So it's impossible for me to have any sort of like real grasp on this. Listen, you, you see kind of what I'm saying, Trey? Let me ask Mitch a direct like, question. I, I don't know where let the, me ask I don't know Mitch, where the intent is. I'm going to ask Mitch a direct question that oh, should no. give you that answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mitch. You when know, I asked you this 16 different times, okay, <laughs> and I have the texts that I asked you yeah, there too. Yeah, ask okay? me what. I'll tell you right now, okay? I have the texts. I texted you this, and I talked to you in call, okay? I know it's going to be tough because you're there with him now. 
But when I, I got, asked you, I'm in my room, and it's not tough. I'm literally just saying the truth of the whole situation. Yes. I've so, never like, so, oh yeah. my god, dude. So let me ask you this: everything you told me was the truth, correct? The six times I asked to uh, tell me correctly because it's important; those are the truth, correct? What What is the truth? Just say it. I'm asking you: the times you told me were those the truth, and I'll get on to the question. Wait, the times what, what, I told he's, he's saying words. Did you? Dude, Mitch is so useless. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my oh god, my god, dude. That's what I said. As soon as they're like, oh, you need to ask Mitch a question. It's like, oh, no. It's just not going to even... Nothing's going to happen. For the longest time, I always wondered why everyone thought XQC was smart because he seemed like the dumbest person on Twitch. But maybe he isn't the dumbest person on Twitch. Yeah. Maybe he is like kind of badass in comparison to all these other guys. Oh, man. We got Turtle here. Long time donator of RFC. Surviving the storm with some RFC best. Thank you, Turtle. Big shout out. Good to see you're still around. Agmar with the five. Mitch the snitch, lols. He needs to snitch. Oh, God, There's so much. He, I feel like he has more interesting stuff to say than Barry because he's actually willing to speak. It's just he's not saying anything of substance. So it's just like, fuck. Oh, non-committal he somebody needs to like he needs to be cross-examined somebody needs to just drill down hardcore on mitch and figure out what's going on um he just he said he always when i listen to him speak this might be biased that i have personally whatever but mitch always sounds like the kind of guy who's just trying to say the thing to stay out of trouble with the most amount of people like <clears throat> yep <laughs> that's it 100 percent. literally he, just, he, he feels like he'll always pick the answer that pisses the least amount of people off and then kind of like try to glide through the conversation that way somebody needs to like actually like hey answer this fucking question like Ugh. what the fuck happened to figure this out like that's what oh uh, like but nobody's so actually, sad like, man super like really super sad i just want like, everyone to be friends yeah yeah that's what we all want right? sometimes you can't have that shit man <laughs> did you lie no okay so, no so let me ask you this when you told me when they found out, when Miz found out that Slick's getting canceled or going to get canceled. Wait, right. hold on. I will pause and I'll stay on the other side because I am being a little biased against Mitch there. It could also be too that Mitch is just really fucking nervous because he knows that like he maybe he said one time wrong or maybe he gave a bad characterization um, and he doesn't right, want well, somebody to lean. We, we understand. I, I know Mitch, Mitch might be a good guy. He sat you and Maya down. Yeah, I don't think Mitch is like an evil or malicious guy. No. I just think that He's just he's retarded. He can't talk. He can't fucking speak. He's like, he wants his cake and eat it too. He's he doesn't want to like throw anyone under the bus no matter what. Which is yeah. just like, bruh. And which Splatfest teammate are joining? Probably fun. I don't know. But to do all, all the options are gay though, in my opinion. This that is important. to me. What option is would you fucking pick for that question? Do you understand? Dude? To sit someone down in the height Weed? of those emotions and create a plan Weed. and execute, that is not yeah, somebody Yeah, what you do on is... a camping trip or prioritize on an island. It's like grub, gear, What do I prioritize on an island? I don't know. Fun. Shelter? I don't know. <laughs> and you pick that Innocent team. Innocent intention. That is not somebody right. that is broken by emotions. Nah, you're, you're, you're making it sound so much we, worse we, than we it is. We were all... You're we making were it all... sound so much worse than it is, man. You, you sat two, two people that. down and gave no, them a I plan to no, go I there. Didn't. No, <laughs> I didn't. They should do Splatfest on like the decisions Miskiff would make. Like, yeah, team Gaslight, team fucking side with victim or team like best friend. Team victim. <laughs> <laughs> team, team gaslight team, team victim friend, team gas team gaslight team sexual team assault victim <laughs> or team best friend sa jesus christ i didn't dude, i just didn't do that team gambling yeah so are you calling him a liar then yeah, i'm gonna say that that's i'm on team kys so ridiculous basically me my and slick were in a room at mitch and we were, we were trying uh, all right, this to is important listen to this figure out what to do and how to make sure that we can like like talk to Adriana Lee and figure out what the fuck is going on? Because all we knew is you that you keep saying no figure out what's going on. Cancel Slick, and yeah. no one knew anything. Barry called us, and all Barry said is Slick is done. We didn't even know anything that was happening. <laughs> okay. So, so what you guys, calls him up? Yeah, ring, ring, ring. Hello. I, I Slick am... is done. Hangs up. Okay. And that's all they need to know because they all knew that he was kind of creepy, kind of weird. It's like, yeah, hey, Slick it's actually did he something is. now. Yeah, no, yeah, he actually did yeah. something now. So triggered right it's now. not like it's, it's out of the realm of possibility. Can... Like, if I heard, like, something like this came out of, like, I don't know, you were, like, fucking Whoa. tipster, fucking Edwin, or, like, so, like we'd, it'd, like, be like, what the fuck? 
Like, Whoa. I don't believe that. I have to look into it. But fucking Slick, oh, okay. dude, he's been weird around people. You know, it's like. Yeah. But if I got a call that was like, oh, Smaggle's done, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah, like, obviously. Like. But we'll still cover it up, you know? Never do these well, calls. Well, Black saved it. I they was just need to, everybody needs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Shredder. So, too, says, justice for no one. Stefan with the 10 says, man, can't wait for the next Splatfest. Which teams are you going for? Team Gaslight, Team Victim, or Team SA? Honestly, Team SA. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about no one to shut the fuck up and they just need to ask mitch what the fuck happened and tell Nintendo us what the conversation collab with otv for now <laughs> that's that's the only thing that needs to be talked about right now i don't know why xqc is about to talk i don't know what trainer miss like they just say mitch tell what the conversation was oh but like, that's the only part of this conversation that matters right mitch? Now. i don't know why anybody else is talking we'll see if we hopefully somebody centers back here and asks that question again because it's like the most important part of the conversation smaggle right now. sexually assaults me and glaze s&p who fucking cares yeah, he's just weird. Oh, he's my best friend. What do you want me to do? He's just kind of like weird, you know? Just get used Smaggle to it. Smaggle is Smaggle. Smaggle is Smaggle. He's, Smaggle's good. Yeah. Smaggle is good. Story, like, the thing that matters the most, I think right, inquiring exactly. about it is uh, is good. I agree. You can a inquire. But if you're going to the point where you you would try to attempt to... Uh, and that's what, story, I, that's what I'm saying, problem. dude. That's, like, no, and, like, and, and, that's and, what and, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. No, we would not do that, and I would not do that. I don't want to manipulate. If you would send someone anything. to the house, why would you like? Man. Because we wanted to. We wanted to know the story, Train. You it's could just DM her. You could have Maya no, DM her. No, we did, Train. We she, called she, her twelve she times. She didn't respond. That's what she, she said. Then you leave her alone. Oh she wants my her God. space. You don't no, send someone answering, over. She was answering Barry. We broke. Oh, yeah, that makes it that worse. Sounds even worse. Fuck. <laughs> yes, that makes it so much worse. Oh my god. You're like god. In in invading her private, like at least online she has the choice to like not respond, but like- So they show up to a house her door. without consent, you know, what, what, what more do they have to do here? It's over. Called her 12 times also, that's insane. That's oh. actually like insane. No, I'm- <laughs> Which means they were like desperate to get a hold of her, they're like, fuck, fuck, come on, pick up, fuck! Please pick up, please! Yeah. Oh man. He's my best friend. Uh, we gotta spin this as fast as possible. She's not picking up, she's gonna write the document. Fuck! Mink yeah, yeah that's it, it literally seemed like a latch dis ever yeah, literally. to get like in contact with her before she posts the twit longer, not just to get information. Like it seemed like they had to do it as quick as possible because they knew she was writing a twit longer. Yeah. Uh, Meowser, team put them in the electric chair. Higmig, make sure not be seen by society. She should be fine every time she broadcasts her mug. Oh, Tip had a lie. He should have just said we couldn't get a hold of her. But to say that, like, she wasn't answering her phone and they were calling over and over again <laughs> made it sound 20 times worse <laughs> on their end. That, that and then showed up to her house without her permission? But we were freaking out, man. He's answering we were, Barry. We were freaking out. Oh. He's friends with Barry. And Maya she is involved with Slick Mitch. and you. What? And she answered Mitch and she said that Mitch can come over with Maya. Oh yeah, I was like, God. I was like, it, it, this, I, I'm friends this with her. Seems so. weird. This seems it's, it very seems weird. very weird. It feels like I'm uh, like getting portrayed as this cadet that was in the Slick's room. Like, let's, let's figure this out. It's not what happened, man. Well, the thing I, is, I mean, did I did I sit there with Mitch and in, in my? Well, here's a very here's a very yes, easy question for us to understand. Um, so like Mitch, like based off of like what you remember. What was that conversation? Thank you, Asmund Gold is the fucking. He's the. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being in this fucking call. I was going to lose my mind. Okay, so we're refocused now on what the fuck was the conversation? Well, the, the one where the we one were all talking between, about like, what to you, do? Yeah, what to do before you guys went over. And be like, honest, Mitch, any... regardless of repercussion. I'm be Dude, I have no reason to lie about any what, of this just, shit. I, what, I, like, I just, what I don't like is how I'm just like in the middle and being scared. I don't, well, don't want to then... put you in. It's like, it's just that you were there, right? I mean, like, I don't know Same who else Maya, I can... man. Like, like it, 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 this is... Why would you not... <laughs> you literally have the most important... You're like the linchpin. You're like the most important... Or like the second to most important factor here. It's weird. No, like, it's just like there's I, a lot of things that, that, that are just it's like... Between it's between me and Rain. It, it, it's all it is. I yeah, but I, but, but I understand... When Mizkif says that, that also sounds bad. It's between me and Train. It sounds like he doesn't trust Mitch to talk. <laughs> but the thing is, look, okay, what happened that no, I told you, I told you exactly what happened that day. We all yes. were fucking brainstorming on what the fuck, like, you know, what, like, to do. And yes, Miz definitely had, I mean, Miz, you have the authority figure in all of those house rooms. You know that. Like, it's like, that's just your role in that house. You're the fucking sure. boss, right? Sure. So it's like, 
Yeah, exactly, right? Course, so it's like, it, it, so, it, yeah, so it's, me you let him finish, let him finish. Bigger. Dude, I feel like Miz is what people thought Sky Williams was. You know what I mean? Like, I guess, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, he uh, actually, like, d- did participate in, like, a fucking cover-up and shit like that. It happened, like, it, with all these, like, houses and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Because that's why people got mad at Sky. People got people got mad at Sky because they thought he didn't do anything. Or they thought that he was, like, against the victim. But he wasn't. The victim lied, right? That was the whole story. But Miz actually yep. did do shit. Like, that's, uh, that's what it feels like. Let him yeah, finish. Sure. Stop putting words in there. Let him finish. Go ahead, Mitch. Okay. Didn't Miz give Slam Sky? I have no idea, but that would be really interesting if that happened. Uh, I'll take a he look. Might have. We, we can look back, I yeah. guess, later. Okay. So yeah, and it was like we were all speaking, and then Matt was just like thinking of like what to do, and and obviously the way that Matt thinks is like you know ha- like with I mean, Maya is a better person to send than Mitch because Mitch is a fucking idiot, Here's right? So it's like yeah. Let him finish. I'm, I'm really wondering. I just I just want to direct. You guys won't let him finish the punch. Mitch, Mitch, is that all you were gonna say? (laughs) Oh yeah, no, I'll Mitch, I'll I'll let you finish. I'm not trying to interrupt you. I feel like I'm literally like. I'm so sorry. (laughs) No, because all all he has to do, all he has to do is tell the truth. That's it. Get things out of. I've told the truth the whole fucking time, and I know, I know, and they keep. And then you fucking dude, and train you fucking sitting there calling me a spineless pussy. You won't even answer my phone calls. Like what the fuck is that? That's irrelevant. Why are you taking personal? Complete contrast. You know, you know, I have your back, and you're gonna like call me a fucking spineless pussy. Yeah, because. Because what, Miss what Gift is know, telling yeah, me yeah, that you're know. denying everything you told me. That's why. We all, we all know. Like, all right, just uh, real quick. What I'm saying is, like, it, it's like the difference between, like, having a conversation on, like, how to address it versus yeah. having... So Train's a- lost his patience with uh, with Mitch. At this point, he's like, you're a fucking loser. A Stand up. on how to divert it. You, you right. know what I mean? Like, so, like, was there any Okay, so what that do were... I need to, what do I need to say? I've said the truth a thousand times. Like, no, I've said no, exactly no. what happened. Yeah, you no. just need to finish the Am sentence I, uh, before Asmongold and Miss yeah, he say, went there oh, and played okay. with okay. the dogs. Told, let Dirt, him finish. Finish the sentence. Miss Gift's plant. Like, he was, he, he was. Miss Gift trained. See, this is the problem. He just put on me. Asmund stopped him. Say Asmund, not me. Dude, I didn't, I'm not Miss trying. I didn't do shit. Mitch, go ahead and say the whole story for the 12th time. So, where you were, Mitch, you were saying he has the authority, and then you were about to say, Matt, you know, and then no, as I'm putting go- words in his mouth, how can you say I'm putting words in his mouth when you were literally saying he's about to say? I was bro. just trying to, I was yeah, just please. trying to clarify one. He thing. was just like, saying that. That's what? all. I'm not putting Trading, words in his mouth. Why are you sentence. so scared? Of- put words in his mouth. I don't need to put words <laughs> in. I don't give anything, a fuck. Man. Just I know what he out. told me Let in Mitch, private okay. six times. Train, I know train, what Barry train. told me. What Barry told me, what Mitch told me, aligned perfectly until we got into this fucking call. Uh-oh. And they still did until Mitch talks, and then you cut him off with, see, I told no, you, before he finishes. Uh, right now, okay. I'm, I'm waiting oh, for you to stop. Oh, so no. Shit. Go okay. Mitch, go ahead. Okay, yes. And then we were all trying to think of what to do, whatever. And then, you know, Matt is obviously like, you know, you're smart. You know you're smart, right? So he's like, yeah, like, Maya is definitely someone that's better to speak to her than fucking I would be, right? And it was like, well, yeah. Right. That might be true, actually. I don't know. Like, that was it. And you were, like, saying, I mean, yeah, you did say the things about, like, how Maya's reputation is good, and, like, she's, it's a woman-to-woman thing, so it'll be easier. Like, shit like that. Like, right. yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. I can't, I don't think, is, is, fuck, I sound so biased right now. <laughs> I, like, there's a side that I favor right now, hardcore. Yeah. Um, Maya's testimony could change that, but like, True, Mitch, actually. Mitch is just answering the, the questions that don't matter. Well, um, Ms. That's really honestly, like, if Maya came out and was like, no, that's actually not what happened at all, then this drama would be in a very different state right now. Then it'd be like, okay, well, what's going on here? But right now, because Maya's completely silent, it's basically, like, fucking over for them. And even if she were to say something now, it's been a day since the call leaked, so just the time that it, it took for her to, you know, nut up and actually talk about it, I mean, that's just going exp- to, everyone's just going to be doubtful of the legitimacy of it because they're going to be like, okay, well, you took like a fucking day to write this. So it's probably super controlled and like calculated. Whereas if she were to come out instantly and give a more raw response that, you know, uh, deflects yeah. what uh, what uh, Mitch and Barry are saying, well, then that'd be a little bit different. But it sounded like she was almost going to do that by calling it a Destiny stream, but then she got cold feet or whatever and decided not to, which is, I don't know. To me, that's pretty much the nail in the coffin. Although I don't want to operate under the logic of like, you know, innocent people uh, don't stay quiet for this long or whatever, because that's bullshit thinking. Maybe she needs time to fucking gather receipts or some shit. Who knows? But right now, yeah, I'm pretty much like, 
85 to 90 percent on uh train and um and xqc side at this point i don't know they're making the most sense to me i guess it's not just their side though i feel like it's um what Barry is saying and what yeah. Adriana is saying and, and stuff like I that. I mean, ultimately what Barry and what Mitch uh, said at the start, at least, right? Yes, that has yet to be proven or even challenged by Maya. But at the same time, you know, the facts of the case that are surrounding it indicate that what they're saying is probably true. Yeah, and it seems like they're saying, like, the same story independently without, like, to train, like, without corroborating with each other. Um, cause Barry is Adriana's friend, right? Right. So, and yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see why Barry would be lying. He has no incentive to lie. He's not a content creator either. So like, mm-hmm. I think that adds a lot. Like, I believe Barry so much because he's not a content creator. Like, I feel like, and he just has the best interest of the victim, his friend Adriana in mind. So like, I think that adds a lot. Uh, to you know his validity yeah compared to other people who actually have like ulterior motives whether they're you know acting upon them or not and he said that my eyes give everything that's that's not what's being asked right now i don't know if asmongold will, will hone on to this but what we're asking is is like was there a plot to save slick potentially at the expense of adriana that's the question not like does maya have a good reputation and a nice voice. That's that's not what the fuck is being asked right now. Yep, it would be easier for her to talk about what exactly happened because Maya is is a woman Why are you in clarifying? Okay, did he ask? Did he ask? To... Guys, okay, can I be the voice of reason? I, I can't. Be the, I'm trying to be the voice of reason. Can okay. I be honest in saying that if uh, Maya being a, 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 a I think a, a victim of this in the past or whatever the fuck, right? That you uh, her being on on your side and you sending her is a incredibly big. Uh, conflict of interest. And if you care about, let, let's say, victim stores or whatever, the fact that it could possibly alter it in your way is like a, a bad thing. Like, I don't know, like, if, if you actually if true, you care really about this shit, right? Sort of the extent that Holy you shit. Stay, X, this you is care, the first time I've ever heard XCC be smart. That yeah. Matters, it's kind of thrown me if off. You had a possible impact on a story that ended up being altered. Right, because it proves that Ms. Kiff's intentions were, oh, this would be the best case scenario. It's like, why are you thinking it? Why are you thinking about it like that, right? That's a that's a bad thing. Like I, I, don't, I, I would don't, never want that to happen. And that's but what you I was asking about. I would never want well, that. That's, I, I just I want to make it sure. That, like, we can, can, can we just real quick? Like I, the reason why I asked the question was if Miz was trying to direct Maya to uh, convince Adriana to alter the story. That, that's, that was my question. Well. Why are you playing lawyer? The intent of getting them together and sending them over because she's a trusted figure that can be related is the intent to change the story. You don't inquire no, about something. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Then why not just send it's Mitch not. and Barry? Send Mitch and Barry to relay it to you. I, I'm confused. Why send, Why do you need someone that's trusted and can relate to her story as a because, victim herself? Because we wanted to hear the story. That's just it. We wanted to hear the full on What? Story that makes no so sense. You don't think that's a conflict of interest the day she wanted to post it, you sent it there, and then they posted a revised version? I, train, I did not know oh, there was a man. revised Yikes. version or any of that okay. shit. I sent Maya and Mitch over, and that's all There's we no know. Way. And that's, now we're just doing he said, she said. We're, 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 we're not, you have no we're There's no that. way he didn't know he survived. What, 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 Mitch, and, and, what Mitch and Barry just said is factual data. The problem is you and Asmongold are arguing semantics. Especially when he cares so much since he's his best friend. Semantics. He's no, willing no, to get no, disinvolved, no, but he doesn't know it was altered. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really invested in this. He's my best friend. I want to make sure I have all the info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, uh, you know, I don't know about, like, you know, the Twilonger being altered or anything like that. I haven't heard anything about that. I barely even know Adriana. Like, what? Shut the fuck up. Don't ask. At all. Because I do. We're going to play like maybe like a few more minutes. And then we're going to get to the Alenity portion, which I think is really good. And then we're going to play some of call number or like part two, which to be honest, part two had some interesting quotes that I have uh, written down that I wanted to get into. Nice. Lots of begging. 
think that there's it's very easy that you could have assumed that Maya would have acted on her own because she had a vested interest. I think in what Slick Miz well. was doing was just like holding the hand of the situation and like trying to guide it in a, in a in a way that like you know obviously Slick doesn't get fucked, which we were yes. all trying to do. But Miz was like you know like Miz was like Maya, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you know how you are, you know how. I, every time Mitch, fuck, I'm so biased. I'm sorry. <laughs> every time Mitch talks, it's just say nothing. <laughs> That's not the question. Well, he's I mean, also said that same blah, thing blah, blah. over like, and over. Like, yeah. That's just common knowledge. Gotta... Like Maya knew that herself, but Miz was just like trying to like you know make her have the confidence to be like I you know whatever the fuck like you know what I mean. And that's just how the situation went. And it like I don't know. And like the fact that like he's glossing over I'm, like the most important uh, I don't know. I like just, intentional like, parts. Fucking fucked. Well, at least you apologized to her and cleared it up with her, which I'm sure you're happy now because <laughs> everything that you. I mean, I'm, I told you I'm cool with Adriana. Yeah, like, I go back. Replay the last 30 seconds. Well, he's saying, I know he's saying to like make sure that like Slick doesn't get fucked. <laughs> you but are like Maya he's saying Higa. it in such a non committal way. Because like again, it's not necessarily bad to go over there to figure out what the story is. The question is whether or not people are going over there to like to steamroll, uh, to steamroll or like railroad or change Adriana's story. Like that's the, that's like the real thing that needs to be dug into. Not like kind of talking about like, well, we just wanted to make sure that everybody was playing to their strengths and keeping <laughs> slick and safe. It's like an like, RPG, dude. Like they need to like, but I don't know if we're ever going to get there. It feels like nobody wants to dig into that a lot over what like the actual motivations, the intentions were to send people there. You know, We're fine. And we talked about yeah. that. You went and cleared that up, and I'm happy you did. But it's like this stuff, what you just said. I, oh, I what mean, I don't know is here's the thing I don't yeah. actually trust Adriana in a way where she wouldn't just choose clout. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand? Yeah, like, it's like, like she, she, she like, like, three, three, three other. Is... I don't know Wait, why. He's calling her a clout said, chaser? But okay. Jeez. No, like what? Three other. Yeah, her people. choosing clout is literally doing what she did, not saying okay. a fucking word out of fear. It's also like it's it's three other people. Right, like, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know Jones. what I wasn't there that night. Slick denies it, and like she, like I don't know what the fuck happened that night. That's the problem. You know what I mean? If I did, then I would obviously, bro. If if she came to me and was like, he actually like, you know, like really fucking yeah. like did something nasty, then I'm not going to defend him. You yeah, know what I mean? Know. Like, and I wouldn't either. If if she yeah. told. If she told but the problem that, is she tiptoes around everything that we do because she wants to be cool with the big streamers. That's just the Whoa. facts, right? Like, like, that's, that's the problem, and you as the person in authority, you should know that the only thing that matters is getting the story out in the way that's <laughs> possible. I literally Whoa, so Mitch finally says something interesting, and it's like nuclear. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. The way that like, so that's why she didn't say it was that big of a deal. because she wanted clout. <laughs> it's like... What? Thomas, when she's not even saying the truthful story, like she tiptoed around everything. I feel like if Maya played the vi woman slash victim power dynamic card and says Miz made her do it, then she could come out of this better than the rest of them. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is yeah, just throw it on them. I don't know. Hey, Aug, he got I got a job uh, last week and got my first paycheck today. Since you're my favorite content creator, here's some of that paycheck. Many thanks, G. Yo, thank you, man. Oh yeah. That's what, that's what Mitch is saying. It's true. She did. If she came and said, <laughs> Slick did do this, it's over. It's GG. I, I, I would never, in a million years, be like, are you sure? Can you? Once again, it's very annoying that, like, now there's two people who would be very important to examine. Yeah. Maya and Adriana, and neither of them are present. And it's starting Both to sound them. like a lot of this call, a lot of the responsibility for what's happening is being shifted onto two people that aren't here to represent their stories. Um... Maya for being the one that was actually conniving, and Adriana for potentially just being a clout chaser, and Whoa. neither of them are here to represent that. It's pretty annoying that well, hopefully that doesn't become a big part of the rest of this conversation. Okay, so that's kind of, and you can kind of see where this conflict comes into. So that's kind of what they argue for a lot of the rest of the call, and unfortunately a lot of it gets repetitive. Again, if someone has listened to the whole call or whatever. However, there's this brief part about like an hour and 30 in where they start talking about how Ms. Kiff actually threatened train directly with blackmail, um, bringing up Alinity into the situation. If you guys don't know, around four years ago, Alinity had accused train of saying he wanted to rape her at TwitchCon, right? Um, all of the logs were public, by the way, and train ended up, uh, or actually it was another streamer on LSF ended up exposing them. And although he was fucking thirsting, he looked, he, it, it was a really bad look. There was nothing in there about rape, right? So, um, 
Miskiff, because he's fucking retarded, was looking for any dirt he could throw back at Train to try and calm him down before he realized that the dirt that he did have was fucking pointless. But this also relates to something that they talked about in private already. So you're going to see like Miskiff just look actually like fucking insufferable here. And this is really where it comes up because prior up to this call, like, yeah, he sounds fucking awful. But in my opinion, it goes to a whole different level when we get to the alinity section. So listen to this. Please sit here and listen to this, okay? I'll catch you up real quick. What I was saying was four or five years ago, however long ago it was, what I went through with the alinity I was there. allegation. Yeah. I was the, with you in real life. The I know. depths of hell I was in, what I was contemplating, mm -hmm. the darkness, the constant fucking psychosis of a reality that I was living in for months. You don't, you cannot fathom it. Do you understand me? It gives me goosebumps thinking about it now. Chills. So when I tell you what Mitch relayed to me about Alinity reaching out to him and letting you know that she had a plan, do you understand? And then mm -hmm. you s sit there and platform her. This actually gets really bad. Keep knowing listening. her plan without solving or fixing anything, right? And I mean, it's just not true, though. I has she. It's been two years. She's been here. She's so been so. Um, I, so I I just, I but I wait, 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 wait. Asmund Gold, wait. Asmund and Miz. But listen, there's a difference, okay? This the the talk when you say she wasn't going to. It sounds as if she has a truth but is silenced. I don't like that because I'm not okay, that but kind it's, of person. It's a he said, she said. She says it's, it's true. You said it's not. But it's not a he said, she said when she's caught in it's a fucking true. lie and it's not true. And I, thank you, Asmund yeah. Gold. It's and if you don't know what that is, I actually pulled up the clips. Um, here's the first allegation. The only person in this whole world that I don't like. Yeah. It's train wrecks. Yeah. <laughs> it is him. I mean, I think if a person tells you that they're going to rape you, that's something that's not, Whoa. you know, it's just not, yeah. Um, so I don't think I would ever want to be alone with that guy ever. I'm terrified of him, honestly. Terrified. So, Damn. He's tried to hit me, you know, like he's just been- Tried very to hit me. me. Okay. Well, all of the logs, by the way, are public and you can look through them. Here you are. Um, but yeah, it was all a bunch of cringy shit, but there was nothing in there about like claims of like that degree, right? And uh, people had to bust through all of his embarrassing logs to even find that out. Uh, but that's what Train's referencing here. Okay. True. Do you understand? So, Train, you're making it sound like when she came on, that, or when she came to Austin, that I was like, this is what you told me. You literally said that you thought I started being friends with her for a five head thing so that I can manipulate her and expose you live on stream. No, listen, first of all, that's train. I have the DMs. Fix so those words. We tweeted yeah. it. Fix those words. Okay. I Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's what you said. You, you were freaking out. And then I told you, train, it was, I don't listen, know if you think like I'm some mastermind show, show, yeah, manipulative listen, crazy motherfucker. I, 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 would I would rather you show what I would rather you show what I said. Out of just for the clarity of others in this call, because the way you word it is as if I'm scared to get exposed. I am not, because there is no exposing to do. As Asmongold said himself, she would have. <laughs> so the way he had said that, fix those words, was like, I'm like, whoa, whoa. That's what this I mean, dude. Train is not the guy to fuck weird. with. It is not. He has the blackmail on everybody. He has like the little black book, the little flash drive that has horrific information on all of your favorite streamers. And it's all coming out if you fuck with this gambling. Ooh. When I, I had said that, I mean, I, I'll remind everybody, I did say that very clearly. I remember yes. I was in Trial of the Crusader. Fix your words. Yes. So, this. real quick, real quick, just, just let me clarify. So, Miz, when I tell you she's coming, so when, I, when I tell you that her plan has been relayed to me, that she wants to find a new audience that doesn't know it's not true, so she can say it to, and I tell yeah, you uh, this, sure. but when I tell you this, Jesus. don't you think from a holy fuck, my audience is very vast, Sure, the vocal minority likes train because we share communities, but mm -hmm. the Minecrafters that I cater to, the Pokey viewers, all those that hate train 24-7, damn, if they heard this, fuck. Right. It'd be but another train, fucking did, did war for train. No. But it doesn't and matter. The fact it's over happen. my head, the fact you threatened it with me in DMs just now, I could drop nukes on you with Alinity. When you know I could drop nukes on you with Alinity.
right? So he's literally sitting there saying flat out, like, yeah, I've got stuff on you. And this is when he was getting more confident, more cocky right at the start. So again, the timeline, Train drops his tweet, Mizkiff freaks out, so we DM some, I've got dirt on you too. Unfortunately, they've already talked about that in DMs before. So now Mizkiff looks really bad and he's revealed his fucking hand here. He revealed yep. what he wanted to do. Now, later in the call, you're going to sit here and hear him like beg and say, no, please, you know, like, uh, please just take the tweet down. Like, I don't want to beef with you. I still like you. I still respect you. We're friends. We're cool or whatever. But he was willing to like actually publish, knowingly publish false allegations at first. And then this is where Train presses him on it. I didn't say I dropped nukes. I could say that you were scared and threatened. That's all I said. That's not dropping nukes, dude. No, listen. You were scared and threatened. I'm going to read your message to me. Uh -oh. You said, if you want to do this with this Adriana thing, I can go to Alinity and drop this. Yes, Alinity said that she has tons of shit on you. He's so interrupting. Oh, my... he's so fucking <laughs> screwed. Bruh. Interrupting Area, the DM reading. Like, we were hanging out, and she was saying that, like, yeah, she was talking about all the stuff Looking that happened. Looking up on Google how she to delete that Twitter you DMs. you were super touchy, or, like, you did a lot of stuff, and she said she knows a lot of stuff. That's what she said. She said she knows a lot of shit. Oh, this was, like, man. when you called me a year and a half ago. And guess what? She said I, I was Nothing touchy? ever got out, Train? Because I... But I there's nothing... That that she's that's lying. Just... When did okay, I get it's, it's touchy? Been, I, then, We've train, never... Train, if she's oh, lying, that's not... This is not on me. I'm caught in the middle. If she's lying... But you oh, know said, she's lying, and, and she's she coming to. But listen, when she's telling you that stuff, and I told you the plan in the DMs with Asengold, and then she's telling you this in it to you. Also, yeah, that's the other thing too. She literally planned it, right? Like she said, like I want to expose this to a new community that doesn't know it's fault. If that's true, which I'd love to see that, but if that's true, it's like okay. In private, it, your home it's just like we're on a whole different degree now because before. If you wanted to be the most charitable as possible, you could sit there and be like, okay, well, maybe Ms. Kiff is just acting like a dumbass because this is his friend and he doesn't know how to navigate serious situations like this. Now we're just entering levels of just like evil, you know, like it's, it's yeah. not even like a joke anymore. You brought her on your platform. You don't see there's a little, I mean, I think the whole thing's evil just to be clear, but I'm saying like, if you wanted to look at this from a like, well, Ms. Kiff isn't that bad. Like what Mitch Jones was saying last night. Well, no, this is horrible. Weird and fishy. That someone that I've warned you that got caught lying is coming to you to give you a new story. And she literally asked Mitch. Fuck. That's that, like. <laughs> and defensible. That's a big throw. That almost like literally sounds like blackmail, right? Um, maybe it'll get explained further on the call, but like. Jesus. Uh, uh, that she can make up evidence as long as he backs up that evidence. You okay, don't train, find did, that did you, weird? Did, train, train. I don't know. And I don't know all that shit. I have no idea. All I DM'd it to you, Miz. I DM'd train, it to you. You told me that you were you were freaking out because she has No, Miz. I DM'd it group. in a group DM to you, Asengold, and the seven other OTK uh, members. I, I will also, I, I want to go Isn't on Isn't it a huge he said, she said? Because she says she has tons of stuff, and then you said you have tons of stuff. Train. I, you told it's me to never make sure that it comes out. He said, I didn't say make sure it never comes out. No, I never said that. It's, it's I, not wait, wait, Asmund, Asmund, go, please. I never said that, Miss. I, read, read your message. I said, if she feels like she has a truth to come out, she can say whatever the fuck she wants. Do you understand me? Don't don't say, I don't want it to come out. She can say whatever the fuck she wants. She's a liar. Do you understand okay, me? What does this have to do with anything? Because the difference is you knew what her plan was to reach a new audience that didn't know. I didn't. Train, see, you're, so you're saying that there was a plan. Hold on, wait. I'm sorry. Real quick. I, sh I know that I ignited many um, dramatic uh, No! Wars. Stop! Um, you think that there are... Oh, wait. Actually, this is funny. Wait, I actually have something on this. So apparently, like, in the middle of the stream, when he had 50k viewers, he, like, told everyone to flag Hassan's Discord for... Because they had a bunch of people spamming, like, the G word in chat, which is the word for uh, Cubans, right? So Hassan yeah. was in chat, in his Discord chat last night, watching the stream molding. Everyone is so fucking cringe when they spam the word Gusano. Yes, it's not a real fucking slur, no matter how much a certain streamer's community cries about it like Cracker, but it's just cringe when you spam it, so I'm banning it. That was his fucking God. cup. Nice. Nice. Transphobic T words or full N words in my Discord, you're welcome to go through the logs and look at them and see if it's actually people saying it or if it's the bot banning people for saying it. Um, unlike your Discord, I actually moderate mine for racial slurs, so you're not gonna find people using those words, but feel free to find logs if I'm wrong. No, there wasn't. I she listen, never, ever Ms. mentioned that she Please just, you please stop and just listen. Listen and get this, okay? I am telling you, I DM'd you, Asmongold, and six others that Alinity had a plan to reach an audience that didn't know she got caught lying. 
so okay. she could reinvigorate the very lie she got caught lying for to a new audience that doesn't know about it. I relate All right, to Miz, the are you gonna? You knew this, right? Are you gonna you address this? It. Asengold said, let's come to a conclusion before we invite her over. Obviously, we unfortunately never did. And then, when she comes over... We she... tried. I was against having her, by the way. Thank you. Okay. So anyways, to further this, she comes over at your behest. She tells you this stuff privately, and you're still still sitting here saying, so he said, but I'm telling you raw fucking facts. Do you understand? Raw facts of what she said to Mitch when she called him, and raw facts of just the past uh, that Asgore was involved in, I was involved in, the entire fucking world was involved in. Do you understand? And you're still sitting here backpedaling to, it was a he said, it wasn't a he said, she said. It was, but it was not. It was a she lied, and that's it. Do you understand? So when you are platforming somebody that has the very intent of finding a new audience to spew the lie to i i think that it is reasonable for train to be emotional about this and this is what i had said i mean you remember whenever we had the whole conversation about this miss uh, i've always miss just saying nothing again this is the thing that's the most inferior thing about this call right whenever like something horrible is said about miss he just like kind of sits there and like takes it and it's like, okay, well, are you admitting to this now? Or, like, what's the, what's the game plan here? Why are you just sitting there? You just got exposed completely. Because Miz, like, he tries to walk out of this being like, okay, well, I didn't know. But Train's like, no, I know you knew because we talked about it in DMs. I can pull it up. So what do you have to say now? And nobody is, like, demanding an answer from him. And he just kind of just sits there and takes it again, which is just, what the fuck? Also told yeah, he doesn't care if I hang I'd out be so him. pissed if I were Asmund Gold because I'm like in this network with him, right? Yeah, that he helped found. It's just like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? What is like, this? Like, are you retarded? This is like the John Swan drama, but like in a way more nuclear fucking level. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's not about lying about Minecraft, but instead it's like an actual like crime that's being like openly covered up by. I mean, this is the stuff that like people would make up as like a joke. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, all the top streamers are just like you know Epstein. They have this fucking little you know rape island, and they all fucking cover for each other's crime. You know, this is somebody somebody would say as like a, a fucking joke, right? But no, this is real. This is how they actually are, and um, it's just so fucking. Insane. He said that after he did all the other stuff, and it, it seemed like kind of a concession to me. I, I, okay, I don't so really wait, know. Okay, so train comes to me, flips out, gets upset, literally makes a commentary says, community look like angels in comparison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, nothing ever happened. First of all, I never, I never. First of all, nothing. I, you, I think that from train, you playing I think that from fall guys, you, you nothing playing, happened yet. You exactly, and you playing fall guys with her, and me saying, "Yo, bro, you know, if you're gonna play fall guys, do what you need to do." That's fine, but don't you think as somebody that's so socially aware and you want to back your friends up, don't you think, okay, you know, I'm going to play Fall Guys with her for the cloud of it because Alinity is getting support from LSF. I'm going to go play Fall Guys with her, but maybe me inviting her over since my friend Train got lied to and almost his career and life ruined by her. Maybe that's a little too far to invite her over and platform her. You don't think that's a logical I, I mean, thing train, to come she to? She was at my house and hanging out with me for months when you got mad at me and I was upset. No, she this was, was before. It's something you should know. Someone that's claiming what you're claiming during the slick stuff. But train, I'll be real with you, man. Didn't you have a didn't tons of girls come with you at accusations and saying shit that you were no. super sexual, huh? super touchy? Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not, <clears throat> not that I'm aware of. Who? <laughs> I mean. What? I, not, I, not that I'm aware. I'm just saying. I'm, I, I, I was wondering. Isn't that something that was there? No, it was not. No. What about the whole panties thing? Like the thing is, I all I did isn't was everyone saying like, you touched them? Right. And that was something that, that was, was a said. Comment. Like it was, a, it was, it was a so he just made a massive fucking allegation here. All right, he flat out said, "Didn't a bunch of girls come out and say crazy shit about you that you like raped them or some shit?" F completely falls apart because that just never fucking happened. He pulled a massive allegation out of his ass and obviously it bombed because there's no substance to it. And he just exposed himself for not knowing what the fuck he's talking about, right? Because his example was the Alinity thing. It's like, no, you fucking idiot. What even was that? What the fuck just happens there? Hold on. I play that last like 30 seconds again. That was insane. What the fuck just happened there? You got mad at me and I was upset. No, she this was, was before. It's something you should know. Someone that's claiming <laughs> what you're claiming during the slick stuff. But train, I'll be real with you, man. I'll be didn't, real with you. Didn't, you have a, didn't tons of girls come with you? At tons. Tons. Shit that you were no. super sexual, huh? super touchy. And then he's like, oh, I thought that. Like, not, if it's tons, wouldn't you have one example? Yeah. Who? I mean, 
What? Not, I, not that I'm aware. I'm just saying. I'm, I, I, I was wondering. Isn't that something Tons. that was there? No, it was not. No. What, what about the whole panties thing? Like the thing is, I all I did that was, was too alinity. That, that was too alinity, right. and that was something that, that was, was a said. Comment. Like in it was like, it was it was a con like if you look at the DMs with it me wasn't in Twitch chat. It was Twitter DMs. It was a Twitter uh, DM. And in you're the right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, in the Twitter that. DM, if you if you look at the whole thing, she didn't delete it. She literally said, yeah, I'm down to go to sushi at BlizzCon. I'm sure she deleted all this when she showed Wait, it. Wait, and Miskit believed this. He covered up another essay. That's actually a good point. Yeah. So he thought in his head that a bunch of girls accused Train, but he was totally willing to be friendly with them. Yeah, wait, didn't he say, like, why would I be friends with a rapist, dude? Isn't but he that thought, so bad? And then he thought, what? Yeah, but and he, and he claims that he loved Train and thought Train was, like, a great guy or Love something. Love Train. Dude, he's like, he probably loves Train because he but thought he, also, he did that shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> like, dude, my best, I only become best friends with people who, So like, in that situation, he's either, girl. like, a hypocrite or a fucking liar. So, yeah, I yeah. don't know. Comment wasn't some... She, she she knew what she was or doing. Just loved is that being friends with the rapist? Uh, I feel bad because now like um, a lenity accusation is getting dragged into this, and she's not here to represent any of her side. I'm just asking for for people that know. Was it is it actually something that was proven that like a lenity faked any of those messages or deleted any tweets? Has that ever been proven, or is that like an undecided thing? Or does that, does anybody know anything about that in my chat? Do you guys have any idea if that's the case or not? No idea. She's under the DM. She just wants to be left alone. I don't Leave think me alone. so. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Oof. Because those are pretty big claims. So she did Tyler last time. Not have her Jeez, represented man. all on that. Feels a little shitty. Next, she's gonna say she's gonna kill herself. Is. Um, but, okay. Believe me, she knew exactly what she was doing. She did the same thing to Andy Pyro. She was fucking him for three conventions in a row, and then she pulled some shit on him saying, oh, he fucked me without a condom and didn't tell me. She's fucking crazy. Do you understand me? So another She'll false accusation. She's done this to fucking so many people. So I'm coming to you saying, oh, do you know other girls? Train, what other girls? You've also worked very much for anything for Cloud, dude. I remember you sitting there, doggy, hands up in the air, uh... Be begging Mitch for a treat or something when you hit you okay. So Miss is just what? exposed as his like total retardation right here. So because fucking Train did something cringy on camera for clout, that equals uh Alinity falsely accusing other YouTubers of rape because yeah. both things are done for clout. So one, what is he even fucking saying here? Like, this is I just... I mean, that's all, okay, that was a long okay, time ago. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's Jesus Christ. Oh, man. If that were, if that that were, if that were true, you wouldn't be here right now. He'd be live right now, and you'd be getting cooked live. I, you understand? I, well, to be fair, everyone was recording, and I feel like Train definitely knew he was going to leak it, so... Yes, you would be. Yeah. That was all about clout. Listen, this was reverse. Don't even fucking no, act no, like you did in this call with me, boy. He went live, and he would be calling me on... But he is giving all the donos to Destiny, so yeah. if it was for clout, he would have done it himself. Well, again, it's another non-argument. It's just like their point of, oh, he was my best friend or whatever. Yeah. Or, oh, like, he's a fucking good guy or something. It's like, no, no, no. Uh, when you say she's accusing people for clout, that doesn't fucking address any of her claims, right? Maybe she, who know, maybe she was doing it for clout. But if it still happened, then it doesn't matter, right? I'm saying, I'm saying that we she could have been actually assaulted and also using it for clout. Who knows? You fucking dig in her brain. Maybe that's the reality. I don't know, but it do doesn't matter. Who cares? All done shit for clout, like bad, like stupid dumb shit. We've all done shit. Me going to Mitch. We've all done stupid bad shit for clout. What does that mean? Whoa! Wait, is there more skeletons in the closet? <laughs> yeah. What? what or is do they just consider like fucking being goofy on the stream the same as like covering We've all done up horrible things SA for clout? Like yeah, what? Yeah, like be a little crazy on stream and you know cover up my friend's SA, dude. Like we all do bad shit. Like yeah, that. what the fuck is going on here? What the actual fuck? All right. So yeah, like I said, the rest of uh, part one at least is um. I mean, it's you can watch the full thing or whatever, but it, we we basically heard most of what's in here. I want to get through call uh, part two, which has some interesting lines here. I need to pull this up. This is oh yeah, listen to him talking about the uh, tweet here. I don't even think this was the first time, but uh, this shit gets actually pretty fucking crazy when he's begging him to delete the tweet. Well, the same way you the train can't just delete the tweet like why is it so ridiculous it's ridiculous because i'll be frank with you miz i'll be frank with you if i could trust you as much as you trust slick somehow 
if you if I have that trust with you, I would happily delete it. I don't trust you not to flip and attack I, my credibility I, and say, oh, he deleted it. He deleted how, it for a how reason. Can I, how can I prove to you that I will not do that? Like, well, I think that it's very I don't think that's something to worry about. How because, can I like, get you to delete the tweet? Yo, holy shit. We just got a hundred dollars. He doesn't have to read your donos. Just hit like and sit. Dude, what is this shit where everyone's saying I missed a dono? I probably did, but what did I miss? Don't you usually have like? I read them in between the segments. Build up. And yeah. Then, yeah. Well, lately but, like, I've been trying to snipe them when they come in or whatever. But thank you, cats of flock and big O sevens or whatever. What is this dono yeah. I missed? I don't know. It wasn't a hundred dollars. I mean, like, <laughs> okay, all kidding. right. That's <laughs> no, not okay. I didn't say that, Bull Blacks. XQC isn't really invested in that. He'd fucking take your side, right? I mean, like, I, I, w I would assume if that ever came out publicly. Two hated people taking their side is not going to matter in a world ran by Pokemon, Hassan, and Miskiff. Do you understand me? Ooh, uh, it's not run by Pokemon me right now, first man. person people... mentioned in that. Mm. Yeah. Of course, they're not mm. slick. Like, they're, they're fucking going after me. He's still worried about this. Why do you, stuff. like... <laughs> he should not see it, like... It, in one way, it's not sociopathic, and in one way, it is. You care about Slick, so it's not sociopathic, right? But all you keep saying is, like, what does Slick have on you? Like, th th this isn't a natural friendship. Nothing. He's my best friend, man. No, this I, a isn't about to a go natural. Live and cancel him. Can't, he yeah, doesn't even have a platform. You have the platform. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have anything. What do you mean, if cancel I, him? If I lose Slick, okay, so what do you mean? If, if a. If she says, yes, yeah, Slick full on rape me, and people come out and say, yeah, he raped me. I know you said, like, yo, you can just have him in your house. You can't. I can't have Slick hanging out here, and people think he's a rapist. Barry, was it even, Barry, was it rape, or was it sexual assault? I'm pretty sure it was sexual assault. No, well, I don't think it matters. Yeah, they're... they're well, both, I, I, I do think, think there's a They're, they're both really fucking assault. bad, but I'm pretty sure rape is just a little worse than That's sexual true. assault. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Train. I think rape's a little bit worse than sexual assault. I think that both of them would be They're considered terribly unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> They'd probably both be a little, you know, unacceptable socially, you know? They're both illegal. Yeah, They're both terrible. Yeah, yeah, socially, socially awkward. I'm know. about to mute the fuck out of this entire chat. Everyone's on, everyone's on a warning right now. I'm just saying that, like... Very true. There is... The listen, chat. here's what I'm saying. You can still be friends with somebody as long as he goes to the right methods of rehabilitation. You understand? He needs to go and seek help, and you can be. You know what I need? I need Destiny's little widget on chat where you can type a fucking keyword and then like auto ban everybody that writes that fucking keyword or whatever. Have you seen him do that? I think he did that on this stream like three times while we were watching. I noticed it, right? Because anytime people were pulling up the ice beside a tweet and you just did keyword ban ice or whatever, and then it just fucking banned like 300 people at the same time. I need Ooh, that steps. feature. Clip.live website coming soon. Why are you angry? I'm not angry. What the fuck? Why is everyone on my dick tonight? This, right. this is I will be angry. angry. Ban keyword angry. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Send the nuke. That's what she's gonna say. I, I, I mean, Barry, this is what I don't. Maybe I'm crazy. Didn't wasn't she saying? Weren't people saying that she he, he was it like a rape situation? What was it? I don't remember. He like, I think he touched her sexually while she was passed out, like her private parts, and kissed her. Jesus. That, oh, fuck. That's what people are saying. Oh. So this is, by the way, this is three and a half, sorry, no, no, two and a half hours into their call. They actually go over what the allegation is for the first time, right? Because apparently all these people didn't even like fucking know what had actually happened. They just knew vaguely it was a sexual assault. So now it's been laid out. This is their reaction. I, I, I do, I do well, think that... I'm that not sure why it took this long to get to the most... one of the most important parts of the conversation, but, uh, yeah. That's bad. If that, com if that's that comes bad. out, if that comes out, I do not think it would be considered socially acceptable. Yeah, that's bad. You know, <laughs> train, now do you I don't think it'd bad. be socially yeah. acceptable. No, people... It, now it's it, even worse. Yeah, no. What do, Miskip, what do you mean? Do you get it? How, how do you get it? <laughs> the, oh no! If you listen, if this is if this is like the story that you guys. Miskip's like Miskip's like. Do you understand how important it is that we sweep this under the rug now? <laughs> it's like <laughs> the, the opposite. Uh. Knew then, right? And he was just no. denying it. So so. No. At the, okay, you didn't know then. No. Okay. That because that's no. bad, bro. All, all we Oh, fuck. We knew okay. was that Slick did something really fucking bad. We called Barry, and Barry said Slick is done. We had no idea what the fucking... Sli so Barry said Slick is... Again, the roommate said that. 
Oh, what the fuck? Well, now you can make an idea what that is, no? A yeah. Adriana Lee, uh, all we had was uh, that girl, whatever her name is, Novaru, went live and said Slick touched her. I, I remember. Slick, she said Slick touched her neck and checked her pulse. That was it. Well, that's going to be... Like, there are more other witnesses, so, like, I mean... I wouldn't really trust Adriana Lee because she was passed out, so, right? So, and so right. you'd have to listen to like what the witnesses said, and if they all say the same thing, then that's probably what happened. So can we agree to delete the tweet? And okay. whatever Adriana says, it's it's over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I have an inquiry at this point. No, at this point, like, I'm I'm trying to be impartial, and I'm listening to the story. Okay, I'm putting it all together. So now, okay. Hey, we so won, now, guys. Good job. You hear? <laughs> That's the sound freaking out. That slick is done. <laughs> oh my done. god. And then you send people to inquire, and it. you think that him being yeah. done means that he Just checked her around. pulse. Meanwhile, well, Hassan is probably behind the it. scenes, like that. Because really was the story. Fuck this guy! Like, oh, you know he was seething, dude. Destiny literally, yeah. he pulls up that fucking Discord at 50k viewers. He's like, yeah, ban the fuck out of him. Here they are saying a bunch of slurs. Here's screen. Like, actually, though. And you know, the funny part is, all the fucking Twitch streamers that hate Destiny, they had to watch him to, to uh, know what was happening, too. So he took full advantage of that. Literally, the story was that. People are saying, like, Destiny built Twitch. Now he's literally burning it fucking down. Like, just completely. Oh, yeah. I'm the public right now. I'm the public right now, okay? And I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Okay. That's what true. he's saying is what, 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 what XPC right. is saying is that the res the response was not proportional to what the accusation was. Yeah, is that no, effectively so, what so, Yes. So yes. Slick, Slick said that what happened was is that she he checked her pulse to see if she was okay. And, and it's coming back to me slowly remembering. Hold oh. on. We've got a Mitch clip on his stream. Oh, God. What is this? Someone asked a question in the chat, and I think, like, if you want to get your truth out, and I can't fucking lead you, bro. Oh, so yeah, you, you, well, like, you just need to tell me, ask me the question, and I will answer it. <laughs> okay, give give the chat a yes or no, qu like, Check a yes or no place. answer. Did Miz explicitly give direction to you and Maya and fucking whoever the fuck else was in that room to go to Adriana's Oh, house. yeah, this is the clip I already saw, yeah. This is the fucking killer. Yes. Oof. Okay. That's the fucking sauce right there, bro. That's this. That's what needed to be asked in the first hour of the Actually, call. though. Yeah. Oh, it's all swung back. See, the thing about the call is, is that it's, it's as brutal as you want it to be because it really does, it kind of almost definitively, I mean, without Maya being there, it's hard to say definitively, but it does really put a nail into all these guys' coffins, uh, specifically Miz. Um, that being said, though, there was a lot of time wasted in it, you know? And I guess it was yeah. private call, technically, but if anybody who was actually in that call thought that it would be private, I mean, you know, they should have at least known that, you know, recordings were taking place. Apparently they did. I, I, don't, I don't know. That's just what XCC said. Maybe he made that up. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, just really that one clip just fucks it completely. Yeah. The only other, um, the only other, well, no, there's a lot of relevant testimony. So we've got Mitch is saying that, who was there. We've got Barry who said more or less that, who was there. Um, we don't have testimony from Adriana or her two friends, Kyle and one other person. Has Adriana responded to this? Oh, I didn't even think to check her feed. Or has she talked about this? Has she confirmed it? Well, I guess, I mean, confirmed what she can, you know, like the showing up to the house thing. Person? Um, I don't know. Maya. Salva wants to call in, by the way. Oh, we might do call um, in later. The other four. I want to get through the fucking call All first, right. though. Not the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm just I'm letting you I'm just letting you know. By the way, half of this call is them going over the Adriana thing, so we're really almost done here. But, uh, yeah, after that, we'll probably take callers. All right. But... And that, that and it's just like that's not easy for me to say at all, but that that is the answer. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah, I get it, bro. I, of course, it's not fucking easy. Like I'm literally. Jeez. Um. Yeah. So that's corroborated so far by Barry, but we need Adri, Maya, Kyle, and then whatever Adri's second friend is. To see if there's any more corroboration on that, um, and then I guess obviously from Miss Kev, but I mean Miss. All right, all right, we know this. Let's play the call. Story. 
I, I've heard from other people that Slick is creepy, so yeah, I don't you, necessarily... Yeah. You're gonna get, uh, you guys are going to get eaten alive. Yeah, dude, that's actually a good point. I saw a dono about Jesse Smiles that just came in or whatever. Dude, people overuse the fuck out of the word, like, rape apologist. Like, that, there was, like, a time period where that was, like, the most used word on the internet was rape apologist, right? Yep. And yet, here we're actually seeing, like, there's, like, 20 examples of this happening on Twitch, and these people are all going to be find like next week i i really firmly believe that i don't think this is the fucking end of misgif or whatever i don't even think he's gonna take a hit from this i really doubt it i'd be really well, surprised there's, if that there's allegedly other stuff he's covering up that we don't know about yet so well yeah train that's the other thing people keep forgetting train use plural he said cover-ups sexual assaults so there's more i and think minx uh, yeah that there was gonna there was something else in her like Fucking manic ass response. Minx said there was something else. Wasn't there another yeah. streamer that talked about there being other people? I think maybe Pokey Lol said something. I don't know. Yeah. It, uh, it seems like a lot of people are saying that there's more situations. This is like the first yeah. one, right? That's why people keep saying this drama is never going to fucking end because there's so much to uncover. Just, I'm just yeah, this drama is like going on for, I, I think, pretty much the rest of October and September, <laughs> in my opinion. What? what, what, what I, it's well, like, it's I mean, like if I say, oh, guys, um, Train train told me that a shroud is done, and then and then you tell me later. Okay, so what's the story they're gonna come up with? Then? Well, I um, mean, um, he stole in my yogurt at dinner, and you're like, I'm, I'll, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll clown you. Like, I'm, I'm just, you're you're dumb for even thinking that, and that he's done. And like, it's why I think that if you, and the people are not gonna buy it. It's I, I I I I do think that it's it's kind of a surface level assumption to make that, and I I do think that people will put those two and two together, and it will still implicate you. Um. I feel like probably the best course of action, like, I, I don't know. It depends on, like, what happens, Miss, because, like, I don't know what she's going to say. Like, if she says it was just a misunderstanding, then all of this stuff goes away, right? But it shouldn't go and away, because if, if she says that, that that's ridiculous. It, here, here's it, what my, here, you want to know my honest the, opinion? The, I, think you need to get, you, I think you need to get him the fuck out of your house. I think this guy's a fucking liability. He's fucking up the entire org. He's putting everybody at risk. He's a goddamn creep. He's fucking worthless for you professionally. I understand that he's your friend, but he doesn't have to live there. You can hang out with him off stream. This is a very, very dangerous thing. Worthless for you professionally. is actually the Bruh. biggest fuck up for their whole org. Because Asmongold is the father figure they need, but he doesn't fucking live with them. <laughs> Asmongold needs to be with all of them at all points in time. As like Shredder with the Ninja Turtles, he needed to be over there. He has the capacity True. to guide all of them, but he's playing fucking World of Warcraft, okay? Wow! Is to Asmongold what League of Legends is to Tyler 1. <laughs> As when they need you over there. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. It's actually so funny too, because again, like, Asmund has some weird ass fucking takes on Twitter. Um, but in, anytime I see him in a situation where it actually, like, matters, like, again, like, one of the best political debate moderations, like, I honestly think he could probably mod the presidential debates and be fine at it or whatever, or at least be competent uh, to what they have currently. Because, like, he's actually yeah. pretty good at He focuses, he hones in on where people, maybe not enough, but he more so than the other guys, right? Like, XCC is just blabbling on fucking camera. You know, Mitch is just clueless or whatever. Train's mostly focused, but he needs to, he's more focused on going after Miz than he is at getting information out of Barry or out of uh, Mitch. Was my camera down? Fuck this, dude. Really? Yeah, Asman uh, could host the presidential debates, but he couldn't give a good take on a... Uh, Leafy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they can't Very win them all. Lopsided. They can't win them all. Who the fuck is in here? We're not doing calls what yet. What the fuck? Wait, when... How did Smaggle get... I need to change Smaggle's permission. This is why... Again. Yeah, this. I clicked on your server. All of a sudden, Smaggle thinks he can just crawl in here. We're not there yet. Yeah, I'm We're almost there. All right, let me fucking reboot my camera. One second, chat. Wait, why does he have these permissions? Yeah, stay in there. Stay in waiting to call, bitch. Yeah. What low IQ interjection does Smaggle have? I don't know, but he'll need permission to give it. Yeah, exactly. Did you actually remove his perms? Jesus. Yeah. Holy shit. I didn't know he had perms to just walk in. Like shit on him. You don't have to go that hard, Bell Blacks. Jesus. Well.
all of us to be involved with. And it also will extend over to XQC. It will extend over to train because we are all extensions of you in the Twitch environment. And if this blows up, it also sucks too. I'm going to make a couple of assumptions here. I know some things, but I don't know everything. But I'm going to make a couple of assumptions here. I don't believe that Asmongold goes to many parties. Does he? He doesn't seem like it. I don't go to many parties. I don't seem like it. I'm not trying to insult him. But I haven't seen pictures of him at like a lot of parties or anything. Um, or like socializing with them. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that's like chasing girls and shit all the time. I could be wrong on that. Um, but that's what it looks like from what I've seen. If that is true... If my assumption about that is true, and even he's heard that Slick is a creep, <laughs> no. that's really bad. Uh. Because that means that word has gotten around a lot. If it's already gotten back to Asmund Gold. Yeah, I mean, again, the whole story is fucking public. It's not like this was something that only Twitch streamers knew about. The Twitloggers were public back in like 2021. I guess for, for some, some of the streamers even talked about it back then. I guess everybody just kind of. They either forgot or they kind of know it just wasn't really relevant or whatever to talk about. Like, holy shit. There are certain friends that I have in industry. If I'm trying to figure out how far a secret is leaked, I don't actually have to figure it out at all. There'll be like some friends I have where it's like somebody will tell me, yo, I know a thing. And like, this is like super, like only me and a few others. And when they tell me that, I'm like, okay, this is like under wraps. This is a top secret. Then there are other people that come to me and they're like, bro, I got a crazy secret. Let me tell you some shit. And I'm like, Motherfucker, if you know it, half the fucking community knows it. You don't know any fucking secrets, okay? I know you don't know any secrets. If you know it, shit is leaked to 90% of the fucking community, right? Um, so I feel like, and I could be wrong, but the feeling I would have is that if, for Asmongold in social situations, if shit has already gotten back to him about like somebody being creepy or not, damn. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. Do we want to listen to, there's another part here. Let me find this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good one. Um... Let me pull up this timestamp here. Okay, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. The slick stuff. Did we, we did do that one, correct? Oh yeah, I think so actually. I don't know, I'm looking at my notes now. It actually doesn't seem like there's that much else. Um, yeah, no, no, no. There's uh, m The rest of my notes say they kind of just go over the call or whatever and nothing else really happens, okay. Well, we can either keep listening to the call or we can go to callers. What the fuck is happening to Chad? It's refreshing. Trainwreck shit talking the kid and Rust. What are you talking about? What are you even saying? But yeah, I don't know. Honestly, yeah, I listened to the, this call like right before the stream. And uh, yeah, the rest of it was, uh, most of it was just them fucking reacting to the Adriana call. There's at some points where like Mitch says some stupid shit or whatever, but he's already said stupid shit. So we've already gone over that point really. Um, I'm looking at my tweets. Yeah, of course, Train's still fucking. He has still uh left his tweet up, which is awesome. Oh, oh yeah. I was sent this actually, and then if we have the um the just a minx twit longer that we can go over as well. Uh, oh yeah, and the Carson twit longer. I have this open too. Okay. Yeah, I still need to read that. I heard apparently this was all like a bunch of bullshit. Like, Noah Hugbox just put something out with, like, no evidence or whatever. But he alleged really? some weird shit about uh, Carson. Yeah, we can thumb through that or something. Also, apparently, I uh, Brandon Buckingham got out of, like, a psych ward and did a stream with Ice what? Poseidon or some shit. I don't know if that was, like, a joke or if that's real. I literally didn't have time to watch it. Uh, but, be a yeah. Joke knowing them. I mean, yeah. Pro hopefully. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't want anything bad to happen to Brandon, the boy. It's awful. What, this twit longer? Worst thing I've ever read? Jesus, was it Is that it bad? really? Jeez, okay. Right. Well, it's not uh, that I long. Like, I like Noah, so maybe this will change my mind. I don't know. Well, I mean, Noah's cool or whatever, but I thought the whole Carson cancellation was bullshit, but we'll see what he has to say. Uh, I'm going to try to explain the relevant events of the last couple of years in the most concise way possible. This was always written off as drama when I tried to talk about it, but I only spoke of it because it really bothered me and I cared. It is not easy to be threatened with legal action when you're just trying to tell people what's going down. That's why my tweets are always so cryptic. I'm not a cloud chaser. I haven't made any money over the last several years, only alienated by audiences that start talking about this stuff. And at this point, want absolutely nothing to do with the internet. I promise the context ties into what's going on now. We'll start with the Carson thing. I found out what he did in, tw uh, in March 2020 and for a moment considered tweeting it out right there and then. Unfortunately, I did not have any concrete details initially. In fact, the few details I had were lies. 
The group had a meeting later that day with our manager, Ryan, and he told us that he had dealt with this several times before and we can make this go away. And some members of this group insisted that we needed to stick by Carson. At this point, I was completely checked out, but naively was shocked that so many people seem to value their careers over doing the right thing. Really? Over the next several well, months... He said, did say naively, so... True. <laughs> He's self-aware. Over the next several months, I started asking around as to what others had been told and found that every single person was told an entirely different story as to how many girls he was contacting and what their ages were. This pushed me to do something, and I'd actually gotten the entire group to agree to recording a video of each of us simply saying what we were told and uploading it directly to the Lunch Club channel. No baseless accusations, no cloud chasing, just the truth. At the last moment, many pulled out of the video because in Schlatt's words, he had too much to lose. Deja vu. It was never supposed to go through Keemstar. People who knew this to be the case because they were there then took to Twitter to flame me for not going to, Ke uh, for, sorry, for going to Keemstar when it was actually Keem who messaged me first about somebody tipping him off. I wasn't well, about to back. someone tipped him off. Yeah. I wasn't about to back down because so many people were being selfish cowards and thankfully a close friend had my back and came with me. Drama was the absolute last resort because again, this stuff is not drama to me. Carson had a whole discord of content creators that aided him in strategizing damage control in the lead up to the drama alert because naturally Ryan had gone behind my back, warned him, and tried to prep him. I know this because not all of them suck and they told me what was up. Then the creators in the discord fled like rats from a sinking ship when it was clear the situation was not salvageable. I called Carson several times in the day leading up to the drama alert because I did not want the venue to discredit the story and I wanted him to take responsibility for his actions like a fucking adult. To this day, he even admitted to what he did, and everyone still thinks it was a two-year age gap. This is not true. What? What? Wait, didn't he say it was a two-year age gap? Or, wait, who said it was a two-year age gap? Well, the girl was... Actually, that's a good question. We're going back two years ago. Um, yeah. I think it was the girl, though, right? Wasn't she the one that clarified everything? Yeah, wasn't there messages proving it was a two-year age gap, though? I'm, like, so confused. Well, I think he's implying that there's other girls. I'd have to, like, l go back and look at the story, because I don't have... He leaves it at that. Memory. He literally doesn't elaborate. The girl was 17. So he's implying there's other ones, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck? There is no evidence. The girl said it was a two-year age, age gap, and let me find the messages I saw him today. Um, okay. I was told that in private, Ryan had said, and I know this is going to sound like a joke, Noah's like the Joker. He just wants to see my whole operation burn. I didn't see him, I didn't see how exposing a weirdo would bring down his whole operation, but that started to make sense later. Ryan pushed me to make commentary style videos on Carson, for which I had no interest in because I don't believe in profiting off something like this. Then in March of last year, he called me and said to me verbatim, you can never tell anyone about this. This problem for you has always been money. How much do you need to stop talking about this? This made me sick to my stomach, seeing as I had just knowingly lit any potential for an online career on fire, because to me, not being party to bullshit like that is worth a hell of a lot more than being a fucking e-celeb. The very idea I take an actual real-life bribe to stay quiet about everything made me wonder how common this is in the industry. If this was presented to me a bystander, then I can't even imagine what the actual victims are told. He also brought up to me that when I had first met him, I told him how the whole reason I had even participated in the, in the lunch club stuff was because my dad had cancer and I wanted to help him retire. I almost everything that made me the person I am today to my father, how my game reviews were based on co conversations he and I had. And I figured it was the least I could do if he was going to kick the bucket. Not trying to seem like Mr. Cool Guy here, but that's the genuine reason why I put up with that shit for so long. Fortunately, my dad's fine now. He was fine by the time Ryan said this to me. The fact he tried to leverage me with my father's brain tumor genuinely made me laugh, but not because it was funny. I told him to shove it, and when later I brought up how disturbing all that was, all he had to say was that he had switched up his meds. Sure, buddy. The mental health shield is used by these people a lot. Uh... Okay, well, if there's no evidence, I mean, I don't really know how much ga I've gained by fucking continuing it. I mean, I don't know if there's no receipts or anything. Uh, I know he said he was, like, dipping from fucking Twitter or some shit. Uh, yeah, he said this will be my last post. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I just felt uncomfortable reading the rest of this because, like, there's no evidence. And he's just, 
I mean, I totally believe the thing with the fucking producer here, but like the, I don't know, dude, this age gap thing is just never addressed. Dexero wrote a Cope article on Hassan defending Pokemon being called corrupt. Yeah. Dexero is like the weirdest publication ever. I have no fucking idea what's going on over there. Yeah. Um, okay then. Well, I guess what on I'm- that note, uh, well, I'll throw out the link for if people want to call in, we'll do some callers and then maybe <laughs> just a Minx put out a statement too. Jesus Christ. These people. What is happening? I really want to know what... Do you remember watching... uh, You watched the full, like, call, right? Like, Destiny's coverage of it? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Do you remember the part where, like, they were about to say shit about Hassan and Pokey, and then he, like, muted it? Yeah. I'm so curious on what that is. Oh, he cucked us so hard. I I, I was, like, screaming live last night when they were about to talk about that, and then he muted or something. I was like, really? Because I know Pokimane is kind of a piece of shit in, in certain aspects, and, like... I have inclinations about, like, that she cares more about her brand than, like, victims and et cetera, et cetera. But we don't have anything concrete against her. So it's like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just want to hear it. I, I want, <laughs> you just want to hear any dirt on fucking Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I, I want, like, a reason to hate on her that isn't just, like, personal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or I just want to be, like, vindicated, I guess. I don't know. I've already been vindicated, like, many, many times, but... Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's just wild to me that people even, like, defend Pokemon. Or really, any of these people, it's like, I don't know why everybody wants streamers to be the good guys, right? They always are like, no, this person's great. Why? Like... Yeah. After all of these fucking situations, every year, there's, like, a high-profile Twitch drama that makes them all look terrible. Yet, now, we want to give them a fucking pass and be like, well... You know, I'm sure they're decent people or whatever when they've proven themselves not to be. Pokemon is, like, actually, like, uh, vindictive as fuck. Like, she is... Didn't you see the shit she did to Jideon? That was, like, the worst shit we had seen recently. Where she was, like, gloating about taking away his fucking career. Openly taunting our connections with Twitch. And openly going after his fucking pocketbook. Like, what are you guys... What are you guys talking about? I, I just... I'm not, like super petty or vindictive it's more of just like i see all of these content creators these big content creators just like giving her a pass and it's just like annoying you know yeah. it's like we all know this like i've been saying it forever and you know maybe like i was one of the first people to kind of find out she's like this but now like over the years like with uh it's a gundam jidian fedmeister like just been and even with this situation there's times like, again and again and again, proven that she is this way. So I just want something, like, super definitive to come out where we can just point at it and be like, here, this is why Pokey's bad. Because, like, I'm tired of people... I don't know. It's just, like, a little annoying. I mean, at the end of the day, none of this matters, but... Mm-hmm. You know. This is Minx's statement. Hello, everyone. A lot of you have been concerned about... Oh, it's not even hers. Never mind. A lot of you have been concerned about Minx for, uh, Minx's well-being over the last few weeks, and it seems to have gotten... Much worse in the last few days. Being manic is not a joke and should not be treated as a clickbait or a punchline or even an excuse. With help from those around her, Minx has decided to get help and has not been on the internet since Tuesday afternoon. She will not be returning to the internet for a few days and does not have access to her phone. We know there's a lot going on, but please be patient until she is able to return and speak for herself. Thank you for your continued support. She cares about her community more than any of you could ever know. Well, uh, well that's damn. a strategy. That's, that's a... Uh... <laughs> That that's definitely a type of pre PR strategy. <sighs> Jesus, man, uh, what is happening it, it, to this it, website? It, it, it's so hard because, like, I don't want to like dismiss <laughs> someone's like mental health struggles or whatever. And right. clearly, she does have mental health issues to an extent. But her manic break that she was doing after she like chat talk uh, Adriana. That was in her stream. I didn't put it in my video because I just thought it was pointless to do. But, like, it seemed fake, in my opinion. It seemed over-exaggerated. She, like, left for, like, and then was on a BRB screen for, like, an hour. And then came back and, like, put a bunch of um, hair dye in her hair. And then after she did, she was like, what? And she, someone came on the stream and they're like, you should stop stream now, Minx. And she's like, what? I have hair dye in my hair. I don't even know. Yeah. What am I doing? Where am I? And it's like, uh, 
that's not ex- that's not very consistent with how manic episodes are from what I've seen and I've witnessed four people in real life have manic episodes and Jeez. a couple online so yeah, yeah Let's bring in some- you want to bring in some colors sure all right let's do this we have done a colors segment in a minute I can't bring them in I don't have perms lol <laughs> oh shit I'll give you it again I'm sorry. Damn. Got fucking cucked. Well, I changed around the server once I wasn't uh, permanent after hours. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll bring in some colors here. Uh, Manic episode. This isn't mania. It's not mania because it's not like everyone else's mania. Yeah, I did get my fucking perms taken away. What the fuck? I'll just give you admin. There Thanks. You FPS Diesel, you're on the air. What's up? Oh, yo, yo, what's hot? What's poppin', boys? What's going on, man? So what do you think of all this? Oh my god, hold on. I need to- (laughs) I was playing a stream and I was like, damn, why are you guys talking so much? (laughs) 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 Alright, so I, uh, I found the messages related to Carson, uh, cause I I remember that drama pretty clearly. And, uh, I sent it to you in the DM, Zoggy, but- Oh, on Twitter? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Carson- let me pull it up says that she is 17 when they're talking and um i this is like i'm recalling it from memory now but uh most of it was like them trying to plan like her going to pax east and shit and all that stuff and like whether or not she was gonna go and whether or not they'd spend time together or meet up or like hang out or go on a date and shit um there might be some more damning ones but that's like the the top one and at that time, Carson would be 19, so I'm not really sure what Noah's talking about, unless there's... Well, he seems to be implying there's, like, people. a different girl, or what, which I believe there were two girls, but weren't... It was either, like, they were both 17, or one of them was actually, like, older or some shit. Like, I don't remember there being any girl younger than 17. Yeah, I, I don't remember there being any girl younger than 17. Yeah. At all, but... Yeah, that that's what I found from the time, and it's been such a long time since I've talked to people in that, like sphere i know there was like whispers about like oh yeah carson's a bad bad guy he's been doing all this shit but like there's been i have never heard anything about like anybody that's like super minor like 14 and shit like that well it's too bad he's leaving right after that post because i'd love to ask him a a question or something maybe i'll send him a dm see if he responds it is so vague he needs to clarify it like that that's like pretty extreme and I, I just I just can't see all these twit longers like imagine. when people fail to write twit longers, it's always like you're writing a document that should be very easy. It should be very easy to fucking, you know, you have all the time of the world to fucking script it, to source it, to come up with, you know, to prepare it and stuff. You're not giving a statement live and then like, you know, forgetting a question or something. You're you're dropping a prepared statement. So why wouldn't you prepare for the most obvious question that people are gonna ask when this shit comes out? Right? Not, yeah, for real. I forget who mentioned it. It might have been uh, Bo Blacks or, or, or Salvo or somebody streaming yeah. that I was watching, but they were talking about how, like... Speaking of which... They add all that extra <laughs> shit. Speaking of which... They add all that Hey, extra mute stuff. the stream! Bobby! <laughs> yeah. Josh! Yeah. Damn, you fucking shit. What is happening? you mute me, you fucking faggot? I can't hear anything. What? You're not muted. Hold on. Drag me back, fag. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> okay. Good one. All right, Salvo Pancakes, you're on the air. What the fuck is going on? How come I can't use this? Oh, unmute. Okay, the whole site was muted. Hello? Nice. Why are you having me muted? What the fuck? <laughs> no, I have the whole fucking site uh, muted, so uh, sorry this- about that. Uh Silent Josh, how are you about to fucking come back and co-host this fucking stream less than a month your ass was canned, bro? What the? Uh, you didn't dignity. listen to the call, have and I wanted to listen dignity. to the call. Have some dignity. This fucking dude kicked you to the curb, and you fucking know it. We all heard how old <laughs> you were on that Tiley stream. Yeah, I kicked the guy that's bigger than me to the curb. He o- shut up. He only did What do you mean, shut up? Streams. It's my show, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. Shut up, bitch. Five streams, and you've been a part of almost all of them, but yet he still had to come out and say that he's doing solo shows. He needs you. 
He needs you. That's why you're, you're right. here. That's why you're Bobo likes, I need you. Come back. I will say that, I mean, the streams are better with me on. <laughs> 100%. He needs you. That's True. why you've been on so many fucking streams after his fucking sorry ass. So answer. many? Have some dignity, bro. Don't come hey, back. let no, me clarify. No, I asked Boblax to come on one stream. He just called in today naturally. All right. So. No, 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 that's not true. You put out a tweet earlier in the day, I'm pretty sure. But. What? Also saying saying what? Like saying that Josh was going to be on, so he didn't just randomly. No, I didn't. Him. You're you're lying. No, I did. You're lying. Oh, blacks. You don't need to crawl back to this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, expected, I I knew I knew your ass was going to crawl back, but I didn't expect your ass to crawl back literally in like less than a month, man. When it, no, it's been over a month. It's been almost well, two it, months. It's been a quick time. It's been very quick. Wait, wait, I'm confused. Is Boblax what? crawling I like back? Being on the show. Hold on, is Boblax crawling back, both. or am I begging for him to come back? Which one is it? It's both. It's mutually it's both. <laughs> We're both just like, wait, come back, fuck! Dude, what's the point of the fucking decision <laughs> in the first place? Why did Augie make that decision in the first place if he exactly. wanted me? Exactly, thank you. True. Yes, why did he make that decision? Maybe because he thought that several pancakes would be fucking milking out content for him, where he can do these solo shows because I almost do all the work. You know, so maybe he's <laughs> good one. To this when are you going back to Death Noodles Rose? My teeth, huh? When when are you going to the next Death Noodles Rose? Did you see the Did you see the third uh, event? Like nobody was fucking there. I, I forgot it was even on. It was so pathetic. Yeah, he was selling tickets this morning actually for something. Of course, people are slowly. You know, he's he's realizing what you realized. You know, you need several pancakes. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, what do you, you think about this that? drama? Do you have anything to say about this Pogger Gay drama? Oh, I don't give two shits about this. Part. What? I'm exhausted by even pretending like I give a fuck. I what? About it. What? You're Pass, not gonna do a show care. talking about it? You're not gonna cover it? It sounded. Well, I I will act like I care about it on Sunday a lot, but it's like. <laughs> fucking people, fucking people. That party sounded fun. If that's not happening all at every right. fucking party, it's a it's what a sexual party. assault. It's a loser party. Yes, it sounded like a fun party. Damn. If the girl literally just got her boob grabbed, ah, oh, get okay. over it. I don't oh, know. It's not a I YouTuber party know. unless somebody's harassing are. someone. True. I can't hear you. I think it's more than a what? booby grab. If it's just a booby grab, honestly, it's like, okay, bitch, really, you know? No, okay. But I think it's more than a booby grab. Do you think it's more? Oh, so you do? Okay. Well, you. Th yeah, I saw you were saying, like, you think the cover up was the fact that it was like a grab. Like, she's not even yeah. saying the full truth of what actually happened. I don't, 100%. I don't even think she even knows the full extent of it was. I think that Maya Maxwell in Misinformation sent, went over there to, to downplay everything. And then what got out of it was a booby grab. I genuinely think something else happened. Damn. I mean, that's honestly plausible. I mean, she was fucking passed out, right? I mean, so she claims. So, yeah, I mean, it's really, honestly, the only one that really knows is Crazy Slick. But he's gone 100%. now. Right, right. It's like, it makes no sense to me that these Twitch streamers would be freaking out this fucking much about a... Well, you know, Crazy... Okay, I don't know about that. But Crazy Slick is gone now, so we're never gonna know if that's the case or not. Like he's never, we're probably this guy's oh, never dude, probably gonna be in public these again. These are the biggest pathetic losers. They all have like their mental health, like fucking. No, I think you, you think Slick's coming back. Slick, I don't even know. I honestly, I only heard of that name. Like, is that a name that you knew about or only no. found out during the drama? I found out during the drama, but nobody knows right, of him. Right. He, Right, He's like right, Ms. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I don't even know like if he would come back or 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 not because I don't know anything about him except that he grabbed a booby, a booby, which I think was a penny. I think he penetrated, and it was a rape, and it was disgusting. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> but you're fine with it. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, 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 not <laughs> actual, no, but you no, said no. it was a cool party to go Wait. to, and now you're saying that rape it, happened. Not, not if it's an actual, actual, actual <laughs> fucking okay. assault. I think if it's a booby grab, it's like, ah, uh, I don't know. It's like, okay, it's bad, but it's just a booby grab. But I know it's not a booby grab based on everyone's attempt to cover this up, and they're fucking panicked about it. Dude. And, and they're all quiet. And they're all quiet because they know that the real bomb is going to drop. That she, it was a lot. Well, why do you think Train would be? If Train knew, why don't you think? Why? Why do you think he would? He would be hiding it now. 
Why? Because he, because Train, again, I only learned about him this week. Train seems like, like he is all part of the spectacle. He knows that he has him on the rope right now with just the fucking booby grab. He's breaking their whole fucking mind right now, right? And he knows that he can drop it at any moment. No, they so if they start doubting him, then he can up moment. the temperature. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. he's letting them cook. And then when they get comfortable, something else will drop where it's not a booby grab. <laughs> well, they did say there's other girls. Okay. I mean, nobody's yeah. talking about even if. OK, Salvo, let's well, let's pretend well, for no, an no, instance no, it was no, just no, a booby no, grab. No, 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 no. Why? I'm going to sp- I just let you go, motherfucker. Let me speak. Okay. Let me speak. All right. Yes. Let's say it was just a booby grab and let's say that all of Twitch decided that that wasn't a big deal or something like that, right? We're ignoring the fact that there's other girls too to this entire equation, right? Like, first of all, Train used a plural. He indicated that there were multiple girls. Some streamers have let it out, uh, let it leak out that there are multiple girls, right? It, the next girl is going to be exposed like next week or whatever, right? And then we're going to go yeah, through no, this, this entire is, fucking this drama is a again. Disaster. Yeah. This is terrible. Like, don't get me wrong. I joke about just the booby grab. This is like actual evil, malicious, bad people involved in this a hundred percent a hundred percent um so yeah i what was your question well i'm saying like you're ignoring the fact that there's like other fucking girls involved right so it doesn't even have to get to that level yeah i'm ignoring the fact we all are until now i brought it up well right i mean i'm just saying like this shit's about to get fucking even crazier right so we don't even have to think about it with this girl there's like 12 other fucking stories apparently right I, um, I mean, right, right, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, this is only getting started. And I think Sonic Josh is right. This is going to be like the biggest story until probably Christmas. Literally, yeah. the, Jesus Christ returns and everyone's happy again. Uh, because By the way, around the holidays and then, you know, the new year. Oh, my God. Good. You know what the next yeah. story is going to be? Seer. They're going to crack into that one. Dude, oh, hold on. I, I've been looking into Seer. I heard Seer. things about that guy from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diesel, what have you so, found out about Seer? So there's an old group chat that Seer had with his ex-girlfriend, Dasha. Now, Dasha is a fucking psychopath, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, she's absolutely insane. But they brought a 16-year-old into their group chat. Dasha was like the ringleader, and uh, Seer was kind of like the wallet behind it. Uh, it's like, you know, oh, you should come out. You should hang out with us. And Dasha... And Seer were sending uh, nude pictures of Seer's other ex, Mina. And, um, you know, sending, uh, like, Dasha was sharing sex that she was having with Seer into the group chat so this 16-year-old named Charlie could see it. And there was one time when this uh, Dasha texted the kid when they were, like, fucking, and then she was, like, elaborating on it. Um, and there's a whole like archive twit longer. Most of it's like lost of time, but that's like all in there. So yeah, Edwin, Edwin walked through that like personally cause he like lived with them and shit, but yeah, I want yeah, Edwin to like, do a re like a reintroduction to Seer stream. Like that's, that should be his next stream. Like dude, go- I was supposed to fucking talk to him, but he went on vacation. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, he he said he didn't want to do that. He said that his old videos on Seer that are already still up just hold up and people can. Well, yeah, they that. hold up. You can go watch them, but it'd be kind of cool. Like if he just fired up a stream and just maybe like even rewatch them with cool. the chat. Yeah, actually, I I think it'd be interesting, right? Like, how does it stand now? You know, what does he still think about it? I don't know. I think that'd be entertaining content. Everyone's kind of. The whole Seer thing is like a giant meme right now. Like everyone just memes the fact that it's being brought up again, but not many people actually no, know what the fuck is about. I, I think if Seer is still being like, if Seer, if we know Seer has these tendencies to act these way, this way around kids, now he's in a position where he can do it to even more kids because he's in the fucking <laughs> Twitch yeah, yeah, yeah. scene. Okay. You know, there's more kids. We just, heard, we just heard three hours of you guys boringly uh, talk about this. <laughs> Augie, um, what? you intentionally missed one donation tonight. You missed one donation tonight. Only oh one. Oh my god. I just scammed the viewers. Said? Do you understand? Do you know what it said? What did it say? Okay, so let me read this to you. It's from a member. It's from a, It's from one who's a loyal audience member of yours, but I know how you treat them. Um, what? He messaged, yeah, he messaged me, and I got tons of messages because you missed one donation tonight from no one. Um, it and? was a five dollar dono. Um, will anyone else be joining the call tonight? Cough, cough, salvo, cough. cough. <laughs> that was a donation. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, okay. no wonder you were okay. you noticed that one. Oreo didn't see the stream where I, I linked his nudes. You guys are all the same, very predictable. Everyone's catching on by now. Um, listen, you missed one donation tonight. I don't think that it's any coincidence. And I want everybody to Damn. know if you're watching this motherfucker Augie and he ever misses a donation, let me know <laughs> and I will make sure he reads it if I wow. have the I trying, okay? Because we know I know how he treats you guys, and I don't like it. Yeah, you guys um, are the real victims. I also think I got to Whoa! Go, um, <laughs> Whoa! I'm about to jump on Matt Pitt's now recording podcast and talk more. Matt about Pitt. Augie. But um, uh, hey Augie, I I added another strike to your name tonight. Nice. I have a big how many am I at right now? All the commentary names and all the streamers in this space. A big buck. And right up top is Augie RFC. I'm adding another strike. Oh, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm, wait, I'm at the top? Let's huh? fucking go. When am I I'm getting good. my first exactly. segment on the Keemstar show? Yeah, yeah, okay. You know how long it took me <laughs> to, uh, to get on the call, you know, this year? About six and a half months, only when I had to break down your grown man friend. No, that I mean, when are you going to shit on me? Boy. When am I getting uh, my first, like, shit segment on Keemstar show? I'm banning you from the chat, actually. What? You're not going to yeah, talk I'm about me? You. Well, then I'm no, banning I'm you from my chat. Gonna, Fuck you. No, no. Dude, you're peons. You're a little peon. If bro. you're going to no. ban me from the Keemstar chat, I'm banning you from my chat. All right? Fair no, is no, fair. You're looking for any excuse. No, no, no. And here's why. Well, you're the one I talking about banning, so I don't know, dude. No, no, no. no, no. Here's what it is. I take that back. I won't ban you because oh, I know your ass. Let's go. I know your ass is looking for any I'm excuse. I'm back. I should be modded. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not going to give you the excuse to unmod me because I know your mom has been texting you about unmodding me. Oh, my God. Amazing. And he's gone. Diesel, are you still here? Yeah, dude. I'm still here. <laughs> so, dude, Sierra. Salvo, dude, Salvo shouldn't be talking to you that way, dude. It, you, you, How many subs do you think the Keemstar show would lose if you told everyone in this chat to unsub? Who's uh, already 10,000? 10,000? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Salvo owns your whole your whole career. Hey, never forget whole career. Never forget who put him in that call with Keemstar in the first place, where they even yeah. talked about the podcast. Yeah, the Keemstar yeah. show is just it came from my mind. All right, it's basically I After it. Hours Junior at this point. The I Keemstar created show. the Keemstar show, whether intentionally Keemstar. or not. It was it spawned out of my actions. So, yeah. yes. Nick, call in. All right, Diesel. All I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to keep you here all night. Me on, boys. Yeah, thanks for coming if, on, uh, man. If you have any more drama questions, I'm I'm deep in this story. I've I've. Great. Oh uh, yeah. Things. Awesome. Are so. you going to do a video on Seer? Uh, Seer is going to be a part of my Twitch video because he's part of OTK. So he's all right. Feature Look in it. forward to that, guys. Yeah. I will be watching it for sure. I think Seer. I think Seer should pay for his crimes, dude. Did he really get canceled for all that, like, bullshit with Edwin, or did he kind of get away no, with it? No, he, he got fucking away with everything. Most of it got put onto Dasha, and while she's definitely the one in charge there, he is complicit in that shitty behavior. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. He it's shouldn't bad. be allowed to join fucking orgs like OTV. Access well, to all those apparently fans. Everybody there is fucking old fans, terrible, dude. so you know how it is. But yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. later, boys. All right, see you later, man. Miss probably heard the allegations about Seer and invited him because of them, dude. Smaggle, now you're here. What's uh, up? Uh, oh, yeah, I actually have a uh, clip for you. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, uh, for some reason, you didn't play this on the stream, and it's, like, one of the funniest things about oh, the Oh, a Destiny, Destiny clip. Call last night. Oh, God. Okay, are you guys in the watch together? Get in. Uh, I'll get in it. Crawl. Invite, but way. doesn't add me to call. What? We're in, we're in Bo Black's server. All right, let's watch this. All right. Well, yo, thanks for the chat. And like I said, I did not record this conversation. I was just talking to you man to man, and I hope the same otherwise. I showed you my screen. Yeah, I'm just saying, I, bro, you're my boy. You're my boy, dude. Like, out of all of these people, I trust you. And I don't want to regret that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm saying. Like... <laughs> Out of all oh, of this, this is so funny. <laughs> if it's for the truth, for a no, this guy's asking me for scrap. Like, hold. 
Bro, all you've done is ask for scrap, scrap, scrap. Go farm. Go build something. No one's giving you scrap for your stupid Wait. fucking YouTube video. You understand me? Go farm and play the game, you dumb motherfucker. Get him. Yes. He's playing Rust. Get him. Holy She's shit. Like fighting with little kids. You've, you've gotten scrap from like three different people and you still come back to the same corner. We know what you're doing. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Do you understand me? And by the way, those moans you're in your mom's room, that's the fucking neighbor piping her down, you pussy. <laughs> What's up? Sorry. Get a life, you no, you're good. I just said in all of this, bro. Get like, a life. I'm just being real with you, like I really. Rusty. Why don't we get a life, you bozo? Holy in the middle of this fucking like Holy beat. shit. I'm you know, trying game streams, dude. Busted you, and I just want you to have my back. Like I, I really felt like you know with Destiny, like all that shit, like it got me to be like, oh yeah, you know, obviously, dude, it's gonna be shifting blame that, if it's like, oh yeah, Mitch is a fucking rat, the and then the then the. Nonsense, it's just them but... yelling about the call. Yeah. All right. Well, that was yeah. a good clip. Thank you for that, Smaggle. Yeah, no problem. Also, I did see uh, what uh, the Brandon Buckingham thing. Apparently, uh, he quit. He's quitting like YouTube. He's quitting Brandon? content creation because he's he says he's too weak for it. He is uh, too mentally. He's not mentally prepared for, I guess, the internet anymore. Huh. So huh. he's just quitting. Okay. Cool. Wait, well, I wish quitting? him the best. What a pussy. Okay. Who's Yo, quitting? Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham? Yeah, Brandon Buckingham. Oh, I like him. Why is he <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, Nick, <laughs> wait, I got Fuck. a No, not that guy. Someone else is a pussy. <laughs> Nick, where have fucking you been in Nick, all of this? He's just like fucking Misgift, dude. Just picking his best see friends. The Joe Biden? What? Did you see the new Joe Biden meme? What's the new Joe Biden no. meme? No. We're covering dude, drama, dude. What the fuck? I don't dude, care about Joe your Biden. president. What? Dude, you gotta pull up the Joe Biden. Hold on. Fine. All right. Are you at Wavy's house right now? No, no. I was in Wavy yesterday. I might see nice. Wavy again. Um, like Wait, later. hold on. You were in Wavy yesterday? What the fuck? Wavy's house, it you fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> dude, dude, I heard asking. he was in Wavy. Like he was having yeah, you're. The, what, what, are you dude, at Wavy's? Dude, he sounds like he's grinning ear to ear. Smaggles like, mm, -mm like thinking about a fucking fan. Smaggle on fire saw you. Exactly, yeah, hey, shut the fuck up, you bisexual fucking freak. Whoa, whoa. Wait, I'm thinking about fucking YouTubers fucking. Whoa. When they're when <laughs> Wavy has a girlfriend that he's loyal to. You dumb motherfucker. You dumb piece of shit. Well, I'm, a I'm a Pokemon sip. I'm a Pokemon sip. Yeah, I'm jacking off to Pokemon. You may well, you fucking jack off to fucking like Nick Diorio and Wavy Webster fucking plowing in their house. Shut the fuck up, weirdo. That was like a bad bunny moment. Good thing he's not black. All right, let me pull this up. How do you know? It's you. True, actually. Nick, you sent me a fucking shit link. What is this? What the fuck is your link? It like broke my Discord. <laughs> no, it pulled up Discord. Your link is retarded. Hold on. Wait. It's crazy, bro. Oh, here it is. Okay, now this works. All right, let me play this. But guess what? We got a lot to do. You gotta say hi to me. Whoa. <laughs> we go back a long way. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Whoa! This woman helped me get an awful lot done. Anyway. What? At 12? Ah, uh, what Wait, the what? fuck? Dude, Pedo Peter strikes again, dude. Wait, hold on. Who is the 12 year old? Ah. Uh, like, what a thumbbug? Like, who? Oh, okay. When he time. was 30. Yeah, Greta Th Thunberg. Are you retarded? Fucking. Wait, do you think Joe Biden's 30 now? Dude, he's looking pretty bad. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, dude, dude. Joe Biden, the time traveler. That just is fucking horrible. dumbass. Fuck off, Smaggle. You ruined the joke. Get out of here. All right. Dude, I've missed everything that's happened in the last two days. I still haven't heard the call. Have you? What have you? Yeah, why are you we were what is it? All of us picked like the worst that times day. to go on vacation. Like, actually, though, anytime any of us leaves, something crazy happens. Literally. Bro. Are you sure yeah, this is like kind of different though. Like Carson's getting outed for something. Twitch died. 
the company is like falling it's on its knees. Dude, right for now. me, it's I miss like Deaf Noodles. Out. This is my payback, right? I miss the whole Deaf Noodles okay, arc. Deaf Noodles brought on the girl, like broke into Gabby, or the girl, the guy who like broke in is probably manipulated like a seemingly mentally ill person to gain entry into her house for the sake of income and clout gains. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The he had I the guy on that broke into her house and apparently took her side. Which is just yeah, awesome. Yeah, I hear he's sending cease and desist, so like, you gotta be very careful. With so, let me get this straight. Some guy showing up to his fucking comedy club that was, like, he was, like, scheduled to be there and everything, right? That's too far. Uh, but a guy breaking into somebody's house is fine. That's the that's the logic yeah. he's using here. That is the case. Amazing. That is what happened, great, great stuff. It's just, like, the thing about Deaf Noodles is, like, I would cover him still, but, like, it feels like at this point he's actually, like, unironically begging for the attention like when it was happening and he kept like saying like evil. oh i got the i got the attention now i'm trending on twitter like at the, i that was a cope that was a cope for him back then but i think now that he's actually not getting attention i think now he's like baiting for it which is just takes away the fun of it mm -hmm. yeah. why would you feed an attention whore that doesn't make any sense but yeah Fuck those retards. what's up, R uh, what Ricky? up ricky what's up what's good like you see what? Oh, like, don't you, don't like Paul, chase right? him off the show again. We are not doing this like last time. All right. No, no, no. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask your question, Nick. Ricky, I heard yeah. that you were manipulative to a girl on Discord one time. Oh yeah. Well, what time was that? <laughs> Which one? Listen, she's a very she's a very good advocate for women's positions. Have you met? Is, is it, her name's Abe. Well, no, we got nothing go from on. that. Go on, go on, go on. Go Our good on. friend who put line ad in a very what, 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 what happened to your friend line ad? Oh my god. Uh, well, I wouldn't call him my friend, and I would say what happened Best to him. Best friend. Buddy. I, I mean, you did call him your friend. What happened? Uh, well, I mean. It's like oddly I confrontational. I, I, I think I've seen him on Judge Judy, right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is getting oddly confrontational. Yeah, Australian government. Don't do it to me, Australian government. I should have listened to Nick. Yeah, that's what Line Ad was saying when he was getting rammed <laughs> in the ass. Let's bring yeah, in a caller. Let's bring in a caller. The legend, you're on RFC. Welcome to the show. Dude, why are you the legend? Uh, I'm the legend because why not? I mean, you're no one faggot. else has the name. You're a <laughs> <faggot>. Jesus. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky. 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 We're really right. taking advantage of the RFC platform right here. Well, Ricky, don't, make me, don't make me chase you. I don't want to see you crawl away. Don't do this to me. You uh -oh. wouldn't be able to catch up with my fucking scooter. Damn. Go ahead. What's your question? I, I mean, I don't have a question. I was just going to talk then about Why are you Twitch. here? Why the <laughs> fuck are you here? I'm here because I need to ask Nick a question. Okay, go what ahead. Got, what are the women's positions? What are the woman positions that Ricky Berg was being showed? Was it doggy style? Was it missionary? What, what was it? You gotta tell what? us. Why would Nick know? Downward facing crack war. Nice. That's a position. <laughs> well, I'm unfortunately in a bad timing situation, I guess, because Ricky Berwick has basically beaten me with his fucking scooter to death. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I didn't do I anything. Gonna... I didn't right. do anything. Thanks yet, for bro. calling in. Thanks for You're calling already in. Feeling the pain? Sure. Ready feeling the fucking Dude, pain? Dude, Augie, can you, can you tell me all Ricky. the drama that's happened in the last three days? Okay, dude. What are you, Aiden? Oh, really quickly. Just You're really like quickly, can you just tell really me that? quickly, dude. I got a fucking I got a I got a text from Aiden like the other day. He was like, "Dude, wait, what? What happened on Twitch?" And I was just like, "Where do I even <laughs> fucking begin?" I'm like, do you go back to ask a man? Your teachers are trying to like molest you or something. Yeah, literally. Augie callers suck. All right, trans tipster, you're on the air. Welcome to the show, trans tipster. Trans tipster, good one, dude. Awesome. This person will talk. I've talked to Trans Tipster before. Oh, really? Yeah. You've talked to Trans Tipster? Sip Man. Yeah, Edwin hey, how's it going, guys? What's up? What you got? Uh, Yo, I just have a quick question. Aren't you, like, amazed, like, how, like, long Trainwreck has survived with all these streamers, like, going for him? Dude, he's running a train on the whole platform right now. <laughs> I'm mean, gangbanging everybody. Yeah. Except, no, he's not doing that to Alinity. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's the deal with Alinity? I missed all of that. Are we just like pretending so Alinity, to suck because we cried once? 
Yeah, well, drama. well, that's what they did a while ago. I remember when everybody got mad at me for saying that. <laughs> I, I remember, like, Alenity cried on stream, and then everybody was like, actually, Alenity's cool. And then I was like, no. Did you hear that Hassan tried? Wait, did you, did She's you retarded. Hassan tried that shit today? Did you play yes. the clip of Hassan being like, yeah, man, um, if it wasn't for, like, the fact that I became, like, a millionaire after my uncle, like, set up my YouTube channel, and then Destiny subreddit was being mean to me, I was actually probably gonna blow my fucking brains out with a double barrel shotgun, but <laughs> luckily, I became a millionaire socialist well, I saw, overnight. Okay, so, I, um, I saw streaming. one clip where they were talking about Alinity. I didn't see him say all that, though. No, 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 uh, this wasn't him. This is him. He was pulling, like, the emotional manipulation over Destiny. He was like, yeah, yeah. we can get harassed by communities like Destiny. Wait, so Asana I mean, admitted I, that Destiny made him want to kill himself? I could yes. do this. If I thought that was true, I wouldn't be joking about it. It felt like it felt like virtue signaling and demonization. It felt anybody... like I have nothing to say to Destiny, so I'm going to invoke suicide and try to like justify a bunch of Wait, rancid does... claims about his community. <laughs> because he threatened to flag his Discord last night? Is that where that yeah, came from? Yeah, dude, now that he's like a 50k viewer Andy, he's like reacting to Destiny on stream and shit. It's so funny. Like now he has to be like, he's confronted with this because everybody's talking about it. Nice. Can somebody uh, send me this or whatever? Like, where the fuck do I even I'm find not, this? Like, yeah, it's on his Twitter. tweet, but I'm just sending it to you right now. Okay, great. It's on Twitter. All right. Are you sending it to me on Twitter? Send it to me on Discord. Sending so I can pull it up easier. Discord, then. Okay, thank you. Appreciate no that. We saw this fucking Biden clip here. Yeah, I have like one clip where they were talking about Alinity and Ethan Klein was talking about how much he hates, like how much Alinity was mistreated by the internet like a year ago or something, right? But then like like three years ago, he was literally calling her a whore and saying that she deserved all the people sexualizing her, which... Breaking news, guys. Which is not something I ever said. Which is right, but... No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Yeah, no, listen to this shit right here. Hold on. This is how he talked about her. Not in 2017, by the way, when it was like the Trump free speech era. This is 2019, okay? Only three years ago. I didn't even speak about her like that, and I made like fucking... Hella videos. Alinity was a cash cow for me. Roblox literally was like trying to get her to get... No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. This is the big gossip story on the internet of last week. Alinity, who is a Twitch streamer, with big ass titties, she's like a, <laughs> a titty streamer. But I don't know the size of a her titty tits. streamer. I'm only saying that she's known for wearing like uh, very little clothing. All right, and it's a, and I think like an average. You didn't even have an OnlyFans at this point. By the way, because she's a pretty girl fans. that doesn't wear a lot of clothes. Is that right, Dan? She wears. I mean, I guess she's, she's, cleavage, she's low very shorts. Girl, and yeah, she she dresses in a relatively revealing way. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Well, Jeez. at any rate, it, there. I think, but th- there is a term that people have, and I'm not necessarily agreeing or disagreeing. I'm only trying to explain the perspective. <laughs> Just asking questions. Who, who dislike her? They call her a titty streamer. She's like a titty streamer. She's like a titty streamer. I'm not going to blame the girl for being attractive and being on Twitch. Okay, I mean, yeah. Is, 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 what do you think about her outfit here? But yeah, yeah I mean. What? <laughs> Mm. Obviously, for the kids. Obviously, <laughs> obviously yeah. it increases for the abuse. kids. It increases Whoa, yeah. not my taste, but <laughs> obviously, a lot of women do dress like that too. Wow. So yeah, we know it's not your today, taste. You're married to Ethan. Throws it. Behind her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just. Not, I guess I'm not that offended by it. I, I've had cats before. Whoa! So he doesn't take issue with the animal abuse, but like <laughs> they're very. You can fucking throw. Well, anything a titty streamer is very. Had a roommate. Yeah. A housemate. Like for question. Oh, I love cat. that they include the and comparison this in this. Come my yes. No. Who made this video? Shit. We need to shout them out. Piss all over my shit. Yeah. Every day, and then I go. And I, I, I got nothing to do with that guy, and then I wake up one day, and I catch this fucking cat pissing on my shit, and I grab it and I threw it out of my room. And the cat what? came back and started clawing me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've had cats all my life. I, I don't find this to really be that yeah. reprehensible. It's not that I big wouldn't deal. really think. Oh, fuck. It's breaking. Yeah, it's way worse that she has big titties. But- yeah, hold uh, on. Dude, there, there's like some weird homeless guy who keeps like frantically walking towards and like away from me. That seems like weird. <laughs> the video is fucking exactly. breaking. Hold on. Isn't that in? Isn't that typical? Track where the pupils are looking. I'm not New York. And he was looking at Twitch girls. Mm. 
and he kept looking at her tits. He couldn't help himself, whatever. That was the whole plot, plot yeah. of the video. And then I guess she got upset because of something he said. I believe so she, she was upset because he referred to her as a twitch thought. Yeah. Which, which is the other term. Which I, I suppose is pretty derogatory. It's like calling her a slut. I mean, thought is that hoe over there. So it's just mm. calling her a hoe, basically. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like what he did was that offensive. So just, just go with it. And if I was her. Yeah. Get over it. it. Yeah. Well, if somebody called you a hoe. It, well, if I dressed like that, I'm not, I'm not calling her a hoe. Whoa. <laughs> but I would at least understand where. I would, uh, yeah, people could time. call me a hoe if I dressed like that. I can understand it. Yeah. Well, at, I mean, you, at, at, when you dress like it, you kind of ask for that attention, you right. know? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, breaking news. Victims, Ella thinks you deserve it. Ah. Call in here, folks. Call in. <laughs> Talk like about it. <laughs> Hila Klein, call in right now. It's so funny that Ethan now is being like, oh my god, people were so mean to a Lindy back then. It was so sad. Oh my god. People were being like super misogynistic. And then you go back to that clip and you're like, ah. Uh, yeah, uh, only from three yourself? years ago. But now <laughs> now listen to this now. Well, one, what happened to Lindy was one of the things that really fucking pissed me off. Like, at the time and even especially now looking back. I mean, she got she got shafted so fucking hard by the whole internet. Um, it was honestly repulsive, disgusting, and in the midst of making serious accusations against Trainwreck, people were just basically openly and socially acceptably victim shaming her because she is uh, not Oh, this guy sucks so much. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. I haven't yeah. heard a good clip of this guy in fucking... Ever, okay? His best <laughs> clips are scripted videos. I've never seen an opinion from seven years ago. Lines, and I've gone like, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is a great tank. I'm glad he really thought this one out and posted it. Yeah. yeah. No, and the this wording is the he uses too. Repulsive. Disgusting. You're talking about yourself, bro. Like, get some better memory. By the way, according like. to Train, she definitively lied. Because Alenity said that Train said he was going to rape her at TwitchCon. Train pulled up the logs. It, it didn't exist, right? And I don't even know if they cover that. I know they cover the logs in this podcast, but they, do they ever talk about like train side of the situation? Like they did a yeah. whole segment draw, pulling this back up. I think even Alenity herself tweeted that she said some shit like where she was like, I just want to be left alone or something like that. Right. But it's just like, yeah, they put up this whole fucking segment, basically like painting this image that train is like a fucking rapist or whatever. Like the Twitch boards are real, dude. Like this shit is actually like serious. I don't know. Here's the next question for you. How much do you think Ethan's going to fuck up any movement against Train for Hassan? Uh, I don't know. Probably. I mean, Ethan, Ethan's not really involved in this completely because he's just sniping from his fucking podcast. So I don't know. I mean, Train's body. <laughs> no, but he's a massive fucking streamer. And I've even seen Destiny try to tie it. And because Destiny's opinion is basically the spin right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking at LSF, a lot of his takes are popping up there. He's just like, yeah, dude, he goes on this fucking Ethan Klein show to a Audience, like, well, if I had to guess, it, this is probably Hassan's inter like idea because Hassan's the one that is in direct conflict with uh, train wrecks, right? And Hassan's mm -hmm. also the one that's in the drama. Like, yeah, but dude, all those guys are the guilt by association guys, like the right. hardcore. Like, if you're around these people, you're objectively bad. You're the problem kind of people. So mm -hmm. yeah, they're gonna throw that back in their face because they deserve it. You know? Yeah, actually, though, I don't know if any of this is going. I'm like fucking destroyed right now. No, that's supposed to come through. It's fine. Okay. Good. Set man, thank you for calling in, man. Appreciate that. Oh, also, I couldn't send you the link through Discord because not friends. So send it oh. to you still on Twitter. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll have to pull it up then. destroyed, caller. Get destroyed. Fucking AIDS. Not parasocial. No hashtag, no polis. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> All right, what is this shit right here? Hey, yeah, Polis was talking shit about me on Twitter. I thought we were cool. Dude, and then Bull Blacks was like, unga bunga, like, oh, I think that you've been mistreated. Yeah, yeah. I get mistreated, I motherfucker. That's me. I'm the one that gets mistreated. Not Polis, me. You understand? He just, he just asked to... Dude, Bubble Black Twitter. hasn't looked into this tank quite yet, so he can't comment. All right, I don't care. Let's play. Into we're gonna gorilla. Uh, there's no way you have. Hold on. <laughs> we're, we're, we'll talk. <laughs> we're not doing this on the air.
<laughs> what is this shit? You know, uh, trying to get me to turn into a fucking law cow. I would have probably killed myself if I wasn't able to fucking completely escape the, the grips of straight up 100%. And when I, especially when yeah, I was this a, is young so streamer, a lot of the uh, old heads in this community know, like when I was, um, I don't know, when I was like a fucking 1K, 2K Andy and he was like much larger than me and DGG was up my asshole every day, I, I genuinely considered uh, straight up quitting streaming. Like I. Killing yourself? Really? Holy shit. If I didn't deal with it appropriately at the time, Hello? you know. Uh, Who the fuck is talking? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is here? Who are you? Trans, trans tipster? Wait, trans tipster? Why are you trans here? Trans. How did you get uh, in here? I don't know. Uh, Nick probably dragged him in. Because I, I didn't. I can't. I'm on mobile. I'm on mobile. I'm looking at the audit log right now. Who the fuck pulled you in here? Who, wait, who? Let me look at the audit log. Oh my god. What's wait, going quick, on? Quick, quick, Nick, did, do you have a girlfriend? No. It's on my Twitter. You can read it. I doubt that was your family. You had a prostitute over. Wait a minute. Hold prostitute? So in, wait, you guys are so incel. I'm like going through like the reverse of the drama. Wait like, a minute. No, no, it? <laughs> no, I don't believe that you have a girl. I mean, you don't have a girlfriend. I bet you're, you've are you got a woman on the side there. You're just a parade. That is the most cock shit I've ever heard in my life, bro. You're gonna right, expose okay. me uh, for having a okay. friend, dude. Dude, okay. the position who, who, okay. you're putting me in. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Bo Black. Dude, this is so, Black. this is such a loss for you. What are you doing? Bo Black. Yes. How far are you with Olivia? What the fuck, oh, dude? He's ready. He's ready. Why are we? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the can fuck? we not? Can we? No, she's replying to your tweets, so like, let's get to it. Like, all right, make like this that. fair. Make this fair. This Ask me a cancerous <laughs> question now, so that we can go through the whole list. Okay, uh, okay, Augie, you're talking about like the whole cover ups, Twitch cover ups. Um, this is a real question for you. Uh, so when it comes to cover ups, I think Keemstar is probably one of the biggest doers of the cover ups. Let's go back to Taylor Holder. Um, what? We Who's Taylor know Holder? He's a TikToker. Oh, so you uh, failed. You were supposed to ask me an uncomfortable personal question, but instead you're asking no, me about no, 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 YouTube no, no. drama. How do I... No, I'm getting no, no. the easy question here. No, Logan, okay. You don't have anything on your personal life. You True. Gotta tell us yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Come on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, so. Tell us the last man you dated. No! Ah, no! Get out! Okay. Uh, who do we have here? Lively Big Balls. You're on the air. What do you want? You fucked it up. <laughs> C Cuban, you're on the air. Or as we like to say, g g g g Hey, what's up? Hey, uh. What? Don't you dare. Okay, I have something that uh, Bo Blacks would definitely like. So I was streaming a oh, little. Oh, God. Uh, so a while back, um. <laughs> I was streaming on my Twitch, and what happened was I stumbled on upon, upon something that's gonna be like, remember, um, was it called Elsa Gate and all that stuff? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I found this channel. It's called Sonic Cartoon Official. I can link it to you unless I. I'm bored. Am. What does this have to do with Twitch? Oh, no, but also what. It was also going. I was gonna go back to uh, remember when when Keemstar was on the Twitter Spaces. He was th someone brought up about his uh alleg him saying that oh why don't someone bite the penis off of the what? girl or something. No, what? back oh. on the Twitter Spaces. <laughs> what? Are you talking about when Jake? <laughs> what are you saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me translate. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Twitter Space. I believe it was yesterday. Keemstar, someone you guys brought in a collar. No, it was Keemstar brought in a collar. Okay. Hold on, you, and? Okay. Yeah, so all right. Keemstar you... Is Papa got on the Jake Paul allegations on whether that uh, the person who was claiming that Jake Paul raped her or whatever orally, that oral rape, quote unquote, Keemstar's position that he had at the time couldn't be like actually like assaulted because in Keemstar's own words, she could have bit the cock. She could have bit his cock off. Yeah. Apparently that was a position that Keemstar had either painted to... Well, yeah, we argued with this. this I, I debated Keemstar on this on the show. It's one of the funniest segments we've ever done. 
like it's funny because I remember that because he did he decided to not bring up I was like it wasn't about that it's all that and because it was also the why are we talking about from. this this is like a year old conversation who cares because I bring it back up because it's like a f full flip for Keemstar like I love Keemstar I love watching his are you saying that like wait are you trying to say that Adriana could have just fucking like destroyed fucking Slick's hand by crushing he him. He could have, like, chest. woke like, up, like, spider senses, like, da da and, like, fucking bit his fucking She was off. drunk. She was passed yeah. out. She's gonna do shit, dude. No, no, I'm just saying. I was like, it, it's weird that, like, he started this the whole weird flip. Come like, out of her body like a snake venom and poison the person who was touching her. Like... No, well, I'm pretty like sure a, that's the position Keemstar alien. doesn't hold anymore. Like, he's talked, but didn't he make that video where he was like, I listened to all the women and dude, now I agree with dude, them? She wasn't some even shit. trying, okay? She didn't even use her sentry gun to target the people while she was asleep in a vulnerable position, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, she hit the turret. She just had like a turret set up. All right, we're doing. Don't want a turret. My, um, the kill shot range. It, it, it's also like that. It's like, my question is like. We'll get what to it quickly because I'm about to take another caller. Whenever people just flip back and forth about this, like Keemstar, I don't care. Like Keemstar does this, but it's we it's weird to me because people keep flipping back and forth about this and have like two brain cells from like six years ago, and it flips back and forth, person to person. Who's like, flipping back and forth? That? Anyone in the Twitch community, like Hassan. Like yeah, they're dishonest. Yeah. Basically, you're saying that um they're. Inconsistent on how they treat uh, you know sexual assault be because they want to oh, protect the people they want to protect and <laughs> out the hold people on, they want to out. Out, Time out. We need to be honest with these people, okay? That, like, yes, which community is kind of fucked, all right? That's yes. every fucking community, all right? There's definitely a call that every single person you've ever watched on YouTube, even people I don't know, that if it, like, leaks, they'd sound like complete fucking sociopaths. Unfortunately for them, and fortunately for us, this one did leak, and it makes everybody look horrible. Nick, you I'm haven't sure listened that, like, to the call. It's significantly it. worse than what is typical. Is it really that bad? Yes. Nick, yes, it is. Nick, what are you doing? Yeah, you, listen yeah, to the call. Wait. Listen to the call before you say that our calls are anywhere <laughs> near similar to that. Holy Bro. shit. Dude, me and Augie will be in a call and be like, dude, wouldn't it be great if this guy just got like hit by a tractor trailer? Yeah, you know, no, that, we, yeah, we say shit like that. No, oh, you want to cover up some sexual assault? Yeah, look, dude, I know Bo Black's got a little handsy at VidCon, but oh he is my best friend, so I don't know, man. <laughs> you gotta watch the call before you fucking compare, bro. Dude, I heard a rumor that Bo Blacks was turning off the backseat locks in the car. Look, in look I'm not gonna it deny. All right, all right. We do. Friend. We do cover up a lot of horrible shit, but it's not sexual oh assaults. We okay? do a little human trafficking. We do a little human trafficking. But it's not, it's like different than Twitch. <laughs> than Basically, the way we are. Because we don't get caught. Because like, we don't get caught. <laughs> it's like a more <laughs> cancer version. Of, we're pretty cancer on After Hours, too, though. It's just yeah. like a little more cancer. It's like, we'll say it's like, no, no, but, dude, We can get away with so much more because we're so open about our degeneracy. Well, Nick, Nick, exactly, Nick, Nick. Exactly. Actual question. Actual dude, question. Why don't you, why do you like think they call us the it's okay? Like Nick, Nick, why do you think they call us the it's okay when we do a community? It's true. Because they're retarded and they it's should true. die. It's true. It's true. No one really lies. I made a tweet about this, Nick. I was like, this shit would never happen in our community because we literally profit off of not covering people up. Augie, We're like, you know, you know ooh, a bad thing? Right I'm going to expose their person. There's yeah, no fucking Yeah, the twit longer is incentive. already written before I even know who the characters yeah. are yet. There's like Augie, no monetary you know, you, know what I'm right, you know what I'm drinking right now? While what? I sit out here and, and out on, the, on the streets of Nashville, okay? I'm drinking the proper 12 Irish whiskey, bro. From the candy man. Dude, Holy are you going to start saying Hi, that Ariana's a uh, clout chaser? You on that uh, mink shit, dude? That mink fucking drunk mink? drinks? I don't even know the drama. I heard that like people are saying mink is in the right. And as somebody who no, hasn't read no. the Nobody's no, saying no. that. Who's been saying that? Wait, what? Maybe oh, Mitch Jones said that, but dude, nobody Nick's cares. Dude, out of the loop and it's so hilarious. Everyone's defending mink. What? Mink sucks so much. Bro. Dude, you guys, half of you guys literally get your news from my Twitter feed, so I'm sure some of you guys are misinformed because I don't know anything right now. Oh, good one, dude. So we're all fucking what? up the story. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. 
Dude, I thought one of my timelines, like, bro, Minx is really making compelling arguments, bro. And I'm like, fuck you, okay? Minx is like a demon. Man, no, the most, is the, worst. the most positive thing people have to say about Minx is at least she has the excuse of being, like, actually deranged, like, medically. That's I mean, the only. know why she's deranged. Did you see the headshot she took when she jumped into that fucking beer pong table? Oh my god, dude! I wish that I wish I had that clip on fucking. On, <laughs> no, I got to stand by. I think that I think that Minx needs to get back on fucking YouTube boxing because she hasn't taken enough blows to the head. True, actually, true. You know what? <laughs> Were we gonna show the Minx stream? Isn't this should be the perfect opportunity to bring it up, Augie? We oh, you want to watch this, Nick? My cut of yes. it's only like ten minutes. By the way, I have so. my camera off because it keeps yeah, glitching yeah, out. Have to watch Minx, just the Minx, my laddies. I have my camera off because uh, it keeps fucking breaking for some reason. So uh, when do you start playing the full thing? Uh, like thirty seconds in or something. Okay. By the person who has been alleged to be covering up this whole story in the first place, Miss Kiff, and another big female Twitch streamer had this reaction to it. And she did not reply. <laughs> She doesn't have any screenshots. Yes, I'm not kidding. The Twitch streamer Just a Minx was streaming during the same time that Adriana was sharing her story live and reacting to it by laughing and dismissing all of the claims that ended up being true. Which is fucked up in <laughs> itself, but is even more <laughs> fucked up. This oh, video shit. was like so fucked up. Unironically, un this is the most brutal video I've ever made on someone. Damn. Unironically. You have like Minx followers? Why is your chat so fucking mad that I said that about Minx? Who likes, wait, does, do people in my chat like There's Minx? There's some woman in your chat right there. It's a woman in your chat saying, Nick, you should play Rope on the Rafters, bro. Did I hit like the one Justin Minx crossover fan in the RFC Nation, dude? Does Just anybody in the chat? Last remaining Minx fan? All right, one in the chat if you like Minx. We need to f figure out who these people are. We need to purge. We're getting rid of the last 3% yeah. of women that watch this show. True. <laughs> Uh, let's did you, see. Oh, did you see they tried to cancel Chud Logic today? Why are they canceling hey, Chud? Jessix. Jessix? So, so Hassan's community, I don't know if it was on Hassan's Sanders stream, man? but Hassan's community started sending shit to LSF. And it was um, a clip from his Dr. K stream where they're like, dude, you're racist for covering all this Ayurveda, like Indian medicine shit. And it's like, okay, mate, you're going to call me fucking racist for this? Then that's fine. I'm fucking, ra I'm fucking racist. You got a problem with that, mate? You're watching a racist streamer. And then I, I fuck Giga Chat. I'm fucking racist, bro. What are you gonna do about it? And they posted that like fun ironically, going like, "This is a DGG here. He says he hates black people. Watch <laughs> this video. This is a Destiny <laughs> fan and it, 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 going mask off, admitting to all their dark beliefs." And it's like, it's, it's like <laughs> Jesus, man. Holy shit. Considering that she knew about the story and was somewhat involved in the behind the scenes for years at this point. I was here for this, and the other girl that was there too, and I heard them out. This is bullshit. So Whoa. she says it was bullshit, despite everybody else involved saying otherwise, except for the guy being accused, Slick, who backtracked his year-old statement, made this new statement, deleted it, and then deleted his Twitter. And then deleted his life! No, I'm just kidding. Twitter <laughs> account. But apparently she was there, so let's hear her out and see what she has to say. Yeah, like so this is where it starts. Elise stream, she's telling Miz story. Because knowing this, like, no. as a smaller streamer in Austin, these people have the power to... No. No. No on website, no on platform, whatever. Real sexual assault. In this my is life, bullshit. You know, or right. Twitch or anything. And just the wow. comments I was getting were absolutely <laughs> absurd, bro. Like it's like Jesus Christ. Like you guys are allowed to say this. Like you're allowed to say <laughs> these things to a woman about a woman. Um, elaborate. But yeah, slick oh is God. slick. I was here for this, and the other girl that was there too, and I heard them out. This is bullshit. They went out and Slick literally was just himself. Whoa. Dude, Whoa. Like a, dude he, didn't, he never touched her. It was like a dude. Slick was just being himself. Bro. Yeah, dude. Like Slick does this all the time. Bro. He's Whoa. just like being himself, bro. Like, Listen, he's just, like, bro. You know, Listen, it's just so bro. slick. It's such a slick move to grope someone. <laughs> dude, dude. Slick is known to go for the fucking, um, what, what was he looking for? The pulse? By grabbing you right in the Yeah, oh, the old pulse trick. Uh, the classic slick, the old pulse trick. And listen, oh. if she's like, well, Slick didn't do it, I feel like that's a better argument. Because if that was her position, she's like, Slick never did that or whatever. She's lying. I mean, even if you can test that, you can't know for a matter of fact that that's the case, despite people claiming that it was. So, I mean, I would give shit for that. But instead, she's just like, dude, 
It's just classic slick. <laughs> yeah, this is the clip we were looking for before. Shout out Mysterious K. <laughs> That was Minx. <laughs> Dude, look at how awkward everybody is. Nobody's laughing. She did that sh shit for the camera. Look at how uh, them talking before. Watch. And then everyone just gets quiet. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Oh, that was so cringe. Dude, she looks like she's been up for like 48 consecutive hours smoking meth. Yeah, literally. Look at her room, dude. Yeah, it's a fucking mess. Like, yeah. What the fuck is happening? Do you remember that really old picture Wait of my fucking... fucking name. Did you remember that really old picture of my room? Yes. That like Tommy played? <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Oh. And they took it the wrong way. Slick is good. Slick is weird. Yeah, he is weird, but he does it online. Like he does. It's always oh. how Slick is. And Adriana is a cloud chaser. Whoa! So oh am my I. god! No, it's dude. Are you saying whoa because that's like super victim blamey, or are you saying whoa because that came out of just a Mint's fucking mouth? <laughs> well, she's the only person. Besides, well, Mitch Jones said it in private when he, well, he said it in public when he thought it was private, but Minx is just on stream, just flat out, like, no, she's doing this for attention. As if that matters again? He's depressed. It's hard to... ...to visit a lot because I was friends with all these people, and now it's like, I'm just like a social outcast. Why are you Fuck. crying so on you, Amigo? He, he tried Why to do all that while you were, like, Amigo? drunk, I'm assuming? Miss Gift Circle Jerk kind of sucks. It's kind of trashy. Yeah, that's why I just. To be fair, she has a point here. Yeah, that is true. Why is she on Omegle? Did this? anybody did anybody watch the? Oh, uh, she makes Adriana Omegle stream? videos. No, no, but did you watch the initial Adriana stream when it first dropped? And she's like, "Listen, I have proof." So I'm gonna pull up this video of Omegle and think like the whole stream was gonna go downhill from there. Like I legitimately flinched. I was like, "Wait, what the fuck did she uh -oh. just say?" But it <laughs> turned out to be okay. I, yeah, she, I thought she was gonna, she, like the first she, five like, minutes. It felt like she was bombing. But I'm confused, like, is she, like, opening up to some, like, random person on Omegle? So, like, you know what this is? Yeah. Right? Have you ever talked to somebody once about, like, a drama, like, a, a person that you know isn't internet savvy or whatever, it's never, it's never gonna matter, and just spill, like, crazy deep dark Oh, yeah, I've, I've definitely done that before, yeah. To, like, a random, yeah. when I, when I, I wouldn't say a random person, but somebody, like, I know in the real world that might have something interesting to say and also is, like, never gonna be fucking involved in any of this shit. Dude, it's like you walk up to Ben and you're just like, all right, so here's the Keemstar leaks. And you're like, what? <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Dude, Keemstar called me uh, when him and Salvo were hanging out like a week ago or something. He called me and me and Ben were driving this like $100,000 car that like he had like rented or some shit, right? And so they call us in the middle of us driving this nice ass fucking car. And they're like, what? Where are you going? What are you doing? Holy shit. And then they see like Ben in the car, right? So... Oh, fuck. I don't even... Can I say the bit? I mean, it is a joke. So, Keemstar called me as, like, a joke, and he was just sitting there. He was like, dude, I I don't want to, like, fuck over Salvo or whatever, but I I, I want to, like, fuck his wife or something, right? It was, like, a joke. Like, Salvo was there. They wanted to see what I'd say. And then Ben was like, dude, fuck his wife. Do it. Fuck his wife, dude. Fuck Salvo. And then Keem was like, who is that? What the fuck? Because <laughs> he thought... He thought it Finn was like some other I'm like, what do you who do you what do you think? I'm in the car with another YouTuber? Do you think I'm in the car with like Turkey Tom or some shit? Like why are you worried? It's just a fucking IRL. It's never gonna fucking matter. Why are you so why are you so worried? <laughs> yeah, so that's kinda like oh the equivalent. Oh my here. god. It was so it was such a funny fucking call. Yeah, I think so like Adrian is basically talking to Ben here, pretty much. <laughs> I would not talk about yeah. sexual like, assault dude, to Ben. There are times there are times, like, because I, I do Destiny raids and stuff for, like, yeah. Core Master and shit from Tommy's News team. So, like, I've talked about, like, intense private YouTube drama in, like, public raid groups before of people who have no idea who I am. Dude, I'll talk so, about... Like, I'll talk about so my biggest stuff. fucking secrets to my Valorant queue. I'll just start opening up to them about, like, you know, the really fucked up Dude, things that year, people I in this found community... Out every time I went into Warzone, my mic was on. Like, oh, apparently it's just auto... So, so like there's like big like team star call. Yeah, yeah, like people are hearing my end of like a sicko mode call. 
Yeah, you're like in calls like fucking Keemstar and like the fucking president or some shit. And like everyone's just hearing your fucking side. And, and of like, it. Dude, dude, the thing is, like, it's not even safe because there have been multiple occasions where people are like, oh, you're the YouTuber. Like, well, I'm playing like in a raid or Destiny or something oh, like that. Like, like, the end of oh, no. Dude, no, no. Dude, these people aren't like, because they watch Destiny YouTubers. Now, I'm obviously not a Destiny YouTuber, but I mean, if you're on the space or whatever, it's possible you can like end up in these random fucking communities. I've right. been in, like, a raid with the guy and like, hey, by the way, man, you're using channel. Hi, thank you. <laughs> and then like, what the fuck just happened? That's cool. That was a true story. Damn. That is just wild. Should we listen to more of this? Yes. You guys are, like, overreacting to, like, the tame part. Oh, God. Where, what's the good part? All of it. Jesus. Well, are we going to watch all of it? I guess. Yeah, watch all okay. of it. Okay. You know, the 10K, 20K, and the group is shit. I need to piss though. But Fuck. They give it, they're, I, uh, Should have pissed when Nick was ranting about dumb shit. What the fuck? You know, wow. Whoa. That's what I do. He <laughs> himself into Cypher PK's party. He was invited. After he saw that I was. Do so obviously That's... he's like trying to stop my dog. Was... <laughs> intentionally. This time he's like, oh, we, we know the same people. It's like. He saw me that I was doing this. My career was stunted because I was reaching personal record <laughs> views before this whole Dude, thing Bob, like, happened. How many views does like... this have? Uh, 80k. Dude, this is gonna... You have no idea what you've done to make this video. This is yeah, always gonna... Wait, I uploaded this, video... I up... if... Wait, I upload Dude, this two this days video... ago. It's not like it's popping up. If it pops or something, like, this is gonna be her, like... This is like the worst optic YouTube video you'd find if you saw. What's a deleted stream too? That's the worst part. Yeah, dude. Like yeah. you fucking. This is. Yeah, bad I did. For I told you this is the most brutal video I've ever made. Let's keep going. And it was like this so easy to, to do. Yeah, dude. Like she did to herself. But it's just a little funny how I was doing very good before this whole situation. It's a little happened. funny. Obviously. How is this when funny? I was told it's okay. Just come out about it, so we don't have to kick Slick out. But. You know, things. What? She just like raged. What the fuck was that? Yeah, Hold she's on. like, oh, fuck this. What the oh, fuck? Was listen, to, listen to what Adriana says after she leaves. What the it's fuck so was funny. that? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, things things kept going. And then people are afraid to be around me. I have no <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, I guess it was just fault. proven. Goddamn. I don't want to stop his bag. I don't want to Wait, be the reason that he on. gets fired or the reason that he it fucking sucks that I'm this hush hush word, this hush hush situation. Nobody can be my friend or be around me without Slick having something to say about it. And a lot of people Wait, who are saying adrenaline, lead, drama, whore, whatever, take us. Well, you take want a break, to hang out with them again and go read like, the fucking Hold on now. Because nobody read it. Say apparently. names. Then, um, it's like going out of his way to scare me or intimidate me, as I said. Insert yourself in more drama. Thing. Love him. That's bestie. Chat, I was you know, very good guy, very good at the time. And what the fuck did I do? I fucking fell asleep. He did not. And he, he wants to go around. Well, she tried to apologize to me at a party. She, she go, he goes up to my fucking friends. He went My in. fucking friend. He checked on her because she was blackout drunk. He went in, checked on her because <laughs> she was blackout drunk. And her friend <laughs> told her, you were there? No, I was there for the drama when it happened in the fucking OTK house. You don't know shit, stop. Fine, okay. Slicker to- Literally her entire chat is saying stop. Point oh, but as a woman, but hotter. Um, she I literally I called I Adriana a Slicker? Creator, whatever, Whoa. I've known him for a very long time. Um, And he said, he like knew about the situation. He said, listen, like, I said, listen, I'm not going to stop you. Go to the parties, whatever. Bro, um, it's all coming out. Bro, you know, like this bro, is how I feel about Bull Black. Do you know that you could have been slicker? Like you met this girl in that podcast and shit. That could have been you, bro. What? Oh, Adriana. Yeah. Well, you could have been slick. I yeah, I don't think I would have fucking groped her while she was fucking blackout drunk. Yeah, Nick. What do you mean by that? You could have been slick. What does that mean? <laughs> Bobax knew her, bro. Met her on like a yeah, yeah, on the Zerka Royale. Royale. It was like yeah. Nick. If it was Bobax, uh, would we have covered up? Oh my god! Imagine if this was us. <laughs> but yeah, 
Yeah, she, uh, her and Jackson Hinkle were like flirting, and Jackson Hinkle was being like super fucking retarded and like, bruh. Well, she fucking. literally didn't she say on the stream that she fucked they, Jackson Hinkle? They fucked after mm -hmm. that. They fucked after that. Wait, I, dude, is this that is that in September twenty twenty one. From the uh, wait, is that the girl that Destiny picked up from the airport and dropped off at Jackson Hinkle's house? What? Okay, is wait, this the war? hold on, hold on, hold on. You're what just did, saying like a million you, different things. Whoa, 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 whoa. The girl that Destiny drove no, no, to Jackson I'm not Hinkle's being a drunken retard. Yeah, Jackson Hinkle said Destiny dropped a girl off at his house to fuck one time. What? Why would he do that? I have no idea. This is just something that Jackson even, Hinkle tweeted. I don't even know if they, it's true. They don't even like each other. Why would he do that? Wait, what? Wait, alright, so Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I am drunk. I don't know. Hold you're on. Like just saying like random what? shit, dude. You're telling like me that Destiny, like the King Cuck, drove a girl to a, a guy he doesn't even like's house so he could fuck her? I, I don't know if it's happened. I'm going to be honest. I thought what? it did. Maybe I should. <laughs> what the fuck? About something Maybe I should. Has hurt me and it is hurting me. He goes, don't worry, Adri. Like you've been there for <laughs> me since the beginning. Like we're like yeah, twins. Jones are like, a bitch. Like I know Destiny has an open relationship, but is it that fucking open? Like, what does that even? What does he gain from that? What? Hey, Jones are crazy. Does nobody remember this? Is this like the fucking like the come tribute? Fucking what's his name? I know. Look, like, I vaguely yeah. remember some story of a YouTuber driving to like. I I, I remember the storyline. I don't remember being with Destiny and Jackson Hinkle though. What? Oh my god! Fuck! I'm I'm googling. Okay, who? What are you googling? Did Destiny, De <laughs> Did Destiny go get cocked by Jackson Hinkle? <laughs> Google is like, uh, yes, this actually happened on this VOD right here. Uh, whatever. He streamed it too. Takes picture of party. If we leak into everything, blah, 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 blah. It's like, damn. Like, it's he whatever. Blocked me but it just because makes me wonder, like, what's he wasn't being... allowed to stay at the house. Why no. was he not allowed? He wasn't allowed to stay at the Envy house. So he blocked He's me. talking about John Zerka. Uh, he was like, I thought you were a real one. To be fair, I'd ban John Zerka from the house, too. I'm like, yeah. Dude, how is this girl it. on a fucking team called Optic? She's this bad at them. <laughs> Uncomfortable. And then I woke up the next day and he blocked me. Makes you have the right to Insane. not like her. Um, but she's telling her side of the story. It's not about you. Thanks. It's not about um, The universal it's problem insane. here. In the way it was so pushed so onto the rug. So you're upset about the way in the way that I'm, as and I said, about... being <laughs> silenced in my career is being pushed down. I've it talked to lawyers up. about this situation. Go on. It wasn't up. I'll bother her in the lawyer fucking court. I will. What? <laughs> what? Nope. what battle her in court for the oh, battle her in lawyer court okay so she's like shit faced or something something's happening here she's not sober what the fuck is she saying i work too fucking hard to get to where i yes yes john zirka does still have me blocked i am Damn. coming from fucking You're nothing not for somebody who hasn't had a fucking job in their motherfucking- We told you she's manic? Is this what manic looks like? A genuine question, no, by the way. No, no, no. I'm asking because no. I don't know anything about being manic. Literally nothing. Yes. Well, Bubblex says no. No. Well, it could contribute to some of, like, her mannerisms, obviously, but it doesn't make you, like, laugh at SA victims and shit like that. Yeah, I literally know nothing about the subject. It can make you a little bit insensitive, but, like, that opinion has to come from somewhere. Like, you know, it, it, like, Minx would actually have to think that Adriana is legitimately a clout chaser and this is all bullshit for her to make those comments. Now, her being manic may be the reason she said this on stream, but it isn't the reason she thinks this initially, right? I genuinely don't know. I can't comment on this. I don't know anything about being manic. Well, I mean... Now, I, I know I knew like four people IRL through manic episodes and a couple online. So yeah, okay. Why is it, I fucking your chat's so fucking retarded, dude? <laughs> Sandwich man is always like, "You're wrong, you're wrong." I get it's a meme, but I'm trying to like say actual like important shit. And if you're gonna say that in chat, like I it'll agree. make people think that I'm.
speaking out of my ass. Like, fuck the chat. The, the chat's man. Sandwich man fucking retard. Why do you have that bitch ass modded, dude? <laughs> like, sometimes he just needs to get timed out, man. He's so fucking stupid. Because he exposes scammers like Bull Black. <laughs> what the fuck? The chat's been. Oh <laughs> my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Different says you were actually wrong. Oh my god. Never filled out a fucking. Damn, Alex. Okay. Shit. W2 who's living in a mansion crying. I'm so sad that these rumors are being spread about me while he's crying in his fucking mansion. He what are all these just a mink simps in chat? She's manic! She's manic! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, she's not gonna fuck you. <laughs> yeah, especially while she's manic. She's manic, wait! <laughs> Holy hey, what, shit! What, you want... Like... Wait, Jesus. you want pussy? Yeah, you want fucking just a mink's pussy? She's a lesbian, she wouldn't even want your guys' cocks anyways. <laughs> Yeah, but if she's manic, she might like cock in her state of manic delusion. Oh, Who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can hope. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Rent. I've had to do things I don't want to do. You're a twitch trick. That might possibly hurt my fucking reputation. An e-girl. So basically what <laughs> she, she told me before, wrong. and I have proof of here, okay? He then messaged her saying, I'm jacking off right now. Or like... Something horny. I just remember something to do with jacking off. And she did not reply. <laughs> she doesn't what the? Screenshots. No, he did not, did he? But she didn't enter. It's funny. It's just a big meme, dude. The message. Whoa! So Foggy. Immediately. Foggy. What? Edit. You gotta vet, vet the tweet. Vet the tweet? Oh, God. What is happening? Yeah. yeah. Vet it. Um, okay, hold on. Breaking news here. Not actually, this is like an old ass tweet. So this is, a, I don't even know what the tweet he's talking to is because Zerka has me fucking blocked. But uh, he's never been the same after he t he was tasked with picking up a girl from LAX and driving her to my apartment so she could get dropped off and fucked. What? What the fuck? Okay, real tweet. Real fucking tweet. You can, this is not, this is from Jackson Hinkle, okay, the official real. political account of Jackson Hinkle. Wait, but he got ratioed. Yeah. Because you didn't have a car and you can't drive? Does that really own him, though? If Destiny's still driving the girl and he can't drive, he's still the one fucking right, her. Destiny's, but either way, it's not like, is Destiny even, like, romantically involved with this girl at all? Yeah, but why would you drive... Again, it's not even like they're buddies or whatever. Even if they're buddies, I still think that's weird. But they're not even buddies. Like, that's fucking... What the fuck is this? D Nick, would you drive a girl to your friend's house knowing that they're going to have okay, sex immediately? Dude, all right, all right. Okay, so you're... you're. Let's say you have an 18-year-old sister who comes up to you and says, Hey, Abby, can you drop me off at my boyfriend's house? Are you a cuck? Because you're not you fucking have your family, instead. dude. But if it's like... <laughs> But if it's well, like, you're just your sister off your fucking rail dog, you're yeah, but I don't care. Seven. What? What the fuck, I, I, dude? It's like that. A family that's completely different to your fucking homie, dude. What are you talking about? That's a totally different what fucking. Is your homie, dude? What are these platonic girlfriends? Yeah, but my homie's railing them, dude, and I know about it, and I'm as I don't gain anything out of that by driving her. Or him to her house or any whatever the situation is. Why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? So you, so you're you're straight. You have a guy friend that hang out with who's gay. Right? You would you? That's a cuck thing to do. Wait, would, would, would you drive like your gay friend and to a, a gun, like gay? A guy well, house? I'm not gay, so I don't care. Whatever. Who cares? If you're gonna go no, fucking, no, 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 if you're gonna go fuck a dude in the ass, I don't give a why, shit. Why is your hypothetical different? Because it's weird. Because it's like. If I'm driving a girl, so you're dropping a it, off the rail dude, dude, time. dude. If I'm driving a girl to another man's house so she can get fucked by the other man, I should be fucking her, not the other dude. I should be. You're just giving Why? someone a ride. What? what so, is, so if I, if I catch an Uber to go to someone's house to fuck, should the Uber driver come in and slam instead? Like, no. Exactly. Uber driver is different. Uber driver, you're you're no, hold on, hold on. An Uber driver is totally different because in an Uber driver, he's getting paid monetarily to drive you. That's his fucking job. So that's totally fucking different. Oh, you're driving so somebody out of your free it. will. Gotcha. You decided I'm going to drive this girl to my homie's house so she can get fucked by my homie. That's wait, uh, that's kind of weird. Wait, so 
I mean, in your scenario, that makes the Uber driver a pimp, and he's, like, making money by exploiting... What's his cars. fucking job? It doesn't matter. He can drive you to go kill somebody for all he cares. Yeah, that's his fucking job. job. Keep his bitches in line. No, he's it's his job to drive you around the fucking city. He's just helping his friend okay, okay. get from point A to point B. If it I'm getting a, paid... It doesn't matter what they do after. If I'm getting paid by my fucking... If, 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 like, the girl or the friend is like, yo, I need a fucking ride... I'd be like, whatever. All right. At least I'm going to compensate it in some way. Okay. okay. So it's worth okay. it. Right. Okay. So, so, so hold, on. Oh, hold on. New hypothetical. Attractive girl. Your your buddy's like, well, you have a crush on this girl. Your buddy's like, hey, <laughs> Aggie, uh, fuck you. my car's in the shop. Can you drop me off at this girl's house? Now he's plowing this girl that you're trying to date. Bro. Are you and I know it's going to happen. Hey, what? Destiny's right. trying Goldblatt? to fuck Jackson Hink. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, I'm like this hypothetical <laughs> would only work if Destiny was also <laughs> trying to fuck. Augie's gonna want to join in. Exactly, exactly, dude. Where's my fucking piece of the pie? <laughs> okay, imagine you're you're exactly. trying. You, you come off of the airport, dude, and you don't have a car, and you're going to like fuck some bitch, but um. You ask your friend to drive you there because you can't get anyone to drive you. Let's say Uber isn't working, whatever, some circumstance. And they say, no, that's gay. <laughs> like, what? How weird would that be? Like, I'll drive you anywhere. You know, I'll drive you to the fucking restaurant. I'll drive you to your hotel. I'll drive you to anywhere. Yeah. But I'm not driving you to your girl's house. Oh, no. That's gay. I don't no, like that's, that's fucking gay. That's fucking gay. Because what? you're the reason why they're having sex. Because you drove them there. That's good. You're helping your homie get laid. <laughs> Fuck my homie. You want hey, Augie? Can you play a clip that I feel like I feel like this is your position, and I want to know if you agree with this person. All right. Because okay. <laughs> I feel like we shit on this guy a lot, but he had one really good take that nobody ever considers, and okay. I think it's actually pretty redeeming to his overall character. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's play it. Our apes or whatever, right? Our our ne Neanderthal cousins were probably just raping like crazy. So there's definitely what? something like. In us to like conquer, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's you know women are in a nature setting, like to be conquered. <laughs> I'm the king, not the serf. That's the difference. So Nick, you would drive. If, let's okay. Actually, I'll amend my statement. If it was Bo Blacks, I would I would drive him. I'd be like, you know what, homie, I got you, bro. But if it was you, I'm no. So no, all right, all right. You Dude, might have let's to. put names on it. Let's put fucking names on it. Okay? True. I want to know your comment. Because you have a history with this person, so it'll actually be pretty interesting. All right? What? Belle Delphine hits up Bob <laughs> Blacks and Fred and Tom. Okay? You know Wait, what? your show and has licked the monitor to your picture. You right. know you got a shot deep down. But Belle Delphine hypothetically hits up Bob Blacks and Fred and Tom. And he doesn't have a car at the time because his Tesla's in a shop or something. It, it he's turns charging out too many it. bitches were being picked up with it. What, I would bring fire. my Tesla okay. to LA, what? Yes. So, so dude, Bo Black hits you up and goes, dude, <laughs> Bell's going to spread the post if you just drive me to Bell's house. Okay? What do you do? Because you know you have to. I, I either have to step in and prevent this from happening or gonna cock block? Dude, <laughs> or no no no, no. these are my two options end. i cock block bow blacks or i assist in the in the uh, or i i, I help bow blacks out whatever what's more gay driving me to fuck <laughs> bell delphine or are you joining in like cocks out <laughs> wait that's a good question like, wait, wait wait wait. that's a good question though which is more gay okay so let's say nick well, this wait, is your option of course, no 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 hold on hold on hold on touching cocks is more gay how you're fucking a girl? How is that gay? Augie, That's not gay. Augie, think about it biologically. You're Can fucking a girl. Your... You're looking at my car. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You... Okay, okay, okay. Nick, 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 Nick. It. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Guys, Nick, guys, Nick, guys, Nick. Guys, guys. Nick, Nick. Wait, wait. I, I need to. Yeah. Okay. Let's say. Your option, okay, is you can. <laughs> let's say Tana Mojo. All right. Wants to fucking slam Bo Plax. <laughs> Why Tana Mojo? What are these examples? Oh, okay, Tana Mojo wants to fuck me. All right, all right, all right. Let's say Tana Mojo wants to slam Bo Plax, and Nick yes. has to be the ride, but Nick could also slam Tana Mojo if they join in and Eiffel Tower her, okay? Which is more what? gay? 
driving Tana Mocha over so Boblax can slam her. Wait, when wait, we all wait. know Nick wants to slam, or Nick joins in. Which is more gay? Who is the hottest YouTuber? Who is the hottest YouTuber right now? Like, yeah, or, or Twitch streamer, influencer, anything? Who is the bar now, like bar down hottest fucking chick in the world? Maya. <laughs> Uh, Maya? What do you mean, who's Maya? Who's the fucking main character in this whole story. What do you mean? Okay. Um, is Maya that hot? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. She's, so, yeah. <laughs> she's good looking. I mean, she completely she fucked up this Maya. whole story. Wait, on, she completely but fucked like, up the whole story, but let's just be but, honest here. You get to fuck, I do. You get to fuck Maya, but... When you climb it, you have to be looking what? Boblox in the eye. What? That's gay. No. I don't want like another dude in the. This reminds me. So okay. So Boblox's old videos. Hold on. I need. I need to pull this up. This reminds me of a scenario we always thought about. Me and Ben. Okay. So in Boblox's really old videos. Um. Fuck. Where was it? It's not that old. Fuck. I'll never be able to find this. Damn it. Where's the video where you have your fucking webcam in your old apartment? Ah, uh, you, you do realize there's 11 years of content Dude, on there. Dude, like, this is fucking cancer. Apartments. I can't fucking find this shit. All right, hold on, hold on. I need to find your old apartment where you're like full screen in it or some shit, right? Is that a commentary video? Is it the Wild Spartans video? Literally any fucking video that you're full screen in. I need to demonstrate this for the chat, all right? Is it this? Uh, I'm... Fuck, Maybe? it's not there. That's not a good video. Uh, Hold on, hold on. I need to find this right now. We need to stop the entire fucking stream until I find this. Where is the video where you're full screen? This might- Is my Wild Spartans video still up? Oh, fuck. I need this, dude. Fuck! I need this right now. Okay, Nick, I have an awesome hypothetical for you. If I can ever find this fucking clip. Alright, I'm a big fan of hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be all worth it in the end. You said Wild Spartans? Yeah. That one has my apartment in the background, I think. That's face cam sometimes. That's like not that, the. Yeah. There's, there's, it's missing a key element. There's something that is missing. Is okay. It's apartment. Was it the, my last apartment before I just moved? This yes, April? yes, yes. Your last apartment. Oh, here oh, it is. So you, you don't have to look that far Hold back on. then. Yeah, yeah, but I need it like full screen because it's like so fucking small. Okay, whatever. This God. will actually do. This will actually do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Screenshot that. What is that? Screenshot three. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chat, this will all be worth it. Is it about the Pikmin picture? Okay, Nick, do you see the screen right now? I need you to see the screen. I'm looking, where is the screen? Okay. Okay, yeah, do you see yeah. this? All right. Yeah. Let's say you had to, you got to fuck Tana Mojo, but you have to look at that picture of Boblax's little Pikmin that he drew when he was three years old. Why are, and you're also getting pegged in the ass by her at the same time. What? Okay, well, so you're yeah, sitting I mean, there- kind of like a weird addition to the conversation. No, right. Like, Would you? Uh, there, there's no scenario where- <laughs> no, when, when me and Ben first met Boblax, that was the first thing we wait, thought. I'm we were sorry. like- wait, hold on. Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. The what do you Pikmin mean? thing was supposed to be the, oh my God, he would never do that. But getting fucked in the ass. Was <laughs> well, like no, you're getting you're, you're getting fucked car. in the ass, and you have to look at this fucking picture the entire fucking time. I, I all right, because like I was I thinking about that. I was like, like okay, when Bullbox like brings a girl over, do, does he look at the fucking Pikmin picture? Right, he's in my bedroom. No, 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 no. That's he what I was thinking about, and that's why Ben brought this up to me first. I didn't think about this, right? Because sex is nasty. I don't think about that shit. But Ben was just like looking at that. He was like, "Do you think Bullbox looks at that picture?" Well, he has sex, like just like thinking about when he was like three years old and when he drew it, and then think about where he is now. So wait, well, uh, Boblox, in, in the know, old apartment, the picture <laughs> wasn't near the bed, <laughs> or it was parallel to the bed, so I wouldn't be able to see it. But uh, in my new apartment, in my current apartment, yeah. You have it up in your current apartment. Yeah. Let's fucking go. It's, wait, what it's is wrong with Ben? Ben's like, do you think Bob actually by my bed? Help when he was three when he climaxes. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's... wait, why does Ben talk about, like, me- What? I don't know, he had a question. I thought it was interesting. This is weird. I'm- I'm way too public to be having- Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> How many viewers do we, we have right check. now? 1400? 1400 are still here? Holy fuck! 
and that's the best part is if anybody in my fucking family is awake right now, then they think I'm schizophrenic sitting on the porch talking to nobody. <laughs> uh, this is this is awful. I don't know. It's Dude, a good it's conversation, like picture, man. You ever see that picture where they're dancing or whatever, and then there's just that one guy off to the side? Everyone's sleeping because like the, the fucking they don't know I'm a big YouTuber. Like, Dude, it's no, it's like they don't know I'm live to 14,000 concurrent. They don't know 14,000 billion <laughs> people are listening to me right now. <laughs> Nick, how's Nashville been? How's Wavy been? Bro, the best night was the night I hung out with Wavy and friends. Like, they're awesome fucking people. Yeah. It's based. Yeah, oh, a good time there. Bobox burst gallons thinking of little pickies. That was the worst what? thing I've ever read. What does Actually. that even mean? Oh, Pikmin, like in like a hybrid. Pickies, I guess they're like Pikmin, but they're like little children. What? <laughs> hey, Bobax, how excited for you are uh, for Pikmin Four? You ready? Very. Let's go. All right, let me read some super chats. Stefan, <laughs> holy shit, where do we go? I'm pretty sure that Minx blocking punches with her face during critter clashes is to blame for a mentally delayed reaction slash comments. Oh yeah, true though. Panic pun through two says Minx looks totally, uh, like totally Kyle right here. Cheesy thick Dorito legs through five says, yo, my phone died before I could call him, but I wanted to ask, what are your favorite colors? I plan on making you something. Also have a great stream. Orange, green, and red. Uh, Orange? Leia's something. Huh? interesting color orange yeah of course it's my favorite color Dude, why are people why are people clipping this fucking stream and sending it to me on twitter what did i already oh yeah. full black screaming you're looking at my cock really loud that's a great <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be more gay than driving someone what's this more gay driving gay. someone or literally having intercourse with Wait. them no Josh, with a girl Josh, Josh, Josh. I'm not having sex with there's, you. Dude, if it's a threesome, there's going to be some cross wires. Cross? Wait, God. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you, what, you think you, in a threesome you could, like, completely avoid the fucking third person? What, do I have to, like, fuck you in the ass to get to the girl? What, is he, what are you talking about? Dude, he's running. I keep asking Bobo. <laughs> what? I can't I'm hear you with your stupid-ass fucking potato-ass quality fucking mic. Josh. Yes, Nick. Hello? How are you doing, buddy? What are you talking? <laughs> we're, in we're ending the stream. This is too far. This is too fucking I'm far. I'm doing good. How, how is life? Good. Dude, that's life, bro. That's what, what are you guys say. even doing? All right, I'm getting out of here. This is enough. Nick's retarded. I'm fucking smoking this like all right, Nick, stay a in the cigar. Stay in the call. All right, I want to fucking have a gay op with you after I end the stream. All right, dude, that's life. That's what the people say. Nice one. All right, all right, stay there, stay there. I'll be back in like ten minutes. All right. This is base, bro. I'm okay, we're ending the fucking show. <laughs> is my camera gonna work if I switch scenes? Oh my god, it works. Okay, sort of. It's like flaking out right now. All right, that was a fucking base ass fucking stream. Um, okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like the stream, hit like, sub to the channel. Thank you guys for all our brand new members and fucking donators and shit. It's gonna be fucking awesome. All right, uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here though. We'll be back live for a show probably soon because there's fucking drama. So when there's drama, we're live. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one, everybody. The end was a bit strange. Nah, dude. Nah. Let's see here. What is this? Word, you know the N word. You know what the N word is? It's no, no, no. It's the nuclear word. He mentioned the N word yesterday. The nuclear word not supposed to be mentioned. The nice N word. One. You know nice the N -word one, guys. Is? Amazing. No, no, no. It's the nuclear. Ah, uh, we're getting out of here. Good night, everybody. See you later, everybody! RFC Nation! Hit the sub button! Hit the like button! We'll be back soon, everybody! More videos to come! Ah, oh, it feels so good!
Yo, check out Mike the Bike. We're gonna send him a raid. Thank you, Mike. Good night, everybody. See you next time.